Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? YouTube's been a bit funky today. Uh, something's something doesn't seem right with it, but I hope you're having a good day. So I was tossing up between Clan Scryer and Clan Eshin, and I was thinking about it. Obviously, Clan Scryer is my favorite faction to play normally, but I actually think that Eshin's star position is a little bit more interesting. Also, I haven't covered Eshin in a while, whereas I covered Clan Scryer like on Warhammer 2 like three or four times fairly recently. So I think we'll go with, with Eshin today. So also another thing with Eshin, I wanna see if I can use the Thanos snap on the endgame crisis. So um I tell you what we could do. We could early uh no, we'll keep it a normal turn. Like if, when we get victory, just keep it a normal. Because the thing is, if you put the um, turn timer down, everybody else that has to deal with whatever shows up, it's gonna be really bad for them. So we'll leave it at turn timer a hundred and uh, just keep it everything on default except for end game difficulty. Keep this normal. Um, maybe we'll do a campaign with the turn timer in like ten one day, but I don't know. I'm still like learning this. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, it won't go back to what it was. Oh, hang on. There, it was. there we go. Alright. Uh, actually, we've done Vampiric Ascension. Why don't we turn that one off? Because we've already seen that one. Um, we'll see what the other ones I haven't seen the other ones yet. Uh, we can trigger on one campaign victory. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's do this. How am I? I'm well, thanks. I'm well. Lower 150, maybe. Look, here's the thing. If we get long campaign victory, it'll just trigger. Village stream win. Mm, I don't know. One stream at a time. We'll see how we go. How to change unit scale. It's in your graphic settings under advance. Skaven Black Chief still works. Thanks, Horn Rat. Yep, it still works. Yep. They nerfed the level 7... Turn 4 Skaven. Sorry, turn 7, level 4 Skaven. Like, Jesus, shame you can't spend food on Rosa. You can. It just can't be your only settlement. Alright, so I really want to go full rat. I think I've been focusing way too much on these silly no defeat campaigns lately. Silence. Cover uh, and the problem with no defeat campaigns is that when you get into the late campaign, when you're not having any defeats, is that you become deathly scared of having a defeat because it could ruin your entire campaign. Where that's not how Skaven play. Skaven's just like, oh, I suffered a defeat. Oh well, anyway. Um, so let's not have that no defeat mindset and let's make risky moves because they're more fun. We'll send small armies out to go and capture settlements, that kind of stuff, because that's more fun. Um, let's not worry about, oh no, I'm gonna have a defeat, you know, it just doesn't matter, because honestly, the campaigns where I don't suffer any defeats, they're some of my least ambitious campaigns. Uh, Kevin Cunningham did a $2 super chat, thanks for making my work hours less miserable. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. Alright, what do we get here? You're in, in my objects. Confident. Uh, that's not too bad for Ashen Army. Um, yeah, sneak, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cunning is still nerfed. Who do we snap first? Don't know. We'll see. See who's the problem. Alright, well, we've got to fight the uh, Dims, Dim Sims over here. The, the Dim Sons. Uh, I'm actually going into this completely blind. I haven't played Snitch at all. I have no idea what's optimal. So, some, of, some people asked... Hey, we'd like to see you do a blind playthrough. Well, here you go. I have no idea which way to go after this. I have no idea if this army's gonna run or not. Stab. Kill. Ambush. Ambush. Oh, we didn't ambush him. 55% oh, and you didn't ambush? Alright, we'll find him manually. Hey, Legend, did you see that with the exception of Greenskins and Kislev, factions won't confederate anymore except the specific circumstances? Yeah, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's good. Um, I don't know if that's good. Is there a sneaky trait like in Warhammer 2? Yeah, the sneaky trait's still there, so that'll be very useful for lords. 
We should really try to make sure all of our lords have sneaky. Because, yeah, we're not going to be able to get, like, insane amounts of ambush success chance. We have mortars? Yeah, we do have mortars, that's right. Um, not avalanche mortars, though. So, let's have a look. Kind of weird that you start off with uh, two Eshin units. Ah, sorry, not Eshin, two Clan Scryer units, I mean. Um, then again, both of them are part of the DLC unit, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it'd be pretty funny if you start off with a Brood Horror. <laughs> it's not the same, and you didn't own that DLC. So I guess that's why you give you're given these two units because it is part of this uh, this DLC. Actually, this high ground here is really bad because it's um it's friggin' messy. But yeah, we start off in Cathay. We haven't seen Cathay in a while. We'll see how it goes over here. Watch out for that terrain here. Yeah, we gotta watch out. These guys here are very terrain dependent. And let's see what we can do. I don't move. What they do with cunning? Uh, cunning no longer provides ambush success chance in enemy territory. It only provides it in locally owned regions. Right, they're being passive. No, we've got missile superiority. Oh no, here they go. Here they go. Okay, Savage Orc Biggins coming in over this way. We need to get ready to get rid of them. The fact that there's trees here is a problem. Move back. Move back. The trees will act as cover. Uh, Francesco Capone did a 5 euro super chat. Hi, Legend. Who do you think is the best Chaos Warrior Legendary Lord now? Cheers from Italy. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know. I haven't tried them all out, so... Thanks for super chat, but um, I couldn't possibly answer that accurately. What does spell mastery mean? It increases the effect of each spell by a little bit. Oh, I may have been a little bit off there. Is that? Oh no, not my night runners. They're they're pretty replaceable, so it's not so bad. Well, we've almost broken this one here. Yep, Snitch, you stay there. That way we can bomb them. Man, those cavalry really were a problem for us there. Okay, Snitch, don't, don't stick around here. Good that we're bombing this area, but watch out for that lord. This guy will recover pretty soon. Now, ready now. Where are the things? Spell casting. Now, let it now. Excuse me, leave. Uh, George, yes, became a member for 18 months. I don't know if it's just me, but I got no notification went live or that you were live currently. Yeah, YouTube is being weird today. I did notice that. Uh, notifications didn't go out properly for the video today either. Um. Yeah, YouTube's being weird today, but thanks to the chat. I definitely noticed it was being weird. Because, like, when we tried to raid uh, someone yesterday, it didn't work properly either. Right. Come on, Snickerdoodle. It's time to get that one. Alright, Snitch is killing him pretty quick, but he's also taking a fair bit of damage. Alright, 
Yes, this was a tough one to do without taking much damage. I thought I told you to do. Are you getting shot by the archers? Are you? That's not good. I lost one. Alright, there's the army losses. Would have been a lot better if we could have ambushed them, but I think the damage is pretty minimal. We really didn't take that much. Didn't go perfect, though. Alright, let me go. Still end up with a close victory. Is Immortal Empire's start easier or harder compared to Mortal Empires? Okay, I think that the start of an Immortal Empires campaign on Legendary Difficulty is comparable to Mortal Empires in terms of difficulty, but as the campaign progresses, it gets noticeably easier. Did Sneakers get nerfed? I thought he would insta-kill any Lord Hero. No, he doesn't insta-kill them. He's not good at dueling. We only had one, oh no, two melee infantry, really. Um, this one here took the most amount of damage because he got hit by a cavalry. I think I'm going to take the replenishment because we got to keep moving. That food. Oh, we gained a fair bit of food. That's alright, for not really that many killed. I wasn't sure if they got wiped out or not. Okay, now, let's have a look. We can go to Village of the Moon, or can we make it to... Okay, we can't make it to Kunlan. Not, not this turn. Moving time. Yes, yes. Win kill. Victory, yes. Snitch, yes. We definitely want to increase our ambush success chance. That's really important. Uh, but where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? So, this one here. Increased mobility. That's good. Um... Snakes can do this. I'm not going to walk back into our own territory to start recruiting. we got to move quick. Secure this province. Alright, when we win battles, it increases Skaven Corruption. But that's not actually a good thing. Because we actually want to... It's actually good to keep Skaven Corruption down. Unless you want those three menace belows. Because it looks like you always get two. Because we had two... Well, actually, I'm not... Let me just have a look here. So we got one. But I was able to use two in that battle. So that was weird. Death Master Snake. Did Aya Ikaclaw use Nuke in Wormer 2? Just got nuked by him. Felt like I never got nuked by the Aya before. Yeah, yeah, they used nukes in, in, in Mortal Empires. They would only ever use one. Once they've used it up, that was it. How are we going to navigate this up here? I don't want to spend two turns coming up this way, but I think if I capture this one, it... we look at the pathway, right? The pathway goes here, here, and then here. But that looks like it'll take more than a turn to get there. Um, there's an army sitting in there. If they're not recruiting. If I go into Force March over here, how strong are they now? They're considered slightly stronger than us. And our army is not exactly amazing. Even though we've got a Poison Wind Mortar, it's not exactly amazing. Um, I think it would be better to go for Village of the Moon. Uh, I don't think we need to Force March, but we should. <laughs> because what this will do is give us one point towards... Um, Extra campaign movement range. Could could be risky. And then over here, we're at tier 2 on this settlement. We need to build this one here for Ferocious Plans, which requires the Rattling Warrens, which will help us with growth. Rasmus Didman did a 50 SEK Super Jet. How much has your opinion on the laws changed with 3? Feels like things have wildly changed with fire being gutted and such. New tier list soon. Uh, that'll take way longer to get uh, a tier list ready for something like that. Uh, but yeah, my opinions on certain laws are changing. I still feel like fire is good, but it's not as good as it used to be, for sure. Uh, thank you, Super Chat. All right, let's have a look at Diplomacy. You <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know if I want any non-aggression pact with them. Squeak moose. Huh? Duck. Hmm. Nah, there let's just see how things play out. Here. You Alright, cool. Um, okay, on turn one, we could go and send... Oh, I could have... Oh, okay, whoops. I could um, use... 
Night Lord say so. No, he's not high enough level. We want to get sneaky... Sneaky scouting, is that it? Small high... Food raid, that's it. For food raid on... It doesn't matter which settlement, but this will give us some food, but also give Snitch some experience. So I'm trying to relearn how to play Eshin. It's been a while. We could do stash rations, but I only get one, and 20 food is just not worth it. Um, yeah, not hugely critical, but there we go. Done. And let's move on. Do you like the new uh, UI? I still feel like the UI in Wyma 2 is better, but I like this a lot better than what they used to have with all red. Can Skaven still ambush attack? They don't have the same stance icon. They can still ambush attack. I don't know why they took away the icon. Legendary is too easy on Immortal Empires. What are your first impressions on Immortal Empires? It's not really first impressions at this point. Um, it's good. It's not, not perfect. It's a beta. You know? It's a beta. Feels like a beta. Win three battles against Grand Cathay for World of Weeping Blaze. Okay, we've got to finish up with these Dim Sims. Dim Sons. Before we do that. Yeah, we gotta fight that manually, for sure. The problem with the UI isn't that the color red, it's just too monochrome. I, I agree with that, yeah. The UI in Warhammer 2 was better. Calv did a 5 year super shit hellage and finally I could test Immortal Empires and I do really enjoy it. I also really liked your last stream, keep it up. Okay, thanks dude, thanks for chat. Will you be making any Doomstacks early on? I don't really Doomstack in Warhammer 3. Um, with Snitch, I'll probably give him a Eshin-based army. Um, I might make a weapon team army at some point, but I don't really Doomstack very much in Warhammer 3. I just don't usually find like I need to. Can you plunge into Anarchy Endgame Crisis Faction? I don't know, and that's what I want to test. Giselle's now pierced like crane guns. Yeah, nay, neutral. Well, when I first played them, they were super overpowered, but I think they got nerfed, and I think they're okay now, but I'm not sure. We'll look into that later. Uh, did you have a bug with disappearing buildings? I had this one day today for playing as Cathay? No. Right, these two here, these... We got some stalking units. This isn't exactly the battle where you can just go in, sneak, and cap one point and win. You're not going to be able to cap all the points, so we might as well just try to win. Uh, but it wouldn't be the worst thing ever if we snuck in. Yeah, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, nobody's over here. We'll just go and cap that. Reduce the number of supplies that they get while we bomb them with the poison and water. Uh, J Demo 22 did a 5 bill super chat. Uh, caught you early. Hope you do cheeky capture of vaults almost like you did with Grom. Make more sense than Skaven, especially Clan Nation. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I, you know, I, I would rather get those battles out of the way quickly rather than grind them down for 45 minutes. If I can take out a siege and Five minutes, that's... <laughs> why would I not? But yeah, thank you so much, chat. So you're gonna take a break? I'll take a break when I need a break. Okay, cap that point. They still don't know we're here. Let's move up to... Let's have a look. We'll come around this way. Could split them up, but this is fine. Uh, let's bring these two up here. Try to shoot this before this guy here ends up dead. Yeah, these guys here are doing some good damage. Keep it up. Come on. Faster! 
Have you encountered character units falling through the map? Had it on Chaos Minus Animal Map? Yes, I have. I have seen that one. Yes, I know what I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that's really silly. That one uh, that's been in the game since before yeah, Immortal Empires, nice. and they just haven't fixed it. Um, I don't think it's like a huge priority for them, but they definitely should fix that one. Yeah, it's a bit silly. Why not cap the midpoint right behind the enemy? This one over here. I can't just instantly get to it. I'm, I'm on my way there now, but you know, I gotta go all the way around to get at it. I'm actually on my way there now. Or do you mean this one over here? There's got troops over there. I'm just gonna try to hit their low hanging fruit at the moment. We're trying to do this without taking too much damage because auto resolve is gonna yield the perfect victory. Big Ekka did a 10 year super share. Do you think we'll get the option to turn off minor settlement battles in the future? Getting bored of Total War Siege Simulator 3. Love you and thanks for the awesome content you give us. Um, I don't think we'll ever be able to turn off minor city sieges, but I think they're thinking about ways of reducing the frequency of them. Um, I personally like minor city sieges, so why you gotta be so negative? No, I get it. The frequency of minor city sieges is too much. I get it. Um, I think there's been a lot of good community um, ideas in regard to that. Whether or not they uh, pick that up, I don't know. Oh, crap. That's not the way I told you to go. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. Minimal damage done. We're okay. Alright, that one's out of ammo now, so let's uh, let's advance. How do we go over here? Alright, we took out another capping point. Okay, this one here, it's already taken a lot of damage. Let's pull it back a bit. One thing, good thing about um, taking these cap points is all the uh, the stat bonuses that we get from it, which will really help. Yeah, a little bit. Notice that the music is now turned off. I heard rumors of the making medieval Total War 3. Is it true? Um, I don't know. Could be. These guys here should be able to take out the barricades really quickly. We need to go and cap this point before this tower does too much damage to us. If you could go and cap this point, that would be good. Since you're already on that side. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the music just stops. Battle shouldn't be that much longer though, so I'm not going to worry about it. 
Kill. Kill. It's like, what is it? Just that unit left? Is that it? Yeah, they got through that pretty quick. Like, what do they got left? Oh, it's over here. Okay, come over here. George Orwell did a five dollar super chat. Legend of Total campaigns: is Scave Vampire, High Skaven, Dark Skaven, Scavonia, Green Skaven, Skaven Kings, etc. P.S. Lots of love. All right, dude. Thanks, super chat. It's, uh, that was a weird one, but okay. Warpstone down. Unleash warp hell. Come on, where the? Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew it was close. We just had to catch them. This settlement here is a pain in the ass to deal with. Is the AI less buggy in siege battles now? Honestly, guys, the build that you guys have is the same build that I had. You know, when we were in early access, I can't tell the difference. Like, I was having a look at some of the values, nothing's changed. As far as I could tell. Obviously, I can't tell everything. There's so much stuff in here. But, functionally, the game feels the same as what I was playing. Funny how Francis recommended even though he gets fucked from every direction now. Same for girls. Yeah, look. Don't ever do what Creative Assembly recommends. They always set you up to fail. Okay? They kind of expect that you're going to be playing on normal difficulty. Uh, Michael Thompson did a $10 super chat. And during the stream, I've always been curious. Do you know if increasing the accuracy of mortar type artillery reduces the impact pack spread? Might be bad if they were just hitting up a small area. That is actually a good point, and yes, it does end up being a smaller impact area. So if you're shooting into blobs, you may want to have less accuracy. This is why sometimes the accuracy stat actually isn't all that useful. But thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Alright, we've got food. It's going to cost us 40 food to build this up. We've got enough. If I do this, I may not have enough food to get the other one to tier 4. And at the end of the day, I really don't need this at tier 3 right now. So let's just... Let's just loot and occupy to tier 1. And keep saving up that food. Probably gonna be pushing this other one... What the... 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 He's already got a wyvern! Death Master Snitch. That's not fair. <laughs> it's already got a fucking wyvern. Well, all right then. All right, what do we want here? Uh, I used to get Skaven slave slingers, and I still will. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep that because we need to get growth. Ferocious plans. Finish with this one first. Do you plan to play as Chaos or Beast many times soon? Uh, look, I don't have plans for anything. I'm just maybe, maybe on an account of any, everything. Everything's on the table. I just don't have like things planned out. Well, okay then. Okay then. It says we're not as strong as him, so he'll probably besiege the settlement. If he does that, it's not going to be the same map that we just fought. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I need to do here. Continue recruiting this, and then behind the army, put in a master assassin. Hey, what do we got in here? <gasps> Knowledgeable! Oh, wait, it's gone. <laughs> Character experience gain plus 15%. Yay! It's great. No, no sneaky. Alright, go with uh, strong. And yeah, put him behind the army there, and we'll see how that goes. Actually, instead of this one here recruiting, have this one recruit. 
That way, if he besieges a settlement, this will get done. If he attacks this one, we can sell. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, Sai Red Eye did a 22. Sorry. Sai Red Eye 22 did a 10,000 budget. Nothing interesting to say. Here's some money so you continue to be able to do your thing. Much love. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Alright. Um, don't really need to upgrade this. No, we want scaving corruption to go down. It provides food. Um, I guess you just get rid of it later down the track. Just curious with this stuff. If you build walls, that's Skaven Corruption. Yeah. What gets rid of Skaven Corruption? Not this. This one here causes Skaven Corruption. Because, yeah, if you can keep the Untainted down... Let me have a look. So, resources will reduce Skaven Corruption. Problem is, eventually, you just end up with so much Skaven Corruption through your techs. But yeah, there's now a reason to really try to keep it down. Um, if we have a look through some of these, I can't remember where it is. Um, somewhere in here. Oh, where the hell is it? It provides, um, like the spread of Skaven Corruption. Oh, where the hell is it? It's in here somewhere. Oh, I, I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's in there somewhere. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Let's move on. Can you briefly show the graphics setting, please? Uh, look, I've got everything on, like, high. That's all. I, I really don't want to focus on settings. you got to figure that stuff out for yourself. How high elves in Warhammer 3? I don't particularly like the high elves in Warhammer 3. I don't think that they're fun. Why do you want to keep it down? Okay, so, in Warhammer 2, Untainted didn't really provide anything except for public order. All right, they're going for it. Is he going to go for... No? Okay. What are you... Okay, okay, okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, but in Warhammer 3, untainted regions, completely untainted, will provide you with extra food per turn. Since we seem to get less food from battles, we want to get that passive food income. So if you have a look here, it's generating plus three control and plus two food per turn. That's pretty good. But yeah, eventually, we're just going to have so much scave and corruption that we'll have no choice but to be at 100 it won't cost us food. We just will get extra menace blows in areas. But yeah, keeping it down seems like it's going to be difficult because, like, resource buildings reduce it by two. That's Skaven Corruption. Skaven Corruption. Skaven Corruption. Yep, of course that would be. Look at this one here Skaven Corruption in adjacent provinces. Yep. 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 Everything just provides Skaven Corruption. So. It's just going to be impossible to keep it down. You actually need other factions to do it. Unless, unless, unless you use lords. Like, even that, it's only minus three. So, yeah, it's going to be really hard to keep it down. Now, you just come with. Because if I do that, it'll slow him down. Alright, we definitely won't be able to ambush him. Because he's in this stance here, but... At least we had some time to recover. That's really important. Howling Warp Gale here could be useful to keep him pinned down. And let's get to it. Could auto-resolve it, but we'll lose two units. And let's jump in here and just see how we go. Do you plan on reviewing Immortal Empires? No. Uh, did you hear that Warriors of Chaos are going to get Confederation come the 6th of September update? Unfortunately, only Archeon and Bellico are going to be able to confederate. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. See if we can wait for our reinforcements. Having a few Skaven Slayers that we can just use as meat shields would be good. Although, these guys here... I feel like this green is a... It's a bit green considering it's only 15 Skaven Corruption. It's 
kind of a bit over the top here. A bit OTT. But yeah, this dude here being on his Wyvern on turn one. That's a bit. What's going on there? For those reinforcements. Come on, let's put that down there and just try to get him pinned down as best we can. We bomb them, especially the cavalry. Ugh, hit my own unit there quite a bit. Don't want to be doing that so much. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Get over here. You get it over here. You get over here. Oh, he's going straight for snitch. Oh god, he's really gunning for snitch there. Which I might have to turn and fight him. Keep holding them back. Keep holding them back. God damn, our infantry do not hold. Come on, we almost got him. We almost got him. Damn, these savage orcs are a pain in the ass. one back. Anyway, Lord's gone. Just hold them back. Okay, back over here. Oh, we got this, we got this. It's just... Oh, I forgot to use that. It's alright. We got this. At least this effectively uh, gets rid of all their armies, making the, the rest of this conquest pretty easy. Savage Orcs are always a pain in the ass to deal with in the early game. Watch out. Just make sure nobody dies. Get over here. That's it. Bomb him over here. Keep the single entities getting him pinned down. Don't want him to come in. He's already damaged enough. Keep our guys out of it. We got this. We got this. Oh, good. There we go. Uh, Jan J did 25 PLN super shed. Zid showed me a bit of patch. 2.1 notes. Camping units are now automatically unstalked. <laughs> so that was option B. Or was it option C? They get rid of stalk. What was it that yesterday? Yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fix the AI, just make it so that the player can't do what they <laughs> Thanks for Super Chat, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. CA. Should we make it so that the AI actually defend their territory? No, let's make it so the player can't do the thing anymore. <laughs> Oh my god. I got the blood pack on, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just... Look how happy he is. I'm not happy about it. It's just funny. It's funny because, like, it's clearly not what they should be doing. It's a band-aid. It's like a leaky ship where they're like, pop and flex tape. Poof, that'll have to make it hold for a little bit, you know? The AI is just like... You know, it just can't handle this game at all. And, um... <laughs> they're like, okay, we need to we need to nerf the player, make the player not able to do anything. The funny thing is, right... 
you could probably still cap points with stalking units if you cap it quickly enough and then get out of the capping zone and go back into uncapping the ai probably won't chase after your unit or you just run them away <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> i don't know man um money or i think we'll go through punishment we want to keep ourselves nice and healthy All right, I think I'll get this guy to go towards Jade Wind Mountain, and Snitch can just go on his own to Kunlan. Uh, this, hang on, do they have millets? They might have somebody waiting there, I just don't know. No one's there, but I kind of expect someone to be there. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> nerf the player, nerf the player, nerf the player, quick! Uh, yeah, that is not the worst thing ever now, is it? <laughs> the problem is, every time we win a battle, look, it increases game and corruption. We're not making as much food here. Brr. What's our passive gain? Plus one. Snakes can do this. See, that used to be the like the better way to go about it. Um. I don't think we get any followers for reduced, um, well, to increase untainted, so I don't know about that. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get... Let's get that one. Yes. All right, we finally got an ambush. Good for you, Snitch. All right, this time just go with food there. Cool. All right, the battle at Kunlan should be quite easy because Snitch stalks. We just go over there and just cap it straight away, no problem. Uh, with nine units here, we should be able to manage, I think. Than he, actually, give him tougher than he seems. He'll have enough movement to get there. Lord of the Assassins. Escape and go, yes. <laughs> Snitch. Hmm. But I'd have to stay in the region for that. Hang on, if, what if we went around this way? <laughs> says the other way is quicker. Yeah, I'm more inclined to force march there. Moving time. Yes, yes. Time to go. Yes, yes. Cause we want to get that trait. Contract complete. Finished. Yeah, nine Skaven slave slingers should be able to handle that. Ready, ready. Well, eight Skaven slave slingers. All right, cool. We're growing pretty quick. So yeah, normally I would use food for all this stuff, but that's just not really as viable now so we can pop down no just leave all that be all right let's have a look at diplomacy and see what's available no longer want non-aggression pack that's fine all right all good let's move on so insane to see seven level seven lord at the end of turn three yep Does Snitch even need Ancient Cunning? With his trait and unique ability, he should have more than enough to ambush success chance. Ah, uh, see, what happens if the enemy is in, um, in camp stance? You know, if you had 175% ambush success chance, you can ambush someone, even if they're, like, besieging a settlement. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. Uh, For that while battle's... the potential rewards are great, Whatever. so too are the perils. Now, after this battle here, we should be able to do the Night Lord say so. 
Okay, that's gonna... Hang on, look at this. Yeah, I'm, it's not possible for me to get 120 food in order to push that to tier 5, but I can push it to tier 4. We should do this one here first, because when we do that, we're gonna lose a lot of leadership. Oh, this has been... This has actually been made worse. Because it reduces the income from post-battle loot as well. Yeah, we should definitely do this battle here first before we do that. Probably won't be able to auto this. No, I didn't expect I would be able to. Minus 50% ambush and in camp. Uh, it's actually minus 75%. Why you hired Master Assassin? Isn't they weaker? Weakest Lords of Skaven, then leveled up? Um, yes. At the at level 50, they would end up being the weakest one. You're right. But at level 1, they're the strongest. Legend, I know you don't care about MP, but last night on Tournament Slash was dominating. Cool. Um, is your main settlement already tier 5? No. No. You start off with a minor settlement in this one. Alright, this guy here stalks, so we can have him go around camping towers. Um, while these guys... Oh, and again. Just maybe come over here. We'll see about that. These guys here should actually be outranged by theirs. Go over there. Alright, what are we doing over here? Barricade coming up. Yes, yes. Okay, the archers are definitely going to be a big concern here. We should try to avoid them. So the way to go about that, I think, is come up here now and maybe try to shoot that unit. Because we've got plenty of ammunition with these guys. But their problem is is definitely that these ones here, they just dish out way more damage. we got to be careful. We've got more archers than they do, but, you know, theirs are still very dangerous. It'd be good if we shoot off their, um, their other savage orcs first. Hang on, they're coming down this way. Back off a little bit. Right there, keep them coming up here. Oh, they're just using the barricade? Okay, cool, cool. That's actually good. Hey, Wolf Paul, how's it going, dude? Uh, Stan Dealer did a $5 super chat. I have started Malekith campaign. It's not as good as Worm 2, but where do you recommend to expand after Skaven? Um, I didn't play Malekith. Totally agree about it not being as good as Worm 2. Totally agree. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate it. Totally agree. Yep, this is good. And that menace below did pretty damn well. Alright, let's go over here, cap that. Yeah, getting rid of 15% of their melee defense would be good. Back underground! Die that spawned one! Uh Delmar did a five dollar super chat. Uh Love to see Sniggish campaign. Are you going to make a video of your full thoughts on Immortal Empires worth playing Total War again? I am not going to make a review video, but thanks for the super chat. No, people need to make up their own mind about it. I'm not making reviews anymore. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Alright. Now that we've got... Alright, at 4,000 concurrent viewers, I will reveal some information new developments Never seen, seen. At f when we get to 4,000 viewers it's like we're less than an hour into it it's likely to keep increasing but yeah so if you're thinking ah oh, I might go away oh, you might want to stick around a few more minutes Our tail's yours. you might find it interesting so we can get those arches over there Slingers! 
for the vermin tiger. This is going really well, I think. Even though it's playing green skin music, I think it's going pretty well. Ready to kill, kill. Yeah, these menace blows have been great for getting rid of these archers. Alright, it's four four thousand viewers. Alright, here we go. So As you guys mostly know, I have been pretty damn angry at CA lately. Well, it's come to a conclusion. I'm not in the partner program anymore. For now. Had a chat with CA, and we both, it's mutual, we both came to a conclusion, it's not working. So, I will not be getting early access for the foreseeable future, nor do I want it. But, they made a very, very clear distinction. I'm not blacklisted. Lines of communication are still open. You can go back whenever I want, I guess. But for the time being, I'm not in the partner program anymore. I'm no longer subject to any NDAs. I can criticize them, whatever, say whatever the fuck I want. I'm no longer subject to any of that stuff anymore. And honestly, it feels good. I doesn't feel bad to not be in it. Mokatran did a final super jet. Hey, Legend. I know. Oh, hang on. I know there is no real way to know, but do you think the crazy zombie heal bug is the same issue as the ammo one, like the new unit pool? No, I think it's just database numbers not being put in correctly. I think it's different. I, th I think that the um, the zombie heals. Somebody just put in the, the wrong numbers. That's all. I think that's all it really comes down to. Are you still verified content creator? No, nothing. Yes, yes. No, no affiliation. What's that ability just below capping points? It's just a stat boost. For every capping point you get, you uh, get a little bit of a melee attack, leadership, and vigor boost, which is fairly useful. Slingers. Come on, gotta get through here. I gotta cap these points. There's not that many of them left. We could probably just go and cap all the remaining points. Who when you shared this combo with CA? Uh, we, we both did, sort of. You know. Sort of. Um. Now, ready now! Master Assassin! For Horn Rat! But, but that's basically it now, with, with that for, for the time being, the CA. And I think things will be better, like this, for a while. Because, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a healthy relationship, and it hasn't been for a long time. But I think now that I don't have any expectations from them, I can not have to worry about this kind of stuff. So I think it'll be better. Because the best years of the channel has always been whenever I wasn't in the partner program. It's always been that way. So we're just going back to that. It just it just didn't work out. It's just just didn't work out. Slingers. Skaven. Yes, yes. Slingers. Ah, 
But it's good because now, like, whenever there's a leak, I'll be able to talk about it. Because I won't have inside information. You know, I won't have to worry about making review videos or anything like that. I can just I can just do what I want to do, which is make make the videos that I want to make. I don't have to worry about all that other garbage. You know, I don't have to attend any meetings. It's good. Because let's face it, there's nothing interesting on the horizon. Um, side so Red I22 did attend a little super chat. Do you feel minor settlement battles have seen any improvements in recent time? I noticed that. I noticed that one of the few creators that fights them manually and doesn't mod them out entirely. Um, no, they haven't improved, but as I've said right from day one, I don't mind minor city battles. I don't find them overly difficult. I understand how they work. I don't think that they're particularly cheesable. Um,. Hope not being in the program relieves some stress from your shoulders. It really did. It. Do you know what it was like? It was like closure. That's what it was. I really needed that. Um, so it was actually really good. And we're both, like, me and CA, we're on the same page for the first time about this. Because we haven't been on the same page for a really long time. So, I'm actually really happy about this. Kind of. You should beg for forgiveness. I have nothing to apologize for. I'm not apologizing for anything. Alright, we just want this a tier one. The only thing I regret was, was fucking joining the program in the first place. That's the only thing I regret. I'm not apologizing for anything. Stab. Kill. But yeah, I think this is the right move. Okay, let's have a look at this map here. We should just be able to send Snitch in to go and cap it. Um, we've got Warp Grinders, which we'll, we'll see. Hang on, let's just have a look at this map. Uh, Juzzy did a $5 super chat. Love your work, mate. Alright, thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, this is an easy one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. Did you get any sort of apology from them? Eh. Look, they explained the situation. It's... A corp corporation is never really going to apologize for, for this kind of stuff. It's fine. Um, they explained their position. I don't really... Didn't really care much for it, but... You know, it just isn't working. Contract from Pestilence? Cool. Well, we could do that afterwards, maybe. Rip EA to Chaos Dwarfs? I don't want it, though. I don't want it. Don't want early access. Like I said, the best years on the channel was when we weren't partnered with CA. So I want to go back to that for a bit. We'll see how we go. Things I think will massively improve because I won't be bloody stressed all the time. Um, Super did a 50 HK Super Chat. Did they remove replenishment from stacking settlements or was it just not a feature for Snitch? <coughs> I think they removed it. Yeah. Thank you, Super Chat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, hang on. Go this way. <laughs> but yeah, we should start to see better quality content because I'm not. I really think it's going to relieve a lot of stress. 
and the, I think the streams are going to get better. I think the videos are going to get better. I think the content overall is going to be better going forward. I th oh shit! I think that's what's most important. Man, I didn't even see them there. We should be able to get away. They're moving around a little bit, but they saw us here. We just need to keep moving. There's... Uh, I gotta... Uh, okay, I can run through here. We gotta not attack anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't go that way. Damn it, they're building barricades everywhere. Okay, I think we're good to pass through here, so we'll then run past. Okay, let's pop this down. Because that uh, makes us... Nope, we got detected. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, you gotta hide again. Okay, you're hiding, you're hiding, you're hiding. They can't see you. Oh crap. Look at this. Ah, uh, this is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. They're not being completely stupid. I think we actually need to make some kind of attack. Um, I was hoping to just sneak on in. Look, they're not even really defending this position at all. We need to we need to we need to put the pressure on them. They're actually not being completely stupid here. Uh Syndrome did a 10 euro super. Hey Legend, what would be the best new traits for Tomb King heroes? Mmm. Still the same with the Necrotect and Tomb Prince, but with the um, with the um, Lich Priest, it doesn't really matter anymore. They don't have amazing traits. Just whatever you feel like. Not to chill the chat. What is your opinion on the way Wemo Three is going? I think it's it's going real slow. Um, I don't agree with so much of what they're doing. Um, there's so much anti-fun mindset. Like, I guess this is the, like the primary reason where CA and I are clashing. It's just like I'm trying so hard to get them to stop doing this anti-fun garbage, because in my opinion, it's not as good as Wemer too, right? This is not as good. Um, but you know, they're not going to change their mind, and I'm going to stop trying. Okay, we should be okay here now to cap this. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, pull them back again. Because they might start occupying these towers. Yeah, they don't care. I missed the super chat, sorry. Um, Callum Masson did a $15 super chat. Modesty aside, companies in the last few years have been dying for the customer feedback you can provide. A clear indication that as the only Total Warhammer game in town, feedback matters little. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you, super chat. Yeah. What do you mean by anti-fun practices? Well, they're taking away a lot of the strategic depth of the game. They're whittling away at it. Now, a lot of that stuff are some things that people don't care about. Like, you know, it's just little things like knowledgeable is basically useless. Um, the Winds of Magic nerf. You know, um, an entrepreneur nerf. The, the slave nerf. All those kind of little things, right? And, you know, some people are just like, oh yeah, I don't really care about that. But that's where they start, and then they, they just keep taking things away. They're not adding things to the game, they're taking things away. You know? There we go. Now, Warhammer 2 DLC, they kept adding things. They kept adding more stuff to do. They kept adding, you know, some would say little cheeses everywhere. But, you know, you didn't have to do it, and if you wanted to do it, it was there. But they're pigeonholing players into uh, specific playstyles at the moment, and I don't agree with it. Uh, they're watering it down. It just doesn't feel satisfying as a strategy game compared to Warhammer 2. 
Uh, Skellum did a ten dollar super chain. Hey, super chain during battle to maximize my chance of it being missed <laughs> and getting people to spam that you miss it, making recordings worse. Also, how do I better path in city battles? Don't run around corners. Just path them between corners. You know, that's where that's where it goes wrong because they'll always try to take the shortest distance and that's where they get stuck. Thanks, super chat. BBB where did a five euro super chat. Dollar Super Chat. Hello, Jen. Not sure if you've covered this already, but what do you think about settlement nerfs? Less build spots in major settlements in minor towns. Uh, it's it's only for the um it's only for the races that don't own the specific uh, faction uh, racial capital. So, as an example, if or if um, Altdorf is owned by an Empire faction, it's got 10 build slots. But if it's not owned by an Empire faction, it's only 8 build slots. It's not that big of a deal, I feel like. Um, I feel like it's fine. Because overall, there are more settlements in the game. And most of the time, a lot of your buildings aren't that good anyway. Malice seems to be pretty OP, according to the subreddit. Yeah, Malice, is, as the AI, has always been extremely difficult to deal with because... For one thing, he'll have a base of forty percent ward save. He always has that. It's not like a, it's not like when you play as him, where you have to wait until you're fully possessed before you can do it. They always are fully possessed, and so going up against Malice, the way to beat him in battle is to avoid him. And I think that the person who went up against Malice didn't understand that and tried hard to Lord Snipe. So it's just them simply not understanding how the game works. Because, yeah, then full Tarkan shows up and Tarkan's got full abilities. But if he had sent that disaster battle into me, I probably could have beaten it without too much trouble. You just don't fight Malice. Just avoid him. Like, if you can, if he's on Spite, get him to run after one of your... I think he was playing as Corn. At one of your corn dogs, just lure lure Malice on a wild goose chase and destroy his army, and then just army loss him. And if he goes if he goes full Sarkan, then just run away from him. You don't engage with Sarkan, just run away from him. He dies eventually. Roger Rabbit did a five dollar super chat. Tried Tyrion campaign, took an archer stack to deal with Nakai. Nakara, you mean? And he foreshowed Tyrion and wrecked my checkerboard in thirty seconds. How do I beat him? Get good, bro. Thanks, super chat. <laughs> Shoot him. Um, Alino is. Love Alina Liz Life did two years of shit. Playing the new DLC content, it's a bit boring to be honest. Yeah, I agree. It's not their best work. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Alright, we finally got rid of the Dim Suns. Finally, Master turn four. Um, okay, so what we want here is. Ex uh, let me have a look at this. Uh, efficient planning gets rid of corruption. Mm, buildings, nine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're never gonna get rid of it. Just um, just go with food. Just go full full Skaven. Uh, Caleb Masson did a eight dollar super chat. Our worst first could be realized soon. Introducing a five dollar game purchase for Winds of Magic, or worse yet, five dollars for an item pick pack. I don't think we're at that point yet. But thanks for the super chat. No, I don't think we're there yet. Nothing. All right. Well, we've crippled our economy with um, with that food problem, but that's okay. That's okay. We got money, so what we need here is food and public order, and hmm. we do need this building. We should get that going, and we don't need this one here. Get rid of it. Um, Eshin units should be recruited in minor settlements. So maybe get rid of this one here. <coughs> Excuse me. We do want to get growth though. So let's see. That one's important as well. Warlord of Gaul did a five dollar super chat. Hey, another campaign series to add to my watch list. Loving the Immortal Empires content and really liking Throg stream. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Master, Lord of All right, now who are we gonna bully next? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got a um, shadowy dealing, a clan contract from Moors and Molder. Nice. Okay. Oh, I had this ages ago. I just forgot about it. Oh, that's fine. Um. I didn't even notice I had it. 
Gustavo Henrique did ten dollars super chat. Legend, you know we don't care if you play Warmer Two all over again, right? We're here for you, not the content. Yeah, look, look, okay. Let, let's let's make this clear. Thanks, super chat. Let's make this clear. Um, I like Warhammer Three. I like Immortal Empires. Um, but I, I um, don't love it as much as Warhammer Two. But I've played everything in Warhammer Two. Everything. I haven't. I've barely scratched the surface of Warhammer Three. So while yes, I think that Warhammer Two is a better game, I I just haven't scratched the surface of this game. So if I get to the point where I've played everything in Warhammer Three, and it still isn't better than Warhammer Two, at that point I'll probably get back to Warhammer Two. But that's a long way off. But thanks for the super chat. Mark Kyle says he loves me. What are you? Yeah, no, that's good, dude. I love you too. Alright, so we... Oh, that's right. I need... Oh. Whoever we do this is going to be wounded. Right. Agent recovery time, five turns, yeah. So hang on, hang on. Night Lord say so. We need to do that. It's going to cost ten food. Just get that done. That needs to be done. Hang on, before we do this, hang on, hang on. Before we do this, let me just, let me figure something out. Yeah, so someone was saying, what about walls here? We can build walls on this spot here. It's... Yeah, let's build walls first. Okay. Then we need to do Night Lord Say So. That's really important, because we don't need to move right now. And he'll only be gone for two turns. Okay, so send Snickerdoodle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> if we get oh okay yeah 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 okay all right night lord say so first All inferior wake to Mimi. then we need another assassin Okay. Though he's not going to stick around here for long. Um, Hendrix did a five dollar super chat. Love your work, mate. Have watched a lot of your videos and wanted to show my support. All right, no, he's doing my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. What's the victory condition for Snitch? Okay, that's actually a good question. Let's uh, let's have a look at that. Perform eight Eshin actions. Doesn't say how many we've done so far. Destroy Dim Sun, Celestial Loyalties, Northern Provinces. Okay, that should be easy enough. Occupy 30 settlements. Recruit rank plus 3 all armies. Long campaign. 75 regions. Own at least 7 of these specific settlements. For global recruit capacity plus 2. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Okay. The, the victory conditions are not amazing, to be honest. They're, they're, they're something, but they're not amazing. Okay. Now, these deals here. So we're going to lose relations with Clan Moors, and we're going to lose relations with Mulder. But we're going to increase relations with Mulder. So overall, we're going to increase relations with Mulder by five. Okay. So, all right. This this guy here. Uh, he'll be gone for five turns. Oh, hang on. Why don't we do this? Since he's commanding an army, just get... Just get this dude as well. Pop him in here. And then, don't disband him. He's about to be disbanded anyway. And then we send P Pustich, Pustich, Pustichi to go spy on Clan Moors. Boom. Off you go. Come on. Okay, now this guy here is only at rank 1. So, that was weird. Go and do that. And then we'll put a Gracier in here. Uh, Fleet-footed, disciplined. We'll go with fleet-footed. Speed's important. Alright. That's the same as Malekith. Y okay, yep. Yep, but if we do have access to global recruitment. So that's not actually bad. Okay. Don't you regret the fact that you're not able to hire Plague Priests and Weapons Teams since you have the buildings through now? Uh, well, we're not playing as Clan uh, Scryer, and 
Scryer units will cost us like 200% more, so I don't need to go that way just yet. Okay, I'm actually going to demolish this. And we're going to build the Eshin... Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, demolish that. We should build the uh, walls here. And I'll get rid of this and build the Eshin stuff there. Should I build it over here? Because it's... Yeah, yeah, just do it there. Get rid of that. Hang on, hang on. Does it provide... This used to provide extra local recruit slots. It doesn't do that anymore. Although, the settlements provide local recruit capacity. Okay. All other types of corruption is reduced. Okay, cool. Get rid of that. Alright, that seems to be all we can do. And uh, we'll just see... Oh, expansion is planning. We need to switch that over. Expansion is planning first. Wait, wait. Is that it? No, that's efficient planning. Expansion is planning. Will allow us to do a different right. Okay. Research here. We've got... Yeah, we want to rush monstrous... Uh, sorry, monstrous abominations. That's really important. I wonder if that's still in the game. I really don't know. And then... Okay, so we need to take out these guys here for victory because recruit rank's not bad um what about these guys here they hate us they've only got six settlements they're on our border these ones here less so on our border um i think i will take these fuckers out all right i need you to keep recruiting shit and you this should be an eshin army and we'll have eshin units soon We'll manage what we got there for the time being. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you leveled up. Get your ambush on, boy. Okay, and let's move on. Talk to Pestilence and Mulder. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can negotiate with them now. Do you think CA will make the Warriors of Chaos be able to confederate in the future? Apparently, they're coming in September 6th. So Archeon and Bellicor should be able to confederate some of the Legendary Lords. So we'll see how that goes. Once that comes in, I'll probably play a Warriors of Chaos campaign. But they're not going to make full confederation between them all. Set to the Imperishable says your viewership has overall increased. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Alright, there's actually going to be a revolt here, so maybe we should wait until this is over. Because, yeah, we got low food, which is costing us two public order. Uh, getting rid of all of this instability will really help. Plus, we've got a public order building coming in. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to revolve, even if we pop this down. But this will be good for food and uh, growth. Alright, we want to, over here, build the gems. <laughs> yeah. I have sailed the world. Okay, dread flag fleet. Gotta you have no power on the sea, vermin. Why should I, Admiral of the? Nothing special here. Did you see CA streaming over on Steam page? No, I don't really pay attention to that anymore. Ready, ready. Okay, now. Yeah, there's going to be a revolt here. It's going to happen at Kunlan. So, why don't we come on out and go into raid stance. We'll lose a bit of money, but we'll gain food. At least it says we'll gain food. Guess we'll find out if we actually do. Uh, this one over here. Don't start declaring war on these guys until we're done. So, you go into raid stance as well. Let's score some food. Because, yeah, that is not a huge loss of income. Okay. Okay, Jade Wind Mountains. We could build this, which would give us a little bit of cash and corruption. Okay. What a how how is our corruption now? It's at six. Well, this will reduce yeah, we're never gonna get it back down. It's now it's now, now losing us control, but it gives us more money as it goes up, so I, I do like the change to what they did there. It's basically impossible to keep it down. Alright. Do we want growth? What about money? I kind of feel like we're going to need money. Could be a while before we get some trade agreements, but we'll see how we go. Upgrade this, that's fine. And we were going to build something here, but I think I ran out of money. 
Yeah. Let the bell scream, scream. Wait, at Jadewind Mountain, I was gonna build this because I want to get some more night runners and assassins. That'd be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the um, trade building later. Okay, and let's just wait for this rebellion to to run its course, and then we'll we'll take him out, get more food, and let's move on. Rex Terracier did a MYR15 super chat. Does 200% recruitment cost penalty for non-Eshin units apply to allegiance points? I don't know about that. That's a good question. I have no idea. Probably not. Thanks for the chat. Build walls of Kunlan. I thought I did. Can you still use a commander in your war armies in Wormer 3? I don't know. I didn't test that out. Why are there only four factions in this contract instead of five? Yeah, I know. Just Clan Rictus isn't there, that's all. Okay, Dim Sun's are back. But so is Snitch. So, hang on, hang on. We didn't just lose a lot of money by switching him out, did we? Hang on, let me just see that. Did we just lose a lot of money? Let me have a look at that. Because I know that switching out lords sometimes costs you money, even if it's a, a lord that you already own. Let me just have a look at this. Did they get that city name from Iron Fist? I was actually wondering about that. Yeah. I was wondering about that. I was like, hmm, couldn't land. I wonder if we'll... Uh... We'll see the Iron Fist there. Fuck, I've already forgotten his name. You didn't lose money? Alright, well I just wanted to double check. Because like, I have been noticing that it happened with some factions. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I didn't. Okay, cool. Well, as long at least I know that now. I don't have to worry about it in future endeavors. Yeah, so that's what went up. So that's fine. All right, snitch leveled up. We need. Yeah, we do really need to keep our upkeep costs down because uh, early game Skaven is pretty poor. We don't need lightning strike. Not really. All right. So it says here is amb uh, ambush defense at seventy five. We've actually got a hundred percent ambush success chance, but that could mean. This should be fine. This should be fine. We might even be able to order resolve this. Let's see. Nah, I couldn't order resolve it. I don't want to take medium casualties. Our replenishment rate isn't good enough. Alright, fight it manually. What's your thoughts on always mounting your leaders? It really doesn't matter that much because you can unmount them right away if you want. Is it worth bu building Vermintone or Boom Boom Undercity buildings? No, not really. They're not optimal. Given the resources, you're just far better off sending an army to go sort it out because you have to really try hard to make sure they don't get detected because if they get detected, they'll get destroyed. And they have really high detection rates. So, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it, but... Eh, I don't think it's worth it. So for much, you did a five dollar super chat. Hang on a sec, dude. Uh, was playing with Thorokon very hard. His start is very difficult. He starts with eight severity, six grudges, and maxed out by turn ten. No way to get it down. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, the grudges can be. Yeah, we had some pretty severe grudges with Grombrindle, but we were actually able to sort them out fairly quickly because two of them were Dark Elves. Yeah. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Yeah. They do set you up to fail sometimes. What are you going to do? 
How much did a gaming chair cost? $400, I think. It's lasted me for three years so far. It's quite comfortable. Of course. Death Master Snitch. Hissing Triads. Sharpened Blades, yes. Snitch prepares. That's it. You should over here where they are not. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Did you use before a generic office one? Yeah, pretty much. And uh, it, you know, when you're sitting down for like six, seven hours a day at least, and because I move around a lot, I, I tend to wear it out. Just the, the leather, the cheap leather tends to like blister essentially. I suppose the Crown of Command can actually be quite useful for Skaven for the summons. I do often dismiss the Crown of Command. Alright. I just, yeah, I just forget about it. It's uh, abilities. Uh, Karos did a 50 HRK super chat. Hey Legend, loving the stream. I've been wanting to try it IE this weekend, but I haven't had a chance to properly read the patch notes. Any opinion on the Demon Prince? Think he's more viable in IE? Uh, nah. Nah, the Demon Prince needs a, a bit of, a bit of, he needs a bit more work, I think. Thanks, super chat. Um, the problem with the Demon Prince is that you end up playing Demon Dress Up game, where his equipment just doesn't really provide that much of an impact. Like, it, it's alright. It, it's not a terrible campaign or anything. Um... But I'd, I think at the moment you're far better off playing out there way more fleshed out Warhammer 1 and 2 factions. Or playing a really good Warhammer 3 faction like Kislev or Kithay or Korn. The other ones, Slanesh is alright, the Vassal stuff is just, meh. I just can't get into Vassals. That's all. If we can get him a potion of healing, that'd be really good. What's the best way to go about contracts and playing a snitch? Do you do them early game or mid to late game? Always, always do contracts. Always. Contracts are great. You know how ogre contracts suck? The way that um, Skaven contracts work is like perfect. It's so good. It's like it has a cost sometimes. Yeah, they all have a cost. And you just weigh up whether or not you want to do it. And they're almost always worth doing it. But you just judge where it's going to be worth doing it. It's just, it's just it's just a really good system. See, this is one of my frustrations, right? Because I was around for, you know, the implementation of Clan Nation and the uh, Shadowy dealings. And I'm just like, when I first played this, I was just like, Mwah. that's how you design mechanics. And then the friggin' Dark of Slave mechanic comes in. <laughs> no, requires no input. Uh, Brillibo Baggins did a $5 super chat. Fun bug is Festus. My lord started off as a death caster, but got the Nurgle mark and changed to Nurgle Law. He kept his Law of Death passive. Ooh. Nice. Thanks, thanks for Zubichat, dude. That's actually pretty good. Because the Law of Death passive is pretty good. Alright. I really... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not making much money, but I could really use replenishment. We've got to keep our army strong. Yeah, got to keep our army strong. 
Oh god. If he ran too far away, I'm not even going to bother going after him. Deathwing did an UYU75 super chat. Okay, I can get him. Okay, maybe change your plans. Maybe we'll go north after all. Love the content legend. My doubt was, what are the shadow deals for Eshin? They better than the workshop of Ikaclaw? It, it depends on how you look at it, because the workshop of Ikaclaw just like provides instant gratification, like instant bonuses, whereas the shadowy dealings require you to, well, they don't require you, but you keep doing them throughout the campaign, and they don't provide you with global bonuses. They, um, they provide you with, you, you basically, you charge up the schemes, and then you use the schemes for what it might be that you want. So, you know, if I want a thousand gold, which I might actually want a thousand gold, I can go and do that. You know, if I want to spend 20 food to get all of my charges back, I can go do that. Um, using the contracts to manage your relations with other clans, I can do that. So, it actually requires a lot more thought. Oh yeah, plunge into anarchy. Uh, whereas, Eshin is just like, get the resource. Sorry, with Clan Scry, just get the resource, get the bonus, keep the bonus. Except for nukes. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright, let's get out of that. Yeah, I was going to come down here, but... Now I'm thinking... I think they will declare war on me. I think they will. But then again, I also think these guys up here will declare war on me as well. And this is part of our victory conditions. Uh, Josiah Streetman did a 5 dollar super chat. Hey Legend, I know Kalida is not particularly strong lord, but I have always had a soft spot. Uh, any tips for getting her campaign off the ground? I haven't played Kalida, I usually don't, so... Yeah, I, just, I don't, I don't uh, have any um, thoughts on her, sorry. Thanks for super chat though, appreciate it. If we go to Minjar... Shadow Walker! Alright, uh, yeah, get rid of him. Hang on, we got a level up to do. Scramble. Uh, I feel like that used to be more, but I'm not sure. Contract loophole's good. That's garbage. That's good. Yeah, that saves me some money, and money's kind of tight at the moment. Yeah. Have you encountered the bug that it boosts melee stats of units by a hundredfold? No, I haven't. How do you get that bug? That sounds awesome. Connor Bauer did a 5 euro super chat. Hey, Legend. Playing Wolfric and IE and everyone declared war me immediately. Bug? Or does everyone just fucking hate Norska? Oh yeah, everyone fucking hates Norska, for sure. But you can take him on. That's the great thing about the Norska campaign. Everybody fucking hates you, but you're just like, bring it on, bitch. I can take you. Is that all you got, bruh? You know? Norska is total Chad in Warhammer 3. Potion of Toughness, good. I want that because Snickerdoodle needs to heal. Alright, you can have the... Have that one. I don't really like Skaven Brew. Alright, I think the best way to go about this would be if I just send Snitch straight to Wage In. Snitch, yeah. Nah. nah. Okay, you. Secret hearts. Start force marching to City of the Shugengan. That's where you're going to go. Should be able to handle that. And Snickerdoodle. Should be able to re recruit from here and reach their next turn. I want some more Eshin units. Um, I really like Night Runners. I like Gutter Runners more, but I don't have access to them. Uh, Wolf Rats. I think I still prefer Eshin units. Let's see here. There's Night Runner's slings. But they don't they don't fire while moving, which is what I like. Same combat stats. Hmm. Mm. I can't make up my mind. Which one do I want? I really like mobile army. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh god, look how many recruit slots I got already. Um, hang on, before I go ham on that, let me just see what construction needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, I'm building the walls there. Public order seems fine. Yep. Village of the Moon. What are we doing here? Probably should build defenses, but it really doesn't matter until you hit tier three. You gotta build walls. Um, growth is coming in pretty quick, but we don't have much money. Oh, we can hire an assassin. That might be better than a actual unit. Let's get some items. Many, many kills today. And he can help us replenish a bit faster. And maintain public order. And he can stalk. Can we get more heroes? I can, but I'll wait. Um, look at Wolfrat's recruit costs. Sneaky make. Right, they're molder units. Oh my god. <laughs> they're molder units. Yeah, so they're 200% more expensive. Yeah. Regular cost 550. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Alright, let's let's just get um let's get some of these. I won't be able to get that many, but that that'll do. Okay. Uh Cy Red Eye did a Five dollars super chat. What determines what makes something an Eshin unit? Is it simply all the sneaky stabbing things? Uh, basically, any unit that is recruited from this building here is an Eshin unit. Um, any unit recruited from this building here is a Molder unit. Any unit recruited from here is a Pestilence unit, except for that one there. That's a Pestilence unit. These two here are both Scryer units. These here are all Scryer units. And... I don't think Clan Moors has any specific unit types. Yeah, I don't think Clan Moors has any specific unit types. Storm Vermin are universal. Alright, well, we'll see how we go with that. And we'll move into this province and see what we can do. Yeah, losing a settlement here or there is not that big of a deal. As long as we don't lose Conlan, because it was, um... It was, uh... We used a lot of food on that. Okay. All good? We all good? We done? We done? Okay, moving on. Does magic item drop chance have a point after its use? Just like, can you not get more than one 100% chance? Oh, uh, I really don't know about that. I think at 100... I don't think you can get, like, multiple items. I don't think you can ever, like, get to 1,000% and then, like, get 10 items per battle. I think it's a case of, um, at 100% chance you will get an item. And maybe if it's above 100% chance it might increase the quality of them, but I'm not entirely sure. Rictus. Rictus does not have specific units. There are there are four main clans. Death master at reason. Military presence of seven. Let me just have a quickie Great look over here. Alright, you're going to ambush dance. Alright, we have a Eshin action that we could do. I probably should have done it last turn. Um, but I'm going to do it now. We want to do small heist for some money. We could do burglarize from an ancillary, but they're usually trash. Um, stash rations. No, nah, don't, don't worry about that. So yeah, we can do this at rank 15. Okay, small heist. Just pop it down over here. Do it with Snitch. Get the levels up. Bang. Because these small ones here don't require him to get wounded, so the cost is pretty minimal. And he didn't get a level up, but he did get a lot of experience. Okay, these guys here. Fucking kill them. Now, Beastmen are actually really good friends to us as Skaven. So if we can negotiate them, if we can find that race, that faction, we could make a lot of money out of them. Because Sk uh, Beastmen, generally speaking, really like Skaven for some weird reason. Isn't Clan Moors the least important clan out of all of them? No, I'd say Rictus is. But yeah, they're not one of the major clans. The, the big four. The big four are Pestilence, Scryer, um, sorry, that's Mulder, Pe uh, Scryer, Pestilence, and Eshin. Alright, uh, should we order resolve? Well, we got extra replenishment raid. I'm not expecting a big counterattack. Just do it. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, don't use up the food. I imagine that the big army is sitting at Wei Jin. And we'll encounter the Warriors of Chaos, which we should be able to be relatively friendly with, I think. But we'll see. I'm actually not sure. Chaos. 
Well, we'll see. So, yeah, that, that that's out of control now. Losing... Oh, look at that. We also reduce attrition when under siege. That's really good for us. So we stay under siege for longer. Nice. Buys us time. Does our walls do that as well? I don't think so. No, they don't. But we get warp bombs. Um, increasing the gems. Oh, they boosted this, finally. Okay, so in Warhammer 2, um, you would get 160 with gems, and then it would go up to 170, and then 180. It was dog shit, but now you get an extra 100 each time, plus extra gems, so that's good. They actually, they improved that building. Good for them. They actually did something right. Uh, Doman, 8 Games Doman, did an $8 super chat. Hey, Legend, do you see a future where CA delve into 40k universe for a Total War game? Love the content, super appreciate you guys. I do think that that's coming. Ben yeah, I do think that a uh, Warhammer 40k is coming. Thanks for super chat. I look forward to it. I hope they do a good job. Because if they don't... <laughs> whatever. Uh, Dread Flag Feet. I don't, know, I don't know. I might take them on as well. How much money can I get out of that? Yeah, it's not really worth bothering with. Although I can... No, if I can't get a trade agreement out of them, I don't I bother. Have, we have a look here. We're really close to a trade agreement with them. Why are they not doing it? Economic value is not high. 404. I'd get my money back pretty quick as long as I don't get wiped out. I'd say it's worth it. Let's do it. Yes, Straight corruption. Okay, 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 and yeah, we made the attack here. Next stop for him is Wei Jin. Um, do we want to recruit anything else here? All right, let's have a look. I can get... Nah, don't worry about that right now. Just get rid of it. And how are we doing here? We got a little bit of money. Just a little bit. All right, what was I building at Kunlan again? Oh, no, I need to build this. This is really important. I need, I need to generate food faster. Really important. Oh, yeah, that's another good thing about having a region. And, um... Just only one region in a province, you actually generate a lot of food if there's, like, no untainted. So that's actually kind of cool. I do like how they did that. Um... It's not all bad. What are we doing here? Uh, I don't have enough money for that. I don't have enough money for anything there. Just don't worry about it. Unassigned skill points. Alright, let's set it up. And we were working on this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And let's move on. Move on. Yeah. Will it be cheaper to recruit Molder units through allied recruitment than via normal recruitment? It might be, yeah. Is building walls everywhere still the obvious choice of Skaven? Uh, unless there's like specific reason not to do that, like if there's landmark buildings. Yeah, because walls provide money. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll be able to ambush that, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I'll be able to win it. <laughs> we'll definitely be able to ambush it. Oh, a bunch of Skaven slaves going up against a full army. We don't have to win. Um, go with growth. Don't worry about public order. We're playing Skaven. Who needs public order? Play poison shadow. Yeah. So our chance of ambushing is, oh, it's like 85%. Interference will cost you. Mm, friendly Snickerdoodle was here. I don't think I'd win that, but we could really hurt them in an ambush. They're not as stupid in Warhammer 3 as they are in Warhammer 2 with ambushes. Yeah, they're not as stupid. I don't think I'd win, but I'm not concerned about winning or losing. Not concerned about that. Um... What happened to those beastmen? Please tell me they're still around. Yeah, they're still around. The Jagged Horn tribe. We need to meet them. Wherever the hell they are. We need to meet them. And negotiate with them. Because they could be friendly. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this. Should I get a wizard? Nah. Nah, unless I can recruit a wizard at higher than rank 1. No, you can't really do that through here. I have to... Like, if, yeah, when you're switching out lords, you don't get that bonus from Snitch. Having, um... Having, um... Play could be good. As long as, look, as long as he doesn't die, it doesn't matter. Oh! Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, just fuck it. Let's do it. 
Didn't they run away during ambushes? Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Not always. Eh, I might win. I might not. You still have the same description that you did when you couldn't review the game, by the way. Oh, okay. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just get rid of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if they'll just run away. I don't think they will, but I haven't... The, they usually run away if you're stronger than them, but our balance of power is not going to be stronger than them. But ambushing them will definitely help. But here's the big thing. We can... If we lose this battle, we could just come back and fight them again, as long as we're not totally wrecked. And we do have a lot of missile units that are faster than them. They're going to be tired. So, 33 speed to our 42 speed. Um... I just got to take out their faster units and their melee units first. See, this this is good about the ambush. We just take out the units that we need to take out. Um, oh, God, this is not the best location. No, it doesn't want to let me do it. Okay. Take out the cavalry first, obviously. Uh, Taxoras did a 100 DKK super chat. Legend, since you, in some settlement battles, can sneak into the town square and cap it unseen, has Snitch become overpowered? Maybe, I guess. I don't worry about what's overpowered or not. But thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And put it down over here. So put it down over here. Ready, ready. What, what? Rick and Rock! Slingers! Council command! Ready, ready! Okay. So try to get this guy here to pin these peasant horsemen down while we shoot the shit out of them. These guys here will just be too slow. The peasant archers will be a problem. Um, maybe I'll see if I can just rush at them instead. We'll do well, well. Yes, yes. Ready. Kill. Ready now. Move up. Yes, yes. So yeah, Bounce of Power will not be in our favor. Yeah, yeah, keep those things pinned down. Keep them pinned down. Yeah, they are not running away yet. Keep those archers pinned. Do you know what? Do you know what these archers have in common with my dick? They're both pins. <laughs> Funny because it's self-deprecating. Move up. Oh, Legend, there's no way you can win this battle. All you've got is Skaven Slave Slingers. Okay, we got him coming over here. Master Assassin. Slingers! Moving! We obey! Now, move! Don't worry about those Jade Warriors, just keep shooting. We can get away from them in a bit. Skaven, yes, yes! Master Assassin! Back on the ground! Look at that blobbity blob. Come on, shoot into this blob. Look at that Assassin General go. Anyone back here not doing anything? This one here isn't. Uh, no. Oh, no, it's fine. Watch, watch. Yes, Master Lord. Slingers, we we obey. Okay, it's time for you to slip out of there. Go after the peasant archers. Try to slip on out. Okay, and now it's time for these guys here to pull back from this engagement. Just pull back. 
We're fine. But, you know, since their melee units are here, we need to back off. We can outrun them. We've got to use our speed to our advantage. And actually skirmish. Try to pull this guy out of combat if we can. Really in the thick of it, though. He's done a good job. Really pinned them down. Because they're all on force march, they're going to be really slow. We're going to be able to outrun them quite easily. Come on, dude. If you have to run away for a little bit, that's fine. But just don't let these peasant archers... Do anything to us. Okay, come on. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Yes, master. Now, move. I think this has gone really well so far. Oh, I can't get this guy out of here. Yeah, just, he's so surrounded. Jade Warriors are going to be a problem, no doubt about that. And they do have a fair few of them. Because they got shields and armor, and we're not armor piercing in missiles. And this map is fucking small. Okay, just keep keep moving back. Keep moving back. Try to get back over here. Oh, that one's really in the thick of it. That's not good. Come on. Okay, at least he got out of there. He'll probably rally. Get rid of those peasant archers. Oh, this map is small. Let's go this way. This way here is a dead end. We may still lose. It's still possible. Quite possible. I mean, Skaven Slave Sling is going up against Jade Warriors. Good, he rallied. Good. Try to get rid of these archers. Once they're gone, this will go so much better for us. Come on, rally. I know this map wasn't so bad for ambushes. Did this guy end up coming back? No, I don't think he's coming back. Come on, let's get set up. Let's get set up. Let's get set up. Look at all those archers there. We haven't gotten rid of them yet. Dishing out enough damage here. Dishing out some damage, just not enough. And like I said, the map just isn't great for us. We were so badly outpowered, though. I'm not unhappy with how this has gone, but because I wasn't expecting to win. But we've done a ton of damage to them. So it'd be so good if we could win. I really, yeah, this map is really bloody small. This gives us no room to move. Guide us on one. Slingers. What they're doing is just gonna push us off the battlefield. Over here is not too bad. Okay, how about you try to sneak through there? Yeah, these jade warriors, I just can't deal with them. Try to run through this way. We can. 
Did that guy ever come? No, he's gone. What orders? Your, your desire? Forward, backwards. Come on. Yes, come on. Yeah. They just pushed us on an edge here. Try to push through. Run back over this way if you can. Because we are faster than them. Just have no morale though. Show me victims. Council's command. Move, march, yes. Council's command. Slingers. We haven't got much left in the tank. We're, we're basically spent. Even though we are faster than them, we're not fast enough. Enough. The peasant archers can still outrange us. And the jade warriors just have too much armor. Can't penetrate them. It's worth a shot. We did a lot of damage to them. They're not going to recover from this quickly. Where well, we can recover from this really quickly. He's done a number of kills for level 4 Lord. GG got bottled on the corners. There, there was no way I wouldn't have. The map is bloody tiny. Absolutely tiny. There's just not, there's, there was nowhere to run. Might as well just leave there. There's just nowhere to run. If it was a more open field, we could have kept skirmishing, but it's not. It's not. It's okay, we didn't need to win. We didn't need to win. And in fact, we might be able to attack him again. Uh, QshQ did a 25 PLN super chat. Next DLC for Skaven, Spiffing Brit Units, Heroes, Voices, More Time Edition. Alright, thanks a bit. Dude, appreciate it. Yeah, we're, we're just about spent. There's no way in hell we can win. But, is there a chance that we could kill this Lord? Because if we're coming back here this turn, he's going to get a fair amount of experience for this win. And he might end up on a horse, which will make him harder to kill. Is that the army losses? Yeah, okay. Good, one last little hit on him. Okay, still valiant defeat. Yeah, that was basically hopeless considering what we were going up against. But we did do a lot of damage to the important units over here that we need to go for. Uh, we didn't take that much damage, just our guys are cowards. Which we can rely on to come back over here and just ambush them again since they're in force march. Could you bait some of their units into leaving the area? No, the map was too small. Um, I don't know what I could have done to win that with, with this Lord here. If we had access to the spell Plague, that would have really helped. But, you know, we're turn, what is it, six? There's no way we'd have access to that right now. So, going up against this was always pretty much suicide. But, we can still overcome the situation. It's not over yet. Because, look at the casualties, right? We lost only slightly more than they did. And we gained a lot of experience. Oh, but we ran back a fair bit. I can still attack again. Um, okay, let me have a look here. If we're going to try again, I know there's a Regiment of Renown that we can do, but let me just have a look at this. Because I, I kind of want to try again. Not like reload and try again, but just, you know, try again. So, if we were to use Plague, I believe, not Plague, um, Pestilent Breath, I think that might work. Sneaky. Thing is, it has to be an ambush. Because this guy here, he has an ambush success chance bonus of 
Well, it was only 6%. Shame, regret, oh, rat king. 71. Oh, he's actually standing on light forest. Wait, is he? No. Does your army die if you lose two attacks in the same turn? Oh yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, it probably will die. <laughs> yeah, if we don't win the next one, it probably will die. That's actually, that's actually a good point, dude. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I would die. Um, so I would absolutely have to win. Okay, if we're going to do that, then we I need a wizard. I need a wizard. I might ambush them, I might not, but I need a wizard. There's no way we can win this without a wizard. Okay, our chance of ambushing him is not particularly high, but let's see. Nataku did a $5 super chat. Okay, we ambushed him again. We've got some Winds of Magic, so I can make use of that. I'll just see how we go. If we lose this, they will get wiped out this time. We'll see. Uh, Nataku did a $5 super chat. What is this endgame scenario stuff? Google has not been much help. All these streams make me happy. Eshin was my first IE campaign. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Um, so, uh, endgame scenarios. Um, they're so, just sort of like, there are multiple different types, depending on what the game rolls and what your settings are and it just like revives certain dead factions if they're dead or buffs up factions that are um existing on the map and makes them into a, an end game crisis i don't know how else to put that did they get rid of eshin law no no it's still in the game okay yeah so i'm relying on oh my god i got a Got the wrong one. <laughs> I got the wrong one. That's okay. This spell's actually still really good. Okay. Now let's see. With the power of magic and fleet footed, so he'll be nice and quick. Here's what we need to do we need to get rid of the goddamn archers. That's okay. We're planning better. It might actually be better. We'll see. We'll see. Get rid of the cavalry first. Good. Yes, yes. There's still a good chance I'll lose. And I'm okay with it if we do lose. Because this army is just so much stronger than ours. Okay, problem here is that we didn't get enough of a... a killing on them to start here. Get rid of their cavalry. Don't want this guy pinning them down for too long. He's no assassin. You've got to get rid of the goddamn archers. Yeah. It's just, just not really able to inflict enough damage with our Skaven slaves here. And their archers just ripped through us. See how long it takes us to get their units? Lane Shipley did a five dollar super chat. Seriously love your streams and playstyle. Do you have any plans on streaming the Inch campaign? I.e. No plans just yet right now. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Over here. Over here. We need to go for the archers first. We definitely did better going around this side here, but at the same time, we run where we can. God, they're fucking... I put them on guard mode, but... Come on, you need to get out of there. You guys shooting? Okay, start falling back. Start falling back now. Now the problem here is... I don't know. Archers. i got to get rid of these fucking archers. I just can't bloody get rid of them. 
But yeah, don't go this way. Try to go out here. It's a little bit more open. All their cavalry is gone. It'd be good if we can get their archers to shoot at the Lord. These guys here, go around. They do have a smaller army this time. And in this sort of smaller map, smaller armies are better. Okay, they are shooting at us. That's good. And we've still got plenty of Winds of Magic. He's already gotten a lot of kills. Okay, start bringing these guys around. We're okay, we're okay. Yeah, the problem is definitely the Jade Warriors. We just don't have enough ammunition to, like, break through that goddamn armor. Warp Lightning miscast. No miscast damage. Yeah. Oh god, the fucking terrain out here, sweet. Good thing this guy's fleet foot, that's why I chose him. We need that campaign movement. Oh, sorry, that, um. Just movement range. Keep moving, keep moving. You have to go around. Go around over here. Good, that got him. This way, this way. Because, yeah, going down there wasn't good. Let's try over this way. Didn't go off. Oh, okay. Well, that, that happens. That's not a miscast. It just got cancelled. Alright, this is okay. This is okay. Come on, guys. you got to move faster. Oh, I don't have enough wins. Yeah, a lot more room to move out this way. A lot more room. Those guys there might be trapped. Okay, maybe don't worry too much about shooting at the archers, because they're about to run out of ammo, and they're not going to be that dangerous. Okay, you guys, you guys, I don't think you can come around over here, you're just stuck. Just keep moving. Now, yes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll take that. Ruination. Quick fast. Uh, Wotan005, the $10 super chat. I saw that there's no cooldown on, on settings up under cities with Warlock Engineers now, so it'll be easy to farm food now. Uh, okay. Thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. I see all Lord. Guide us on one. Look, they have basically forgotten about these guys. Bring them back around this way. This is going much better than the previous Agreed, battle so far. Much better. Okay, set up, get ready to shoot. And then get ready to run around this way. Alright, I've still got a decent amount of magic left. That's it, shoot your own units. Good. Good, now kill! That's where we're going to do the most damage. This way. But yeah, the problem is still all those damn Jade Warriors. That's, that's an ideal unit to shoot, but there's still archers coming this way. Bring these guys up the back. Oh, this map is so small. Keep moving, keep moving. 
I'm gonna pop that down right there, because I think they're gonna walk into it. Yeah, they did. That did a fair bit of damage. That's good. Keep moving, keep moving. Alright, these guys over here, they're probably fucked. Oh, we still got a fair bit of room to move. I might be able to move around a little bit. Keep moving around. Okay, we got archers down here. Need to deal with that. Oh, the terrain over here sucks. Still playing Cathay music. Okay, I need these guys to rush over here and try to beat that. Keep these ones here moving. I just can't get these fuckers to break. Can we get over here? <laughs> I, don't, I just don't think we can win it. Our army is just woefully ill-equipped for handling this. I thought we could give it a shot, but we're just too, too low rank. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. Keep not going to give up just yet, but it just feels hopeless. That's the problem here. Feels like everything that we do just doesn't do enough damage, and they just dish out way too much damage to me. And I'm not fast enough to dodge them. They outrange us. We're just outclassed. Outclassed and outnumbered. But I thought it was worth a shot. Because this army is so easy to replace. But even if they're on Force March, they just it just isn't enough. That's what it feels like. Anyway, keep moving. We're not done yet. Okay, that one broke. Try to run it down instead. Yeah, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. The biggest problem is actually their archers. They're the ones doing all the damage to us. They limit how much we can move around. Oh god, if you ran away, that would be really bad. Keep moving. Get to, just start getting some of these guys here off the battlefield. Keep moving. Okay, this is good. This is good. That one's almost out of ammo. That's good. That one's leaving the battlefield. Alright, we've almost gotten rid of their archers. Those are the biggest concerns. Then, as long as we can outrun the Jade Warriors and Peasant Long Spears, which should be able to, we should be okay. Because I've still got a lot of ammo left. Keep moving. It's kind of weird how they actually seem faster than us. Warp Lightning. Uh, there aren't any good targets right now. I've got. I've only got a little bit of magic left. I've got enough for four casts. So I really need to make use of every shot that I've got remaining. Because yeah, once it's spent, that's it. Decent amount of damage. I still think a Plague Priest would have been better, but this is what we got. Because the extra speed. Okay, here we go. Alright, there are essentially no more Archer units. That's good. That's good. Okay, for every unit that we can take out now, it's going to make a big difference. No, come on. no more fighting for you. Get back. You try to shoot into the back of that one if you can, but you know, you got dudes coming in the rear. You try to lure some dudes away from here, that would be good. Keep moving. So is that doing any... Yeah, it's doing some damage. Bypass them shields. Okay, it might be a good idea for this guy here to have a, just a tiny little bit of... Uh, those gr groups, I mean. Have a bit of a rest. 
We got dudes coming up the rear here. Try not to get cut off if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, if I cast Warp Lightning in here, there's a good chance that they'll um, they'll dodge it. I gotta be careful. See, if I use Pestilent Breath, they don't really dodge that one. Yeah, you guys move over this way, get over to eat them. Come on, shoot at this. I don't care if it's shooting into shields. You gotta get rid of these Jade Warriors. Okay, got incoming from the flank here. Bit of damage, bit of damage. Keep moving, keep moving. I might try to swing that around the other way. Come on, keep moving. Oh, God. Stupid bloody terrain. I swear, the fucking terrain on this map here is hurting me more than their bloody army. Come on, get through that. Okay, this is good. There's just a handful of uh, units coming here over here. Don't shoot. We might actually be able to do better damage to them in melee. Okay, I gotta try to get these guys around. Oh crap, I got caught over here. That's the problem. Come on, let me move through that. Guide us on one. Watch, watch. Come on, you gotta get through there. Like I said, the terrain just fucks me on this ma on this battle. More than anything else. Oh, there's a good chance I'll dodge it. Oh, it wasn't too bad. That actually, that actually was pretty good. Okay, you guys, get over here. Ch charge into this. Let's go. Let's pincer it. Look at that crappy leadership. Okay, if you guys run down here, they might actually forget about you, because you can hide down this way. Damn, we're still taking damage. Get him out. Looks like we're about to do another lap. If these guys can get into the forest here, they might be okay. Good. Alright, that's, that's a big win for us there. That's a big win. Even though it's used up all of its ammo, that's still a big win. Oh shit, 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 we got incoming. Couldn't really capitalize on that. Oh, come on, don't run backwards. Mm, this isn't good here. Try to... Don't have time to get in there. Tyson, hurry. Quick, quick. Cornered rats, unfortunately. There, a little bit. Don't let this guy here come back, run after him. Okay, come over here. We should be able to shoot him, no problem. Just gotta stand back a little bit. Mm, they're sending all the units over this way. Alright, we need to try to get around them. Yeah, just get that one off the battlefield. Come on, guys, move. They're not on skirmish mode, they're just... Because of loose formation, the way it works in this bumpy terrain, they actually catch up to us quite easily. There's another unit here. God, this game is like just don't do any bloody damage. Slingers! 
Let's got that one off the battlefield. These guys here, they might actually be able to break through. Good, getting a few of them broken here. That is really good. Don't let them rally. See, look at that. There's a bunch of units that just get left behind here because they get stuck on the terrain. But I think there's still actually some hope. A little bit of hope. If we break this one here, stop shooting. Okay, stop shooting. Chase after them. Actually, don't have all of them chase after, just a few of them. That way, rest, let the rest rest a little bit. Oh, hang on, we got more incoming. Move back. More incoming. Oh, good, we actually got through. And what's going on over here? Yeah, there's a bunch of Skaven that are just like... Standing around doing nothing. Good, that unit you know, there ran off the battlefield. That's good to know. Okay, I've still got three more casts of this. They need to be on Jade Warriors. Alright, make sure all of them are on fire at will. Good. It's quite okay to be shooting into the Peasant Long Spears because they don't have any armor or shields, so that's quite easy to handle, actually. That's it, chase after the Lord while we shoot you. I can't believe we got these ones out of there. I thought they were doomed. Some of our guys here still have a lot of ammo. Keep moving. Don't you dare. Get into melee. If I lose my general, we are definitely doomed. Break, you stupid peasant. There's still hope. Okay, is, is this one about to break? Yeah, it's about to break. Stop firing. Charge in. Good, we broke it. Keep running. Unfortunately, our guys are pretty tired now as well. Okay, back off. Just have one unit run it down. With every unit that we wipe out, they're taking up less space. It's going to be a lot easier to maneuver around them. I think there is actually still hope we can win this. Come on, keep running. Oh, you're, you're on guard mode. Get, get out of there. Take them all off guard mode. Come on, man. Get, it, get in there. Okay, let's send these guys around for another another wild goose chase. If we can just have a few of them come over here at a time. No, don't shoot at it. They, even though I took them off guard mode, they still just went into shoot mode, not listening to my orders. Okay, we got incoming coming over here. It's an easy win right there. Oh God, that one's gonna get away. I bet you have a little pot shot on them. yes, 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 Press 
Dude, run. Did you have legs? Good. Alright, stop firing. Good, running that down over there. Okay, so if we have a look, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units remaining. Sure it shatters. All right, giving these guys here a rest will make a big difference because yeah, we got exhausted, so we just couldn't outrun them anymore. Even though we have got a higher speed bonus, even though they're also exhausted, but we're getting there. That's it. Run them down. Oh, they're awful at it. So let's see how much one volley does to the Jade Warriors head on because we do have lots of ammo. About two hundred damage. Okay. Plus. Protect me. They're kind of blobbed up a bit. I might get those spell casts in. Hoff2772 did a 5 goals. Let me tell you, trying to play as Wood Elves and they nuked them really bad. This whole game is a dumpster fire. Um, I don't really agree with that. I don't think that the Wood Elves have been dumpstered. And there's actually an exploit that I will tell you about in the next couple of days that'll make you love the high uh, wood elves so uh, just wait for that if you're having trouble with the wood elves just wait for this video and then everything will be okay for you thanks for the super chat i appreciate it wood elves have actually one of the most busted exploits in the game right now it is absolutely ridiculous one of the things that the uh the wood elves can do you'll love it but you just gotta wait for the video Good. Yeah, damage. That's what we need to see. This is beyond cheese. This is like full like exploit. You are, you're you're gonna shit your pants. <laughs> All right, you'll love it. This game is a dumpster fire, but not because of what else. I don't feel like it's a dumpster fire. It's it's not like things are either great or terrible and there's no in-between. There's an in-between. It's just not great, you know? It's good. It's just not great. It's getting there. It's just really slow moving towards that. I think that was a good cast. Oh, that unit came back. Have you seen the Major Kill versus West Hammer video? Is that new? Uh, no, I haven't seen it. Did, doesn't isn't he like friends with West Hammer? It's probably like just friendly, friendly shit. Okay, that one's finally shattered. Oh god, these units are so bad at running enemy units down. Alright, good, it finally shattered. Okay, and they've fully recovered their fatigue, that's nice. Alright, looks like we can speed this up a bit. I'm feeling a lot more hopeful about it. Now that there's only a handful of units left, I can maneuver around a lot easier. Oh, hang on, watch out. Oh, you guys get fucking stuck on this damn terrain, but they don't get stuck on it. Oh, come on, man. I am ready. No, they didn't kill. Oh, they got a kill. Right, here comes our last cast. Right there. Okay, that was about as good as I ho could hope for there. This guy here has done... 25,000 damage. I'm fairly happy with that. Fairly happy. I think we're almost done here. If we could just get rid of a couple of Jade Warriors without too much damage being taken to us, we'll probably inflict the army losses. 
But yeah, the ambushes are no longer the case like it was in Warhammer 2, where if you ambush them and you've got missile units, it's just instant win. This is not the case. But boy, we had to work hard for this win. Holy shit. But this cripples them. Like, if we had lost this battle, eh, fine. But they lose this battle. It's it's over for them. They're finished. They had to win this. If they don't win this, they're doomed. But all that's left is pretty much Jade Warriors, and they're difficult to deal with because of their armor and shields. So we'll see what we can do. Have you looked at the Steam Analytics for Warhammer 3? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's like, going on about, Oh look, it hit 100,000 players! Look at that, it's a great success! Okay, can it maintain that? That's the big thing I want to see. Can it maintain player base, or is it going to drop off? Because don't forget, Warhammer 3 base game, for all the shit that it was, maintained 160,000 for like a day. And it took a while to drop off, but then it dropped off hard. Uh, now, I don't expect that to happen with Immortal Empires, but I wonder, will it will it maintain what Warhammer 2 did throughout the entire life cycle? That's the big question. That's what I don't know. Yeah. Some people just look at, like, a shallow amount of analytics and be like, Great, there it is, success! You, you need more data. You need more data. Okay, here we go, here we go. They're coming over here. It's still playing Cathay music, which is a little bit of a concern, considering how much damage we've done to them. Okay. Here we go. That's it, addition damage to Jade Warriors. At least this is high value damage. This fucking terrain, I swear to god, it is so irritating. Do you know the peak on the original loss? Uh, yeah, it was like 169,000. 166,000, something like that. Joe did a $5 super chat. Uh, Wood Elves, Blade Singer, Doomstack still viable? Don't know, I haven't tried it out. Thanks, super chat. I imagine it, that would be fine. Yeah, the campaign that I played as the Wood Elves, I did assist as a Twilight campaign. And I used, um, uh, mostly basic armies, but I used a lot of, um, Hawk Riders, and they were good. Ish. Okay, gotta concentrate on this next bit, guys. Now, Unfortunately, this terrain makes everything looks messy. Come on, I've got you on fire at will. Why won't you goddamn shoot? Yeah, missile units really are kind of a lot less responsive in Warhammer 3 than they are in 2, aren't they? Jay Smooth Bills did a final super chat. Good work. No way in hell I would have won this battle. I haven't won yet, but thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. I haven't won yet. You know, things, this, uh, moving over, around over here isn't really going great. Our guys are just, just sort of not, not hitting as hard as I would like. And even though we're fresh and they're not, we just still can't get away from them. Okay, there we go. That's some good volleys right there. That's what we want to see. Uh, new and Tyro said a photo of Super Chat Legend. If I destroy an ally faction that build an outpost who recruited some guys from faction, will I lose the units? If you declare war on the ally, Already. yes, you will lose those units. If their faction is destroyed, then no, you will not lose it. If so, like if somebody else does it. But if you betray that ally, you will lose the alliance troops. But if they're about to die, don't worry about it. Oh god. 
<laughs> We're just getting a bit of a mass route here. Yeah, oh no. Our guys were just too scared. Oh no, our leadership's really bad. I don't, maybe I'm not actually gonna win. Maybe I'm not actually gonna. Yeah, look at this. I'm just getting mass routed just due to them being scared. They're just too scared. Can you not get rid of that one? Oh man, come on, guys. Rally. I don't think they're gonna rally. Look at them. They're like minus heaps. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. And they just won't die. Good, you rallied. Get out of here. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Good, you rallied. Get oh, they're... They're just too cowardly. They're just too cowardly. I've done my best, but... Okay, you, you got rid of this one. Oh, you fucking cowards. <laughs> this is the problem when you play Skaven. You, know, you shouldn't be super surprised. Nah. We're not out yet, though. Uh, Nataku did a triple super chat. Best direction for Grom, Donut or Badlands? You gotta make that decision for yourself. I haven't played Grom. Uh, Gedeon did a 5 euro super chat. Why didn't you take any minutes belows? Because that would have used up food, and food is precious. More precious than this army. Thanks, super chat. We haven't lost yet, but it's just it's not looking great with them just just bailing on us. Like that one there had a lot of ammo still left. We're not out yet, but mm. that was a lot of units that just bailed. Oh, this one here, just go go sit over there. We're not out yet, but it's not looking great. Come on, try to get rid of this one if you can. Come on. Okay, we gotta get out of here or else we're gonna get pinned down. We gotta move now. Uh, Matt O did a five dollar super chat. Hey Legion, looking at trying at IE with classic Carl Franz campaign hard. Does Archer handgunner spam work or do you need melee troops now? I haven't played Carl Franz, dude. Um, I imagine that pretty much everything works as long as you're good enough at the game. There's there's very few units that are like total shit. The game is balanced, sort of. Thanks super chat. But yeah, you can totally get melee. Totally get melee units and it's fine. Come on, guys. I gotta keep my uh, Grace here close to it. Come on. You just stay there and have a rest. You keep running. Come on, guys. I've still got some ammo left. Alright. Come on. This guy here doesn't have any. Oh, God. It's really gonna come down to just the last few of them, I think. Losing all of that low-hanging fruit that we had is not great, because that was worth a little bit of bounce of power. We needed that to get the army losses. Try to lure them away. That's it. Lure them up this way. They're chasing after the general. Let them do that. Okay, you can have a few pot shots on that one. You guys, just shoot at this one here. One volley, and it might just break. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Not this one. Good. Now get out of there. It's gone. For now, it's gone. Okay, it's you not completely hopeless. You know, we're still we're still in the fight. It's the, it's just tough. It's just tough. We're not completely out. But yeah, there's there's it's not like Warhammer 2 where there are certain units that are just complete traps that you should just never recruit. Um, like melee infantry, you could totally recruit melee infantry in Warhammer 3. It's way more balanced in that regard. Way, way, way more balanced. It all just depends on how good you are at the game. That's it. So, you can't really blame your army if it's evenly matched and you lose. It's not your army's fault. It's your fault. If, it's, if you know, if the odds are against you and you lose, then, you know, fair enough. Like this situation here. If I lose here, it's my army's fault, not my fault. <laughs> okay. This one here is nice and isolated, and it's a fairly strong unit, so taking that one out, if we, if we can run over here, 
and take it out, that would be fairly good. How is this melee balance done? Melee stat buff? It's not so much- Yeah, actually, they nerfed ranged and buffed most melee units in the game. And the melee cheats in the game have been severely reduced for the AI. So... It's a lot easier to break the enemy. It's a lot easier to kill the enemy in melee. Ricky HDR did a final super chat. Could you talk a bit more about why specifically melee infantry are better in Warmer 3 compared to Warmer 2? Cheers. Uh, I just did, but thanks for the chat. Guys, I'm trying to fucking fight for my life over here. Everyone's like, what's better, melee or archers? <laughs> yeah, sort of thing. Just ask me a bit later. Yeah, just keep that one over there. If it's just going to main, uh, just stay wavering. The rats are wavering. Come on, you slow pokes. Get moving. What? 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 Orders? So, how many units are actually left? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did I count that right? Yeah, five, six. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are actually effective. This one here doesn't count. It's useless. Well, I guess the Grace here. No, we still need him. He's still useful. Come on. This. How the hell are they keeping up with this? It's got something to do with this terrain. They just don't move properly through it. But their units are just gliding right through it like it's no problem. She has got the most amount of ammo. <laughs> Come on. This battle's been going on for ages. I'm not gonna let them have a, the win if I can stop it. Oh, these two fucking units here. What is wrong with these two? You, what are you doing? You run over that way. Try to lure them away. Did I? Oh, no, he's still there. What's your fucking problem? You go around that way. Oh my god, move this way. Move this way. You this way. Do that way. How the hell are they catching up to me? We are so much faster than them. And we're not as tired. Oh shit. That's not good. That's not good. My bad there. Uh, I don't think we lost anyone, but still. Gotta be a bit more careful. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. God, it's such a slog shooting these guys. Oh my god, they're like, come on, come on, come on, stay away, stay in formation. Gotta watch out here, or else we're gonna get pincered. Now, ready now. Come 
Oh man, look at this unit. They just keep getting stuck. It's only happening to my units. <laughs> That's so annoying. Their one's just gliding right through it, but our units just keep getting stuck. Constantly. Are you alright to come over here? No, no, he's not. He's just too badly damaged. What? What? Ready, ready. How, how the fuck are they not? Uh, they're not able to outrun them. This guy here is. It's the damn rice field. That's what's doing it. But it's three quarters of the fucking map is the rice field. Okay, I think we're about to kill this unit here. It's only got 2,000 health, not that much. And we're shooting into its ship. What the hell are you aiming for? Alright, oh, it's an angled shot. Good, good, good. You keep that up. We might actually break it. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. You guys keep moving. What, do I, what the hell are you doing? Keep moving. Who the fuck did that? What? What happened to that unit? Do you know... They're walking over the rice field and getting, like, killed. They're, like, tripping over the rice field. But it's only happening to our troops. Look, we just lost a whole bunch of units. It just happened. Look, 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 look. What? What the hell is happening? All of a sudden, my units just start dying. Something's happening over here. They, if they go over this spot, they just die. Invisible troops? I don't think so. That's what happened over here. All of a sudden, all my fucking units died. For the due to the terrain. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, you just stay in there and hide for a bit. It, it's not happening to them. It only happens to fucking Skaven. I told you this map was bloody keep killing me. It seems like Skaven are like deathly allergic to rice. Did they drown or something? Yeah, something like that. They'd like go into that water there and drown. Are you not hidden? Shit, could you please hide? What the fuck? Reloading test for science? No, I'm not gonna reload this. Call the default of the they put rat poison in the fields. Yeah, it seems like it. Is that this shattered? Run it down, because I might actually still end up losing because of that. ammunition now. I don't have enough ammunition. Like these guys are completely out. So how many units do I have here? I got five units, they've got four. Uh, my Gracie can't possibly hope to beat this guy in melee. No. Oh no. No, I don't have enough. The fucking rice fields. That's what happened before. All of a sudden, all my guys just started dying for no reason. Protect me. Right. 
Right. I knew that there was something going on with this map. Something just didn't feel right. Oh well. Shit, I, I gotta keep running up here. It's it's unavoidable. This goddamn map. Alright, look, you just stay put. Right, keep running this way. Try to avoid going up there for now. I still hate it how when they run out of ammunition they try to attack, they charge in. I really hate that. What are you shooting at, boy? Okay, move out this way. Uh, Jan J did 10 peel and subject defensive cheese potential, drown them all. Yeah, but it's only. It, it's only. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? Move! It's only happening to me. It's not happening to them. Their units aren't drowning. Only mine are. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, look at this. Look, there's units just... Something's wrong with this map. Oh my god. Oh, come on, man. You gotta move faster. I think he'll be okay. Just gotta keep keep running. Blood Reaper Z did a five pound super chat. Did you not know about this? I think Tariff made a video about Chariot Lord dying on this map. This game is dealing full damage as it's being launched. Yeah, but they were standing still. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm aware of that one. I'm aware of that one for sure. But I didn't know infantry. It'll do it to infantry. That's all. Come on, man. Move, move, move. Okay, cool. They're getting away from it. All right. Only a handful of casualties. That's okay. Uh oh. I'm about to. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I might be able to kill this lord. I might be able to kill this lord. If we do it right now, we charge in here with these guys. We might be able to beat him. That's my only hope. Alright, here we go. That's my only hope. If I kill this lord, I might stand a chance against the Jade Warriors. I don't think we can kill him, but we'll see what we can do. Because these, these uh, Magistrate Lords, they're terrible. Mark Collins did a $2 Super Chat Exploding Varmats. Okay, yep, thanks Super Chat, appreciate it. Okay, hit him in the rear. Try to cycle charge him. I really gotta focus on this. We're doing damage to him because they're not good lords. Oof, he just did some damage to my lord, even though I recharged him and charged downhill. Just isn't gonna work. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna win. I did the best I could, but we were just so outpowered here, and the, everything was just working against us. Keep trying. I can't have that guy fight again. Alright, these two here, they've got... Oh, nah. Nah, we're just... We're just out. We're just out, really. Yeah, you run out this way. I'll see what I can do, but I think we're just... We're running on fumes now. You get over here. I got three... Missile units left with ammo. Has the game gotten harder? No, we just made a really... Really, not silly attack, but really ambitious attack. Their army was just vastly stronger than ours, that's all. Vastly stronger. It's just been a, it's been a difficult battle because the terrains worked against us. They're, all of their units just... Like, we're going with Jade Warriors with Skaven Slaves. You know, it's, it's a difficult matchup. But I'm just trying to do the best I can. Try to avoid the rice patties, dude. Avoid those rice patties. These, these. That's where they fucking die. Okay, I need you to try to lure just one unit over here. Right. Yeah, try to get around them that way.
Yeah, it just seems like the, the things that are getting us just aren't getting the en enemy. Like, the terrain is just so much of a problem for us here. Just really giving us problems. Like, it just disrupts our units. It doesn't disrupt theirs. A lot of things that I just didn't account for. You know, we, we've got units dying in bloody tar pits or something. And we're just, uh, we're just not strong enough. I had hope for a little while there, but when we had that mass route and lost all those units for random reasons, I don't know. That's where I think we got it. So, okay, we actually managed to pull out of that. That was lucky. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. In terms of units, we've got more than they do. They've got one, two, three, four, five units left. That's it. That's all they've got. But I've only got three missile units left. Both, All three of them have a fair bit of ammo, and all three... Hang on, how many infantry units do they have? They've got four infantry units. That one there is the healthiest. I tried to kill the enemy lord, but it didn't work, so we had to bail on that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go through the rice field. That's that's where we friggin' died. You can go through that way, but not through here. Okay, actually, actually, try to get some of them. Actually, just stay right still for a moment. Try to recover fatigue. Could retreat and launch another attack? No, that won't work because we'll lose our entire army. This is our second defeat. We'll, we'll get wiped out if we lose. Yes, yes. Avoid the rice? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's fully recovered. He's fatigued. Gotta lure some of these units away. We just want to be dealing with them a little bit at a time. Careful, your leadership's terrible. They, they're they just gunning for the Lord now. Completely out of magic. Why don't you guys come around over here? You come around over here. If I got them running around in circles, maybe maybe that could work. Rats getting Viet Cong. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happens. I was wondering why all of a sudden my units were dying, even though they weren't in melee or anything. There's a friggin' rice paddy out here. At least I know that for next time. That's what friggin' got me, because it felt like it was going alright, and then all of a sudden I'd take loads of casualties, and I wasn't sure why. This guy's leadership is so bad. I gotta be very careful. Like, if I knew that these guys here would take the damage, but I think it's it's because we're rats. <laughs> it's the Skavens, the ones that get affected by it. Um, but yeah, just not sure. God, it's just so hard to get them to bloody get into formation. Just come on, man. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard of an order. But yeah, look, look how much struggle they have. The pathfinding's... And this map here is just awful. Alright, come on, come on. Bring them over. Let's start shooting. While we've got ammo, let's see what we can do. That unit there still got a lot of health. I think we could use up all of our ammo on that and not kill it. Okay, that's good work. If they just focus on the Lord, we'll keep doing Ring Around the Rosie over here. And just see what we can manage. Do you know what actually might have been happening as well? Maybe it's because we were in the rice field and we were shooting and the pebbles were bouncing on the rice fields and actually hitting our own rats. But then again, what about that rat that was just moving through it? Okay, this might actually work. Just only shoot at intervals. Just stay put. Just stay put. Stay put. Stay put. This actually might work. We've got a, we've got a pretty good thing going here. But I have to make sure every single shot counts. This is actually kind of hilarious. They're deadly focused on our Lord. Our tail's yours. Wait until they turn around. Hang on, don't you dare break on me, boy. Fight, attack! 
I hope they've changed their mind. They want to come over here. No, get back. Don't you dare route. Your flanks are secure. Don't you dare route. We'll lure this guy away. Ugh, I don't know where I can send this one. Where, if I go down that way, I'm worried they're going to end up getting killed. But stay away from this shit. This is what bloody gets us. Really don't want to be shooting into their shields either, but I'm going to make do with what I can. Oh, I need these guys to come down. I don't think this is where they end up... Oh, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, they're... Just, just have to see. Hopefully they don't get killed running down that way. Because it was here where they were getting killed. We're just shooting out damage. If we could just break it, that would be really good. Peter File, nice name. Not <laughs> just 35 Zard Super Chat. Sorry, catching up with stream. On one of Turin's MP games, as Azel drowned into the water after being shot down. Could be a game bug. Oh yeah, there's probably loads of bugs like that. Thank you, Super Chat though. Appreciate it. It's just annoying when you're on the receiving end of that kind of stuff. It's okay when the AI suffers from it. Okay, move back. So, leadership here. It's really close to breaking. Okay, these guys here didn't take any casualties. you got to move back around. Keep moving around. If we can just break this one here. Just come here, we're really running low on ammo. I can't go up this way. This is a bloody death trap for us. Good, I didn't lose any rats coming down here. Give it one more volley. Keep this going. Oh my god, six leadership. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, boy. One more volley there. Alright, I reckon we can break this unit with our melee ones. Well, they're not, none of them are melee, but you know what I mean. With the ones that don't have any ammo, I reckon we can break this dude. Well, maybe one more volley, just for safety. IT crowd reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go around the back there. Don't let this one here get touched. Such a coward. One volley, just one. Charge it. Odin the old father did triddle super chat. They put spike fall traps. Yep, pretty much. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate you, dude. Oh no! No, you fucking coward. You've still got he might rally. Stay close to him. Stay close to him. He might rally. Yes, yes. Guide us Come on, rally, you bitch. Watch, watch! Okay, he rallied, good. And this one here, we just routed it. Oh, did we? No, no, our unit routed. It's okay, that one might recover. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Oh shit, it ran out of ammo. No, no. Come on, kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Come on, the guys that don't have any ammo left, go after it. Oh my god, it's so difficult this fight. Okay, we got this one. We got it. Okay, this guy here looks like he'll rally. Slingers. He didn't take damage, just being a bitch. Oh my god. Still three units of Jade Warriors. Have a rest, dude. Let's keep running around there. That's actually working out pretty damn well. Careful about going up those damn rice fields. Come on, you gotta shatter this dude. Just let them have a bit of a rest for a moment. <laughs> God, we're running on fumes. 
But even if we lose, we've done so much damage to them. Considering it's the Skaven slaves. So you gotta be thankful for that at least. Their army's fucked. God damn, half the live stream has just been this bloody battle. Come on! God, they're so bad at running them down. If I don't run it down, it will rally. Come on. We got this. We got this. Keep running. It's almost gone. Alright, you lot. Start making your way over here so we can pick another one off. You need to stay close to them. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I just will not shatter. Look at this one here, 6,000 health. I just don't know how we're going to get rid of it. I don't think I've got enough. Okay, there we go, it shattered. And, okay, if we lose the battle, it'll still... Oh shit, you're in the rice field. Get out of the rice field! Get out of the rice field! <laughs> it's a death trap! Okay. Great, yes, yes! Right. Let's try to get the next one over here. Good, good. But yeah, if we can manage to get a few volleys in on this dude here without having to go through its shield, that'd be really good. Because yeah, we are running really low on ammo. Holy crap. Man, one additional unit, and I would feel so much more comfortable here. Just one unit with some ammo. Even like a Skaven slave with spears, I'd feel more comfortable. I sh do you know what I should have done? I should have picked a um, Warlock Engineer, because they're actually good in melee. These Graciers are not, but I went with Fleet Footed, which was good, but... I don't know. Ready, ready. 71 minute battle, yeah. I tell you what, I didn't expect to take this long on this battle, but that's just that just happens. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just wait, don't shoot at them just yet. You lock it over here. I don't really care which one we shoot at, as long as we shoot at them when they're... Oh shit, we're getting a bit close there. Oh, two leadership! That's it, bypass them fucking shields. Nice, nice volley. Okay, that's all we want, stop. Wait until the next round. <laughs> That's it. We need to maximize our damage. We just can't be shooting into shields. There's too much health on those units otherwise. We just don't have enough ammo. Look at these guys. Six, four shots. Get him into a blob. Man, I'd kill for another bloody warp lightning. Here we go, and that's the healthy one. Let's shoot at that. That should bypass their shields from that angle. That's a nice amount of damage on a really healthy unit. That's good. Do it again. No, can't get any closer. Just wait for the next next round. I don't know if I've got enough ammo. <laughs> just, I think we're just gonna run out of ammo. Here we go, next round of it. Slingers! 
It shall be done. Okay, that's it. Just take the one volley. That was a decent amount of damage. Yeah, we've knocked off about a thousand health. Off it. Unless we inflict the army losses, I just can't see how we're supposed to handle this. Alright, they're changing this over here. They're sending two units at us. Okay, let's start moving back. Okay. I don't know how we're supposed to handle this. I don't know how we're supposed to handle this. So one of these units has 50 leadership, the other one's 34. I don't know how I'm supposed to handle this. Yeah, keep moving back. Let's see if I can get their attention again with this one. Moving back. I don't, I don't think they're ready to handle it. I gotta thin them out a bit more. I think we got their attention. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll go back. Okay, that's good. We're just not ready. We gotta use up all of our ammunition before we start picking them away. Alright, that's fine. Move back. <laughs> it's just... Oh, God. It's so ridiculously close. Slingers. I just don't think I've got enough ammunition. I see all oh, they're going around the other way. Oh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Alright, shoot it. That's the healthy one, though. I see it. Amount of damage, and we would have hit the other ones as well. The more they blob up, the better. And we might be able to get another volley in there. Go for this one. You're about to run out of ammo with one of them. Okay, stop. Wait for another opportunity. Not done yet. Oh, God. This one's got three shots. That one's got one. No, hang on. Go over this way. Living your legend. Ugh. Yeah, the, the, I just, I don't know. It's because... Wait, we might be able to break this one here, maybe, because it's fairly low leadership. You know, they're, not, they're not all blobbed up. But I just don't know about the other, other ones. Bit of a rest, but what are you doing? No, you're fine. Okay, here we go. Blobs up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. 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 Move, move, move. move. Alright, now. No. I need to get a bit closer, actually. Yes, yes, move! Now, yes! Nope, cancel, cancel, cancel. It's not worth it. Oh, damn, we just used up our last ammunition there. Okay, we have another one that's uh, essentially just a melee infantry unit now. Go sit over there. Don't sit that far away, come back. Oh, if they're bringing this one over here, we're not ready to deal with that. We've got to we've got to break the lower tier ones first. Okay, good. They're coming back. This one's got eight volleys left, but not many shooters. <laughs> Shit. Council's command. Okay, should, should have volley into this one. Hopefully we hit him in the flank. Cool, did a bit of damage. I don't know how we're supposed to overcome 5,000 health in melee with, with Jade Warriors though. Cool, we're shooting into their flanks for the most part. I'm out of ammo. 
I've only got one unit left with ammo. Oh shit, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> I don't think I can win this now. We just did. It's so close, but it's just not enough. Like, I've got five shots left. That means 250 pebbles left. Uh, like, I might be able to break this one here when we charge into it, if we can isolate it. But the, like, this one here specifically, I don't know how we're going to get rid of it. Plus the Magistrate Lord. Um, well, um, if we had a Warlord, they could definitely beat the crap out of it. But it, this is a Gracier. If only been playing a kit. Mm. That wouldn't have made any difference here. Can't, can't possibly fucking win. There's just no hope. Oh, hang on, hang on. Here's a, here's a little bit of hope. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of hope. Hang on, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, if we have any chance of winning, we need these guys here to absolutely rat pile on this guy here. And this one needs to shoot into its rear. That's the only way. That's the healthiest of them. If that can happen and we break it reasonably well, there's a chance we can win. A very small chance. Because still got 90, 90 troops, but here we go. Problem is we're absolutely running on fumes here. Don't you dare run on me, boys. Nah, look, we're not even close to breaking it. This is not going to work. Even if I flank it here, it is just not going to do enough. And I'm shooting it as well. It's not going to be enough. We just didn't have enough ammunition. Because shooting it uh, does provide a leadership debuff. I'll try to get my lord over here to smack it. That might help a little bit. But you can see here, it is it is starting to rip through us. And we are starting to lose. There's our troops. And there's still more of them to deal with. Oh, hang on, hang on. It's about to break. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. I think he's trying to get out of there. Come on, quick. Oh, damn, we just ran out of ammo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's break this one. We just recharged it. It just won't break. This is no way. I'm trying to cycle charge. This is no way. Come on, get out of there. Legend, why don't you flank it? No, it wasn't enough. Just can't overcome its leadership. We have it completely surrounded. There's nothing else we could possibly do there. And here come the rest of the reinforcements. GG there. It's just, just can't, can't overcome it. We'll see if we um, end up getting wiped out. I think we do. Yeah, we have, we just, we can't overcome it. Let's get out of there. <laughs> we just can't, can't overcome it. Uh, just withdraw. There's nothing more we can do here. <laughs> Imagine spending that much time on it. Oh, it was, it just goes to show you just can't really overcome um, that much stuff with Skaven Slave Slingers. Can't win it. It was so close, we just couldn't break it. I just couldn't. Now, here's the thing. If we don't get wiped out and we are able to make a third attack, we'd probably just be able to order it. Another Valiant defeat. Sent us with today £5 super chat. Here's some congratulatory cash for the dedication to crippling a large army with coward rats and pebbles. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Look at the casualties we did to them. Look at that. Like, it's definitely a strategic victory. But... 
I just couldn't overcome it. It doesn't matter what you do in that situation. A cycle charge, whatever, you just can't overcome it. Rebuild it with Eshin troops. Well, yeah, I just, I just, you know, beginning of the game army. It's not a big deal. We'll see what happens. I might get wiped out. I might not. I'm just not entirely sure. Because we were on the attack. I think we do get wiped out, but I'm not sure. Blood Reaper Z did a five pounds of jet. Thoughts for cheap major city tactics for Skaven. Stalking Eshin's... Uh, stalking Eshin, stalk climbing walls, or a couple of brood horrors to rush the cap point. Good luck, Legend. You can really do either. Thanks for the chat. <gasps> we didn't get wiped out. But I can't make another fight. We didn't get wiped out, but like, we just can't make another attack. <laughs> we didn't get wiped out. <laughs> so... Interference will yeah, that's a lot of damage done to them. But I just I just can't do any more. I can't make another attack. I, yeah, I'm out of movement. The there's no... Scream, there's no scream. movement bug I could use. You know what? If I had this unit here, I might have won. Let's get back over here. Alright, and then switch it for another... Uh, Warlock Master, maybe? And then... Mighty master engineer, I am. <laughs> oh, well. These things happen. That army is just I not going to be able to do anything now. Alright, so what we want to do is go straight to Wei Jin. Moving time. Yes, yes. Did they remove loyalty for Skaven? Uh, Eshin never had loyalty. They don't have it. I don't have enough money to recruit Master anything. Engineer. But you know, tough Can exercise and <laughs> like effort of futility there. You know, just sheer willpower alone wasn't enough, and unfortunately that map was just the worst. I reckon if it wasn't for that map, we probably would have won because it was so close. Anyway, um, I think that's all I can do this turn. If we have a look here, what do we got? Nah, nothing. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Only 49% of the casualties caused you in that battle was by the Cathayan troops. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The terrain was was screwing us over. We'll use Ruined Magic more often due to its huge damage. It just depends on the situation. Is Warlock Master really better, do you think? Yeah, it is better because they're much better in melee. It would have been better. Although... The reason I chose that character was for the extra move speed, because he was fleet-footed. That made a big difference, though. Two point zero patch that confed has been rebalanced. Would you be tempted to do a high up one three stream? No, it look they've been rebalanced, but it's still crap. Rat. Next contract in two turns. Okay. Death Master Snitch. So yeah, that army is sitting over there to recover. And this one's over here to recover. That, that will work. Alright, one thing I... I don't have enough food to push this up. And Sac Cities are garbage in Warhammer 3, so... We might just have to capture this at Tier 1. Because yeah, sacking it over and over again is not a good idea. Um, if we have a look at the map, we should just be able to sneak in with these two here. God of War did a 10 dollars Hey, Legend, I'm enjoying the stream, but I was wondering if you know why endgame scenarios aren't adjustable or modifiable in multiplayer campaigns. Very disappointing. It needs to be added. Um, yeah, look, I don't know why anything is done the way it is. You gotta ask the developers about that kind of stuff. But thanks for Super Chat. Okay. Okay, this map should be fine. I mean, we can auto-resolve it, but... Yeah, I'm replenish the rates, not good. Why is Sac City trash? You just don't make much food from it. So, the reason why you do a Sac City before is you'd get a lot of food from fighting it, but you just you just don't get that much. Did they remove that stupid loyalty mechanic from Skaven and Dark Elves? No, it's the Skaven... Uh, sorry, Eshin just doesn't have loyalty. Yeah, so Sac Cities had two purposes for Esh, uh, for uh, Skaven in Warhammer 2. You would gain lots of experience because the amount of experience you gained was based on the victory type, not on the number of troops. And then you would gain food. But you don't. You get like one food and you get like 200 experience. It's just not worth it in Warhammer 3. 
Which I'm fine with. It's just sex cities are just not worth it. That's all. And I'd much rather just eliminate this faction. And while I do want to push this settlement up with food, um Oh shit, look at that, they're defending it. Oh, okay, they want to do that, do they? What kind of tower is that? It's only low tier tower. Alright, how about you move up? I'm gonna bomb them. Look at that, they're actually defending that position. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh look, they're coming off the wall now. Maybe it's because I don't have artillery in the army. I think that might be the, the key reason. But yeah, if we get this one here to tank those shots, bring this one up, bomb that. They're starting to... They're giving up on that position. Okay, keep moving. Yeah, look, they're giving it up. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting shot up, though. So he's tanking the towers while they're coming down. Whoops. Is victory type a multiplier in Warhammer 3? Ready. No. Alright, that's enough. As long as we got their attention over here, that's what's important. Oh god, those towers really did a number on him. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? This is Scipio Africanus level tactics. I, I know that you'd be like, eh, you can't compare historical characters to your cheese, but uh, I'm always reminded of the Battle of Nova Carthago, where he, like, made a feign attack, but sent his main forces around the side during low tide, or high tide. It was definitely a tide. Is Confederation a lot more difficult than Mortal Empires than Warhammer 2? Yeah, it definitely is. You have fewer tools to work a Confederation in, and the thresholds are kind of difficult to manage. And then, you know, he sent, he then sent one unit to go and capture the town square and immediately routed the <laughs> enemy forces. <laughs> he didn't. Anyway. What about confederating with Bretonia? Okay, so using technologies to confederate feels fine. But if you're playing as, say, Carcassonne and you're trying to confederate the um, um, Rapants, confederating Rapants is a pain. Because she, if she has any kind of army, she will not want to confederate. Even if she absolutely loves you, it's, it's very difficult to get her to confederate. But what I've found is that it, the more armies you can drag them into, the better. Did you know High Elves don't need military lines to upgrade outposts and they gain influence from them? The confed changes the lane, but I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, the stuff with, with uh, military alliances for the High Elves is, is okay. Um... Nice. Oh shit, I forgot to see how much food we got. Oh, we got two food. We got two food from that battle. Yeah, that's another reason why I wanted to make that attack. If we won, we would have gotten like 20 food. So I can push it to tier 3. Which allows me to build walls at least. I'll have no food left over. Look, if we end up losing the settlement, no big deal. We need only the Emperor's no big deal. Just, uh, we'll, just, we'll just see what we can do there. But yeah, Armor of Destiny right off the bat, nice. Alright, well...
Cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. So looking at this, yeah, it's all. Oh, look, I can get some more of the Ashen troops here. That's good. Warlock, master of Scryer. Okay, so we can see that Snitch can't make it over there next turn. But if we go into ambush chance with this dude, put him about here, he'll be able to launch the attack there. This guy here has recovered probably a fair bit, but we'll see how we go. Windows Task Manager did a photo of Superjet. Hannibal won the Battle of Cannae with AI Agro Cheese. The Roman AI only targeted the first unit they saw. Yep, there you go. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, he used the Envelopment Cheese. And then uh, he tried to push through. It was all just cheese. Thanks, Super Chat. Mm, okay. Alright, what are we doing now? We got two growth, but I'm just not making any money. Not making enough. The, the buildings cost a lot. If I switch to this... Oh, we are making money. We're just not making much. I gotta sell these gems. Oh, wait. I, I did get a trade agreement, didn't Admiral I? Admiral Greece. Vampire of the way. Bow to me. Okay, these guys like us. Kind of. Um, let me just see what Come I can negotiate with them. You. I don't. Not going to do that. Getting a trade agreement with them by declaring war on the Imperial Wardens, which I don't even know where they are. Let me have a look at the Imperial Wardens. <coughs> Excuse me. Four settlements. Oh, they're like up here. Okay. Oh, and they own the Great Bastion settlements, but they've only really got one settlement. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if we could just sneak into a um a gate city and just take it. Alright, I might regret this, but I am going to negotiate with Village. And get this trade agreement and a little bit of cash. If you find it. Okay, Jadewind Mountain. Let's build that because I need money. That would be good for money too. Problem is, I, I don't know if I can defend it. It could get taken at any time. So maybe just chill. We really need to upgrade these settlements, so I need to save up money. That's That's really important. Which, that'll, that'll make us a decent amount of money on its first turn. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I know I need to upgrade this as well, but we got time on that. So I'll just, I'll just save up the money this turn. Uh, it might be a good idea if I just merge all of these units. Because I only need to launch the attack, and that saves us a bit of cash. And I can easily just replace them. But we've nearly beaten these guys. Cool. Moving on. Now that IE is out, for real, is the campaign AI better? It's the same as- you're on the same patch I was on. I was on 2.0. Oh shit. Actually got discovered. Ball sack. <laughs> well, I guess we got the last laugh. The 200. Take the money. Too many slaves to feed. I can't believe we won that in order resolve. I don't. Two fucking tries manually. Find my guts out. Couldn't win it. Order resolve. Heroic victory with Skaven slaves. <laughs> the order is off. <laughs> oh my god. Thoughts on campaign win conditions in IE? Yeah, it's fine. Alright, well, that's the end of them anyway. Stream of luck? Oh, I don't see how it's, that was, had nothing to do with luck. This is the order resolve Over being super powerful. Him.
This warlock wants blood. It's fine. Kill fight mode on. All right, I've got enough food to push this to tier three, but I don't really care that much about this province, so I'm just gonna. Sweet. Maybe I'll leave it. At, maybe I will leave it as a sack city. I could use more food. All right, maybe I will. Smash break and grab take. And then maybe we'll make an undercity here. Of course, make under empire bigger. Because I need food. And then, do you know what we could do? We could sell Pomei. Sorry, we could sell Wage in to Pomei and then just take Wage in back and push it to tier 5. Diabolic devices! Oh, cool, we got the Whirl of Weeping Blades now. And if we build this one here, we'll get casualty replenishment. But I reckon if we just go into a camp stance, that'll be fine. Globally recruits. Uh, I can't see. Okay. Um. They're they're essentially beaten, but I might need this guy to run back here next turn to recruit a few more, a few more of them. And yeah, we'll just see what happens if we use it as a thing for a bit. Okay, they don't hate me, so let's Bow see if I can get them the to join war against Celestial Loyalists. Nah, don't let them do that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Replacement under city building. Yeah, but it, it, money. I need money over here. I need money over here. Alright, let's upgrade Jingpo first, because that's actually our capital, and we need to keep this building. Oh god, that takes a little while. Because, yeah, I need to get the wall building up. Um... That'll generate some more food. Uh, th where are some pastures? That'll be really good if we can get some. Pastures, pastures. Where are some pastures? Yeah, I can't find any. I'm sure there would be some in Cathay, but I don't know where. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, How strong are these guys? Let's see, if I offered them wage in... That's a way of getting some money. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. Sneaky snake. <laughs> and I might sell the Ming Zhao as well. Alright, we'll have, we'll just see how we go. We'll just see how we go. Okay, I got an, I got an idea. I'm gonna recruit another lord here. I got, I got an idea. This might backfire on me, but you know, you, you never know until you try. So let's have a look. Sneaky assassin. All right, you. Yep, get that ancient cunning. And what we want here is, um, okay. So look, the Skaven slave slingers—they cost fifty-three, but you know these night runners—they are so much better than them. There we go. And what we're gonna do is use these guys here as a sack city against Ming. Ming Zhao, because yeah, we're gonna lose this. Right. Oh shit! It's gonna be a revolt. That's okay. I can deal with it. We just gotta, we just gotta force march back a little bit. Yeah, you just gotta force march back. Still tax it. No, wait, wait. Buy me one more turn. Buy me one more turn. So Schnitzschau gave us a bit of public order. So yeah, I'm going to sell these settlements to these dudes, the uh, rebel lords of Nang, Nang Yang, and then I'm immediately going to attack them. It was that a southern province, you just need to go south a little bit. What was? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start building defenses here. Okay. 
Okay. And what was I going to build here? Yeah, we want to get access to Warlock Engineers. There's also Plague Priests. Uh, yeah, we need Siege Attackers. We'll find a way to get Plague Priests later. Okay, I got a little bit more money. What do we need? What do we need? Upgrade this. Yep. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And it means I'll oh, just, just leave it be. Get, get rid of this, because I'm gonna... No, it's only 150, just leave it. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're about to do some dirty shit here. In the next turn or so, about to do some dirty shit. Yeah. Because I want to push Wage into tier 5. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Is it worth it to get low reliability of Skaven now? I don't know. Discipline Warlord for Storm Vermin Doomstack? No, garbage, not doing that. No way. Alright, there's gonna be a revolt over here. Alright, so you. Can you come down here and raid stance? Alright, I'm fairly sure. Stand right there. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I'm just trying to get some food. Settlement upkeep 6. Yeah, this is why you don't want to have lots of low-tier settlements. Okay. Machines and They would have fully recovered. Yeah, yeah, they did. Alright, alright, alright. We need to come up with a plan. Prior says, says, yes! Alright, you just go in here and sack Lord, this. I'm gonna get rid of all of these Skaven slaves and recruit, um, different units. Yep, that's fine. So, yeah, we only got two food. So, if it was, um, Wormer 2, we'd probably get like six for that. That's why it's just not really worth doing it at the moment. See, we're not even getting enough food to get through this turn at the moment. But that's okay. Alright, now you come over here. Magic's Disband all of this trash. Don't need it anymore. And recruit a bunch of night runners. Hang on. If I put you in the region, yeah, that gives you another one. It's gonna be a revolt. You stand over here. So this guy here, his job is gonna be to sack the city of Shugengan and raid it. So this guy's job is gonna be to sack Ming Zhao and raid it. Um, for the most part. So that we can actually try to generate some food. Um, and Snitch is going to take out the Rebellion. Okay, let's see, here we go. Got a, I don't have much money. Yeah, don't worry about public order there right now. Why sometimes some beastmen herds that I'm at war just randomly start to raid my province? I can't. 
I can't talk about why the AI does certain things, they just do. Oh, okay, we've met them. They like us. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, this is gonna be the best thing ever. Oh yeah. Hang on, let me just see this. Sometimes. Nah. These guys here are going to be my money makers. Uh, Gorchild did a five dollars super chat. Is Menace below fixed in IE? Also, how do you feel about vampire counts currently? Ghost is strong, but what about the others? Um, uh, oh my god, Menace below is fine in Immortal Empires. It seems I don't really care that much for the vampire counts. Ghost seems interesting, but I don't really care much for the others. Thanks for super chat. Okay, here we go. Money time. <laughs> And I don't have any allies, so we can definitely ask them for as much money. Every time you have a deal with them, you can get money out of them. Um, even when you ask them to go to war with someone... Let me just see. Sometimes... No, nah, money, money is weighted as nothing with the Beastmen. Okay. So we just got four grand out of them there. That's great. Really, really good. Even like offer, just every single treaty can be added with two grand. So that was good there. All right, and that gave us enough money to upgrade. Probably Village of the Moon would be best. Yeah, because that seems like a likely candidate for <laughs> being attacked. Are these guys at war with anyone? Yeah, so they're a little bit busy. That's good. That's good. There goes most of our money. Alright, it's a little bit risky, but I'm going to build this. And this. Because Jade Wind Mountain seems somewhat safe. Unless there's an army there, which I won't know. Um, okay, let's get ready to do this. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shadowy Dealings. I could... I could do a food raid with Snickers... Yeah, over here. Do it. Five extra food, it's fine. And I gave him a level up, which is nice. He's ranked 13 now. Uh, yep, keep reducing those upkeep costs, because money's a little bit meh. Do I need this uh, clan rat spear anymore? I'm going to skip it for now. Okay, let's move on. Is loyalty no longer a mechanic in Women 3 for Lords? It's never been a mechanic for Eshin, and Eshin is immune to the loyalty mechanic. Oh, I just realized this guy might swing around here and attack. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess we'll see. Just realized that could happen. You have words to say. I'm down. Snigger's weapon isn't equipped. Oh, isn't it? Oh, oh, thanks for letting me. I'll equip it. They can't blow it up because I just sacked it, right? Oh, cool. Okay, the AI rebellions are not as smart as they were in the other game. Molder contract received. Okay. So, getting good with Molder is not... Oh, wow. Construction costs minus 2% faction-wide. Physical resistance for, for characters is okay. Um, we're going to lose relations with Clan Moors. Oh, that's actually not good because that's what... Oh, we need that public order. Hmm. Still going to do it. Just, just wait. Uh, Filter Decay did a five dollar super chat saying cheese. Uh, yep, thanks super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Right. Ready. It is time to cheese, but let's see how we go about. It. So we're generating some food. Clan Scryer. Cool. We can just order that. Oh, we got five food for that. That's interesting. Alright, sack it. Yeah, I'm fairly sure they can't sack it. I'm fairly sure. Now, if we stay close enough to it, when they make the attack, we can come in and help and get even more food. 
Stally. Maybe I should build this thing. Where is it? This one here? Well, let's actually just get through this turn here and have a look. <laughs> they paid me two grand to go to war with somebody else. Okay, since they paid me the money, I'm now willing to do that. Cool. We still don't have enough food to boost this to tier 5. Pastures and more to the south. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'll I'll work on that. Eleven food, and give me more food. All right, we got a hundred and eleven. Sorry, one hundred and twelve food. Okay, this is where we sell them both wage in. I, I think that's all their money. No, they will not do it. That's all their money. Alright, maybe sell them Mingzhou first. Yeah, it's not worth as much. Have I discovered them? Because what if we did it to them instead, Yari, right? I presume you have come to beg for your life. Such sad folly. Oh, I can't give them Wang Chang. Wait, wait, wait. I need to give them Ming. Oh no, no, no other way around. Ming Zhao. There we go. Is that is, that's how much it's worth? But I can also give them Wei Jin. And they'll pay the proper price for it. And I have to go to war with them anyway. And since since this one here is at war with them, we might be able to manipulate them for that. Ville Puisisalo did a five euro super I tried confederating while playing as Cathay. And still seems really hard unless you beat down and confederate the lords. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks for the chat. I know it still needs more tweaking. Alright, I'm going to sell them wage in for three grand. The storm... And let's see now. Can I sell them Mingzhou? Zhao? They don't have enough money. Now, let me just check. Yeah, they have no garrison there. <laughs> I could attack them and just immediately take it. But I don't have enough food to get up to... Oh, if I do this, I'm so close to having enough food. Um, we go to clan contracts. This will give us five food, yeah. Just send somebody who's sitting around, um... Hang on, what's this guy's name? Compule. So, just don't send this one. Send... not him. Can't send that one. Send, um, just, just either one of those. 117 food. How can I get three food right now? Lord now gives four food, that's why. Ah. Ah, the Sack City might actually be worth something then. Thanks, dude. Lord now gives four food, interesting. Okay, we'll just raid it this turn. We should have enough food next turn to push it straight to tier 5. Ready. Yeah, I went renowned and feared. Okay, cool. Sorcerer inventor. Yes, yes. And then we'll also sell them this settlement and use that as a sack city. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Will taking wage in itself give you food? No, because there's no units there. There's no garrison. I can sack it for maybe money, but it just wouldn't be worth it this turn. And if you have a look, 
gifts given to northern provinces. Yeah, she still hates us. I'm just trying to, like, squeeze a bit of cash out of her. That's all. Alright, if we have a look at construction, yeah, we, we mainly want to funnel the money into this province here. That's why I'm just out here manipulating shit just for money. Um, two turns until next growth. It would be good to have gutter runners for sure. Gutter runners are great. Uh, we also need the pestilent nave, which we will build here eventually. Oh wait, no, no that's only for the, the gutter runners poison. Yeah, these ones will be available. Yuck, Eshin sorcerers. Um, I got 10 grand, but I don't really have anything to spend it on. I could upgrade this. But how likely is this settlement here to come under attack? Maybe upgrading this would be okay. It'd only be worth 10 gold, though. But still, I don't want this province to be having public order problems, so let's just do that. And I'll just save up the rest of that money. Alright, then we need to get towards monstrous plans where we've got... Yeah, we've got... We're gonna be ready for that. Oh, you know what? Just should... Just fucking just build it anyway. Cool. And build that as well. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Run, Shadow. <laughs> Warp, lightning. Okay. And with this stuff here... Yep, that's all fine. Let's move on. Uh, let's just look to see if there's more the diplomacy we can do. Restless. These guys are about to die. Lockyer won't Come like aboard. it, but we'll drink port. I want money. Nice. We should act now. Lockyer oh, won't like it, but I don't care. I have sailed the world. City All good. And let's move on. What does the landmark building do? This one over here. Uh, that's just like the Eshin, Eshin headquarters, basically. Yeah, upgrade that. Why not? Okay, let's move on. What faction do you destroying with Eshin mechanics? Haven't decided yet. We'll just see how things go. See how things go. Oh, what the? <laughs> Why would they besiege it over multiple turns? You silly... What the? Oh, I bankrupted them. You silly beast man. Silly, silly beast man. Alright, they might be a little bit annoying with that then. They can blow it up now. Unless I... Hmm. That could be weird. I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. Alright, now let's sell Mingzhou to Northern Provinces. Mingzhou, whatever. Oh, they don't want it anymore. Because I'm raiding it, maybe. Oh, because I hate me? Oh, yeah, that might be it. Jan J did a 10 pill and super chat. Could you Thanos snap the endgame crisis faction? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, super chat. Good, good, good. Could probably sell to Pro May. But I don't want it. The whole point of me coming down here was to... Hmm. I guess that isn't going to work. I just, yeah, I can't sell it. I can still declare war on them and retake that. We've got the food that we need now. Ugh, public order here is troublesome. So we're gaining two public order from this. If we spend 120 food, we'll go all the way down to starving for food. So there's a four public order difference, which will cripple this province here, which means we'll have to switch back to efficient planning, at least until this is built. 
Um, I'm not sure what to do with this guy here now. Not sure. Stop raiding, sell settlement, start raiding. Wait, even as we speak, I plan your demise. It's because I became the main threat. That's why. Hang on, let me try this. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, this might work. If I talk to Miao Ying, Heed my words well. offer to join war with the rebel lords of Nan Yang. Uh, okay, I'll do it the other way around. Because I was going to declare war on both oh of them, God. I think. This encounter is pointless. Yeah, they're folly. finished. We'll fight them. So we'll offer to join war of the northern provinces, and then tell them that they can have Ming Zhou, and then. Balanced, and that way we get some money from it. And I was going to declare war on them anyway, right? We are eight. So we we kind of we sold it to them at the right price, I think, right? And so we got some money out of it. So now I'm at war with with uh, northern provinces, but now we declare war on them as well, because <laughs> I just didn't want the settlement anymore, but I didn't want to abandon it. Okay, then how much food have I got? Oh shit, I am actually at max food. I should have taken this first. Lord of the Assassins. I'm over my limit. Alright, yeah, we can probably get away with an order there. That's fine. Yeah, look, I... I lost food on that. No, I didn't. Straight to tier 5. There we go. No food remaining, though. It's gonna cripple our public order. <laughs> go raid Wing Chen. No, we're fine. Okay, and then we develop that up. Okay. Now, over here, we're at war with them. What we want to do is go into raid stance and set up an undercity, firstly. And I remain in raid stance. Cool. Then, here, we want to build this and... And this. Yep. And we want to build spices. Yep. Cool. However, we do have to fight have no right. Miao Ying, but we, we should be fine handling that. Did we get Snitch's weapon? Yep, that is correct. Thank you, dude. Oh, what's his... Um, oh, control all provinces. So that might be worth it to get the Cloak of Shadows. Assassinate 15% chance all characters. That's good. Those set bonuses are pretty useful. I forget about them sometimes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Did I forget Snitch's... Yeah, I already read that out. Um... Yeah, maintain public order here, or wherever. I bring pain so yeah, this will be interesting here. They can't sack settlement, so they're going to blow that up. But I can ensure that they lose. That, that will work. I can ensure their defeat. Problem is, though, they can just come straight back and try again. My will does not bend. Warlock of so yeah, they're putting a spanner in my works there, for sure, because I can't attack this. Nothing's really threatening Wei Jin, as long as that gets built, we should be fine, and then we just head over to Pomei, and we just gotta get our food back. It just takes time. Do you see the Ica starting army has two rattling guns instead of one now? Yep, that's cool. Plan scheme. Get those items off him, or else he'll possibly lose it. What was this? Okay, that's fine. Alright, with our last little bit of money, I think it'd be a good idea to recruit some more Night Runners. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done. Move on. Uh, diplomacy, let's have a look. You Admiral of the fleet. Welcome aboard, Kong. No, don't bother with that. Empire of the waves. The dragon blood. Uh, Soviet Echidna did become a member for 18 months. Or if I'm late and you already answered, is there a new review on the way? No, there's no review on the way. Thanks for the chat. Who's at Flayed Rock now that Snitch moved into Cathay? Just, I don't think Flayed Rock exists anymore.
Is it worth it to destroy cities for souls as Warriors of Chaos? It's up to you. If there's a lot of cities, uh, a lot of souls, maybe. Wouldn't blow up a dark fortress, but if you're like blowing up Kislev, then yeah, I guess so, because you can only capture it at tier one. It just depends on the situation. All right. So we need to be. Yeah. Because I don't want them to blow this up, otherwise I got a ruin dweller. I don't want to do that. All right, well, fight it manually, and we'll just concede defeat straight away. We'll just see how it goes. I could do some magic damage on the beastman, but I don't really see the point. I don't think it's going to do anything. Has shadowy dealing changed at all? Seems to function exactly the same way. So I'll just concede defeat straight away, so they lose. We'll get a crushing defeat, but who cares? But yeah, I kind of suspect the Beastman will just come straight back and attack it again. But even if I use up all my magic using Warp Lightning on them, I'd have to wipe out like 80% of their army for them to not win against this battle. <laughs> so what we did there is ensure that the beastmen didn't win because they're in my way here i've got an undercity there that i put money in i don't want to lose it if they they'll blow it up otherwise they, this faction here can't create herdstones can you revive lls legendary lords some yeah yeah you can revive them flayed rock is in the province next to gore starting location oh, okay i think um I don't know who starts there, sorry. Looks like Hawk Rider's got a nerf, max two volleys it seems. That's always what they had. It's a four volleys of Konos, it was always like that. Alright, so... Oh look, they created a um, caravan, that's interesting. Retreat, they come back. Oh, fuck. It's what I wanted to pre prevent. Stupid beast men. Wait. Did that say Clan Crystal was destroyed? Aw, oh, man. Yeah. Even if I had, um, even if I hadn't, uh, even if I had, like, tried to shoot them down with Warp Lightning, it would never have worked. They had three volleys? No, they have three volleys when the Sisters of Twilight are, like, get to their main skill. Then they get three volleys. Guys, you, d some of you guys don't even remember this shit in Warhammer 2. It's like you haven't played it in ages. And then you're like, ah, oh, that got nerfed! When it didn't. Okay? Go and, go and... You gotta go back and check. They always had two, and then you get a third one through the Sister Twilight skill tree. Death Master Snitch. It's the way it's always been. Yeah, they're not gonna give me any more money for a while. Oh, they ended up going to war with Northern Provinces. Hang on. Oh, and this one. <laughs> How am I supposed to get money out of them if if I can't get any deals? Silly beast men. Death master. All right, whatever. Strike like snake. Now they start with one and upgrade to two. Oh, okay. Okay, so wait, two to start, then one from skill. Are you sure? Because I haven't played. They only start with one volley. Right, when I played the, um... When I played the, uh, Sisters of Twilight back in Early Access, 
they had two, and it went up to three. So they changed that since I last played it. Right. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't, trust me, guys, don't worry. There is a way to get infinite volleys of Konos. E effectively infinite volleys of Konos. And there's a video coming. I'll, I'll tell you how to get infinite. Okay? Chat defeats legend, we did it. Well, I'm just running off old information from the build. Right. Yeah, since I last played them, I guess they got nerfed. Okay. Master of death. So even as we We got no food. I guess we'll go and occupy that at tier one. I can always manipulate someone to go and take it off me later. But yeah, as long as this holds out for three turns, it should be good. We're making eh money. Do I need this army here anymore? Machinations! Cause like I'm not I'm not gonna ruin dwell that. Let someone else come over here and I'll just take it off them later. Uh, Theodore Carabra did a 25 ROM super chat. What did they do to high elves? I just can't grow cities anymore and manage public order buildings. Takes 50% more time and costs more to build. Yep, I know, dude. They've crippled the high elves. I know. Thank you for the super chat. I know. This Look, you, you can still do fine with the high elves, but they're just not the powerhouse that they were before. They got the biggest nerf out of anyone. Alright, there is a... Is that, a, is that an actual ruin? I don't know. Death Masters. What else? 7,500 occupied settlement? Oh my god, they still haven't fixed that. Okay, so that is only for the old Wood Elf factions. <laughs> There's old Warhammer 2 legacy bugs in the game that they didn't fix, but they they spent so much time getting rid of like cheese that people liked, but they left in so much crap that people didn't like. They had their priorities backwards. Fucking morons. Priorities backwards. Alright. Let's head over here. Yeah, the turtle gate's there. I have no idea how we're able to occupy that or not. I'm not sure. Um, that should be fine to just stay there like this at home, eh? Yeah, move closer. I think I might just disband this army. I don't really have any further use of it. I can always just recruit more of them. No big deal. And over here, get rid of this one. Don't need... Oh, leave it for now until I fill up these other slots. Okay, because we're going to need... We're going to need public... Order. Oh, God. Yeah, shit. <laughs> we're going to have a revolt soon. Um, I need to get food. Yeah, sack this and stay in raid stance. New cult. How should we do this? Auto or manual? I think we should fight this manual because we're going to take a fair bit of damage otherwise. And we've got other forces on the way. Best not to be lazy. We could probably win this mostly with mess blows anyway. You still whinging about high elves? It's been weak now. Look, I'm over the high elves, but people keep coming back and complaining about it. Okay? I'm just not going to play the high elves. Okay, I'm over it. Definitely play at high elf campaigns too easy now, even with the entrepreneur cheese. Yeah, that's the problem. It's too easy, but also they're not as strong, and it's boring. The, the problem isn't that the campaign is difficult. None of the campaigns are difficult. The problem is that it's not fun. But it's split the fan base. That's the problem. Eshin, right, gives you two loyalty per turn. Oh, really? Well, that's pretty useless. <laughs> not running. Top priority, get rid of knowledgeable. Second priority. Come on. Uh, I don't know. Alright, just leave these ones out of it. I'm just going to get this guy to go and snipe some shit. And just use Menace Below's. Clan rats. 
bastard assassin! This guy not stalk? Oh shit, there he was. Okay, here's what we should do. Pin him down with a menace below. Yeah, when in a duel situation, especially on very hard battles of a good, you shouldn't really have a duel fight another- uh, sorry, have a lord fight another duel. A lord fights another lord, unless they're like significantly better than them. What you want to do is pin them down with trash, so they're distracted. And you get your guy in. Yeah, he's getting them. He's getting them. Because these guys here are anti infantry as well. Yeah. Good melee attack. Oh shit, fucking hell, the whole point of this was to not take casualties, and here I am taking casualties. Wasn't friggin' paying attention. Yeah, Night Runners were under attack, I wasn't paying attention, because I was too focused over here. We should be on the verge of victory. Maybe not. Come on, just a bit more shooty. Man, don't tell me I have to bring these in. God damn it. The whole point of this was to take no damage. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, I took a bit more damage than I would have liked, but we're okay. Stupid question, but how do I recruit infantry as Kairos? Half the roster is just missing from my building tree. Do you have the Warriors of Chaos DLC that just came out? I'm pretty sure you have to get that DLC in order to get all of his, um, all of his units. Why aren't you capping the other points? Minor city battles is not really worth capping those points unless you can cap them all really quickly, which we can't do. You can't just... You can't win these battles with the... Um, with uh, capping the, the points. It's just... Um, I don't know. The Emperor shall restore us. Man, it's just not much food. Alright, we'll get a little bit of replenishment there. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like generating food might be a little bit of a problem for us. Alright, Jing Po, we gotta get defenses up there. Hang on. If this this one is clearly gonna swing around over this way. I can't quite reach it though. How strong is this army? It's not that strong. Alright, this is what I think we should do. Don't worry about sacking this one. Go into ambush stance right around here. Because what I think they're going to do is they're going to force march to here. They want to go for our capital. If we recruit another lord here, we'll be able to cut them off. Don't even need to recruit any more units. 
I hope. <laughs> oh no, we shouldn't because we got warp bomb. Maybe. Uh, Balder became a member for two months. I uh, just bought the game last night for IE. Don't know how many more sieges I can take before I start scathing, muttering to myself while leaning back and forth. I get it, dude. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for the chat. I know. Well, I hope they don't come over here and blow this up. But at least this is getting pretty developed. And yeah, public order. It's still likely to revolt unless we can get some food together. I really gotta find some food. When's our next contract coming? It says zero turns. So I didn't fix that bug. Yeah, I know there's. You guys said there's a pasture down here. We should definitely head down there eventually, but let's sort out these ones here first. Alright, let's move on. Do you think CA have a day where all the design staff meet to discuss what you like and how they can ruin it? it no. I I would I would hate to think that that would actually be the case, because that is unbelievably petty. Um, you never know. NT did a 20 SEK Super Chat. Are you going to update your tier list for IE? No plans to do so at this stage. Later down the track, maybe. Your bell fix. Oh, the bell? Yep, that'll provide public order. Inquisitor Chase became a member for eight months. Alright, oh, you're a cool dude. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. You are bold. Oh, no. We need to buy a bit more time. <laughs> Haven't got the walls built yet. Alright, cool. We've got another contract. This one for Clan Walls. Good. That'll get rid of two public order. Losing it with Mor with uh, Molder. That's fine. That's fine. As long as there's like an even spread of it, you will eventually get it up. Okay. What's this guy's name? Obsguide and then Compule. So this guy here is not active. Cool. We have no negatives with anyone. Next council contract in two turns. Good. Looks like the beastmen coming in. I guess the big thing, if you want to get food, you gotta win battles. Oh good, we did build some defenses at Village of the Moon. And it doesn't look like they've got any armies here. Okay. Oh god, imagine we've lost our capital. They're not going to be standing there. Let me just have a quick look over here. Okay, get, then get rid of him. Alright, what's the chances that you... What's your trait? Sneaky, good. What's the chances you could ambush it? 66%. You got any items that I should be worried about? This guy's on horse. This girl's on horseback. Uh, Lore of Metal. Okay. Interference will cost you dearly. I bow only before. Hmm. Need more money. Need more food. I bring pain. Okay. So, taking Pome, it's not worth much. If we sack it for 6-6, six, six, it's not worth anything. Occupying it will cost us food in the long run. But this faction here is neutered. How is she coming along? She's equal strength to us, so even if she attacked us, we should be fine. Got a few regiments of renown I could get. But I'm fairly confident I can win that. <laughs> fairly confident. Got warp bomb in this area. Oh yeah, I was supposed to have a look at this. Oh yeah, on start, lords have a chance of gaining two loyalty. That's really useful for 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 this. Um, I don't like what's going to happen here. I got a choice basically. I can either occupy Mingzhu before they come over here and blow it up. But then I might get attacked over the end turn with this one. Or I could. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to occupy this. Because otherwise we're going to lose. This was a big mistake, selling this one. This really didn't pan out well. Hmm. Wait, how are we going for... All right. Oh, I guess that's another good point. If we capture this, because untainted, we should be able to gain a fair bit of food per turn. So that's good. They've only got two cells. We can wipe them out right now. Could you recruit beastmen units for free upkeep? Oh, I think you have to do it from a, a um, from a um, you have to do it from a herdstone, and I, I, those guys can't get a herdstone. So if I found Morgo, because he usually survives, we could do it. All right, this should be easy. Do you think Wolfric might be one of the strongest starts right now? His campaign feels really smooth. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel good at the game. Yeah. In Warhammer 2, was it easier to have high food supply as Skaven because the AI would spam armies at you? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of the problem. I'm just not fighting enough armies. I think. And also, the amount of food that we get from the settled ones is just nowhere near as much. Might get a little bit from this. It's half a stack. We'll just go straight over there. Alright, we should have actually encountered Clan Moors as well. Okay, so there should be a blind spot. Yeah, here. Like a massive blind spot. It's actually quite silly how blind that spot actually is. And then, of course, we just send these two around the, f the back. They, just, they won't even know what's going on. And just shoot him. Cool. No way to trade settlements for a beastman? No. No, not if they don't already own a settlement. I believe you can give them settlements if they've got a herdstone, so that particular beastman isn't going to do anything. John did a five dollar super chat with IE's melee difficulty rework. Can Clan Moore's Rictus pull off melee focused armies, or is 100% with the team still the way? It, look, there is no only way. Um, you definitely can do it, but Skaven melee infantry units are just bad units all around. They're just really, really bad. If you want to hire Storm Vermin, you can totally do it. I still wouldn't recommend it in Warhammer 3. But you know, some people are determined to do it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. But. I'm just never going to endorse Storm Vermin. Like, they're an expensive unit that performs really bad for its tier. Do Kurgan still constantly smash their head off at the Great Bastion in Immortal Empires? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I believe if uh, they can't declare war on Chaos Factions anymore. And I think if Cathay is wiped out, they disappear permanently, but I'm not sure. Are these food deficit problems a snitch problem or an overall Skaven problem? It's just an early game Skaven problem. Once you start securing a few provinces, you'll start generating food from your provinces. Especially if you can get a, a Pastures. We just don't have one. So... When you own a full province, and you put in the food edict... Now that I think about it, my, my main province would still be a deficit of food because they four region province, and it's only generating three food, yeah. Gotta find a way to get some food. You do like the Regiment of Renown Storm Vermin, correct? Yeah, but that's different, that's different. Yeah. 
We've got one unit that actually doesn't break. Just one. Under Empire food building. I did build some Under Empires. The problem is the basement are going around blowing them up. <laughs> They're blowing up my Undercities. Because I'm friendly with them because they're great for money. They give you a lot of cash. At regular intervals. Um, which is great because Skaven are not rich in the early game. Later on in the campaign they will be, but right now they're not. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sort of fumbling around just trying to find food. Oh my god, two food. Because we technically killed them all. But yeah, it just isn't worth much food. Yeah, just take it. I can't. I can't. If I don't have food, what am I going to do? I need to deal with these guys. Okay, so... We're generating three food from here for a little while, so that's good. That's good. Um, if we occupy this. Yeah. I think it would be better to go for the army. I feel like garrisons don't give us much food, but maybe they do. Um, got a good chance of ambush. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if I'll have enough movement to get over here afterwards. Alright, another valiant defeat. But we got six number of uses. That's good. That's good, I guess. Yeah, we got um, two metal wizards, actually. No, no, one metal wizard here. And this one is... Gonna slow us down a bit. Two archers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can do it. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? This is what I wanted to do with this campaign. I wanted to make ambitious attacks. You know, go up against the odds. Miss Skaven, it's okay if you lose a battle. As long as it... Like, it's okay to lose a battle if the battle wasn't in your favor in the first place. But when you lose a battle and, like, like ugh, it was kind of evenly matched, that's that feels like shit. But we're outnumbered by three units here. Don't have a wizard. We've ambushed them, but... I don't know how useful that's going to be. So what we want to do here is try as much as possible to... Oh god, this... Oh, this map sucks. Look at that, they're fucking protected. <laughs> god damn it, the units I want to get at are protected by the fucking terrain. God damn it. Alright, what do we do? Because, yeah, I need to get rid of the archers. They're the ones that always get me, but I can't get at them from here. What if, you know, what if we hide here? Wait for them to walk past a little bit. Yeah, and I'll pop down a menace below to pin them down, and then run down to get them. That might work. Okay, you just stay back, don't shoot just yet. Just let them walk past. I just realized something. In that force march battle, if I had just hidden all my troops from the beginning and just let them walk away, we just would have won. Like, if they leave, they they lose. <laughs> just realized I could have done that. I didn't need to go through two hours worth of fighting or whatever it was. Oh my god, I just could have just I could have just hid. All right, so here we go. Pin them down. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Shoot your own units. That's it. If they leave, they lose. Yeah, if we had just let them walk off the battlefield, they would have lost because they were on force march. I can't believe I didn't even think about that. I just realized that now. All I had to do was hide and not even fight them. 
that fucking hour and a half of fighting like my guts out and then losing all I had to do was literally nothing <laughs> it would have oh, well I know that for next time now yeah, you live and you learn yeah you're never gonna hit my Eshin troops with all of our speed you're never gonna hit me boy Yeah, do you see why I I go for um, Night Runners over uh, Skaven Slave Slings? As soon as I'm able to get them, even with half an army, you can do so much more with them. Because they can fire while moving. And actually fight in melee and not be complete bitches. Alright, don't shoot while you're going through here. Night Runners! If leave an ambush, do they lose? Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. First uh, leave with a bit of damage. Oh, that was a pretty good cast on them. Fine, I'll give them that. Just wait until they start shooting. I'll pin them down with this. No time. Green, very green. Yeah, I know. I know, the lighting is really green. When there's even just a tiny little bit of scaven corruption. It goes crazy green. Yeah, get rid of this. Still playing their music though, but I've still got three more minutes below. Yeah, try to get rid of this one. Now these archers are getting me here. Okay, just run out of ammo with these ones. Testing it now? Okay, cool. Okay, now they can resume fire. So they weren't shooting because they were going through the forest before. Cloak of Jet on a routing unit. Good job. What a waste of magic. Excuse me. Just tested, the army didn't leave, they just walked and then stopped. Oh, okay. Well, th thanks for the info then. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I had to fight it in the long run. But yeah, thanks for the, um, thanks for the info. That's good to know. Good. Kill, 
more contract. Right, go after the heroes over here. Still got some Jade Warriors left, and I'm just about out of ammo. Come on, get through that. You need to kill them. At least this guy's anti infantry. You can handle them. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe just back off for a little bit. Just, just a bit. Just don't attack him too head on. We've still got some ammo here. We've got to be careful. Here, kill this one. Kill this one. Those Jade Warriors, I just can't really get through here. Slow me down with that. Greasus doesn't get a stone horn and he's stunning army anymore. Sad face. Yeah. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's try to get rid of that peasant archer there, because it'll be a problem otherwise. Still playing uh, Cathay music, probably because we've used up all of our ammo, but I still feel like we're winning. I'm really not worried like I was with the um, other one. Okay, we just took out the archer unit there. Uh, okay. Fine for you to shoot the Jade Warriors, but don't go into melee with it. Just go around that. Into this one. Yeah, that metal magic is really causing me problems. I need to get rid of that. That's what's doing all the damage to me. If you ever look on the uh, this wizard, fifteen thousand damage. There we go. Get at that one. Good. Dish out the damage. That's it. And just don't stand in a in a fight, or else they bloody get us with that damn searing doom. Okay, mostly moved away from that. Mostly. Gotta get rid of this damn wizard. How's that going? Alright, they they should be able to win against that, you know, unless they rout. You said yesterday, maybe get a few lords to stand around ready for food, might be good. Yeah, but it costs a lot of money to do that. If I do that, I'll go broke. Don't forget, each lord costs you one food, so you're only gonna get you're only gonna get uh, two food per lord. If that one comes back, because I'm not done with that one yet. Okay, we're finally getting rid of the wizard. Okay, cool. I killed that wizard. If we can kill her, we can drop their leadership down. There's only two jade warriors left. 
And they don't have the net ability. They're not they're not gutter runners. Yeah, just try to let her recover. Wanna shoot her or something. Good, she's coming back. Let's do this. Shoot him. <laughs> okay. Unspottable, but I still know where you are. No, don't run. Stay here, stay here. I'm not done with you yet. I'll never be able to catch her. Shoot. I don't have enough ammunition or damage to kill her. She's not going to rally. Hang on, just stop. She might rally. She might. She might. She might. No. Okay, we're going to take these ones out now then. She's going to leave. Okay, you do that. Alright. If we throw all of them at them, at one unit, shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Got him in the end. It was a bit tougher than I thought it was going to be, but we got him. I was hoping for heroic victory, but we did take a lot of damage. That lord got away, but their hero didn't. That lord wasn't really that much of a problem. This one here, the, the searing dooms were just such a pain. What difficulty was that save for the turn turn Oxyodog battle? Oh man, I don't even check. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't even check when the difficulty is. I can tell if it's legendary difficulty based on the save file, which it wasn't legendary. Um, but yeah, I don't usually check. I don't, I don't care what difficulty it's sent in. If it's a difficult battle, it's a difficult battle. Um. Well, we got three food from that. That's not much. That really isn't much. Yeah, they definitely nerfed the amount of food you can get. For sure. Feels not much. Three food for that. Alright, I'll go with uh, money. You no, know, maybe should have gone for food. Do you know if I could confederate Althorn if I buy his DLC mid campaign Warmer 2? I have no idea, sorry. Damn it. Now I don't have enough movement to get here, so all of this is gonna get blown up. We can demolish it, but it won't get it won't get rebuilt. Unless hang on, do I I don't have enough movement to do anything there. But, I can finish this one off, and this should be an easy order resolve. Yeah, we don't want this one here gaining loads of experience. What? Oh, right, because we killed the Lord. <laughs> so it seems like Lords are worth a lot of food. Yeah, I'll take the food this time. Alright, that helped a little bit. I helped a little bit. So that's gonna get blown up. Uh, okay. Well, this faction here is finished. Yeah, it's gone. I didn't want to drag them into this fight. They they did it on their own. That's just a straight up ruin. And Wen Chang over here. How strong are they? That we're stronger than them. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now we need to recruit some units here because I'll go a hit celestial monastery. Maybe set up a sack city there. 
All right, let's get a Warlock Master. Gracier? Let me have a look. Yeah, let's get this Gracier of Ruin back over here. And we could get Gutter Runners. Gutter Runners are good. Yeah, get Gutter Runners. Okay. Okay, Village of the Moon. Well, I, yeah, I didn't have enough money for that in the first place. I don't think I really have anything more for this guy to do. We'll just see how things play out over the over the next turn. I bring pain so yeah, I don't care if this sermon here falls, doesn't matter in the slightest. Um mm, yeah, I just can't get that food going. Alright, Jingpo. We could upgrade this, and that'd be good for money. But no, I need to save up cash to upgrade this. They definitely increased the price of those walls. I don't recall it ever costing that much. That's really bloody expensive. Uh, at Village of the Moon, why don't we build... This is pretty good for cash. Right, it doesn't cost much. We get a return on investment real quick, because it's 80 gold. But it only costs 325. Are we selling off all the gems? No, we're not barely selling any of them off. Darkness comes. Shouldn't we have met Clan Moors? Or maybe they're just not. Hang on, let me look here. No, we haven't met Clan Moors, even though I did a deal for them. Vampire of the waves. Alright, I need, I need to sell off my goods. Even though that might piss off Lock here, what's he gonna do? Declare war on me? Good luck. Who do you think is the best Warriors of Chaos faction? I have no idea. I haven't played them all, so there's no way I could compare them. I've only played Valkyr and... Um, I've only played Valkyr and Archeon. I haven't played any of the others. After doing those two, I just sort of lost interest in the faction as a whole. Okay, doesn't produce that much money. So yeah, checking with him. All right, he still likes us. Let me just see if I can get him to go to war with. Nah, he won't do it. He still kind of likes us. All right. Well, look, if this one's gonna come over here and attack. No, if I if I stand there, they'll attack me over the end turn. I bow only before the dragons. And he's recruiting units. So look, let's just disband this. Yeah, take take the item off him first. Alright, that saves a lot of cash. Okay, let's move on. The Coadal quest is bugged, the waystones are indestructible. <laughs> it's a beta. The amount of DLC for Warhammer is crazy, so lame. Yeah, look, it depends on which way you come at it with the DLC. If if you've been here since day one, like, the DLC comes at a pace that is quite easy to consume. But if, you've if you're have if you new to Warhammer right now, then it can be really overwhelming with how much DLC it is. Because the game develops over time. Oh, shit, they're not actually... They didn't actually do it. That's interesting. Oh, because they... They hired that. Well, that gives Snitch something to do then. That's not a problem. Yeah, those beastmen chickened out. And whatever they recruited, there's no big deal. Okay, so passively we are gaining no food per turn. We've got to turn this around. Yeah, here's one thing that, that'll turn it around. This. Alright, do, do that. I'm not generating enough food. But yeah, just passively not generating food because settlement upkeep, buildings, low scave, and corruption. So that's coming from Pome. We can get another one from over here. Um, sacking it isn't worth it. Just I guess taking a settlement in an uncorrupted area can be quite good, just to get the food. I have seal lord approval. 
Just trying to find out new ways of finding food. Have you seen the sky junk ammo bug when manually firing? Or is it old? Oh, that's old. I'm pretty sure that that's, that's gone. That's really, really old. Alright, that one will disappear. So, let's just... Forget about per mate. This is just a place for us to generate three food. Or two food per turn, essentially. And then, just get Snickerdoodle over here. As you do say. And this one. God damn, it's so hard to generate food unless you're fighting big battles and they're just not here. Hang on, let me just check something real quick. Where's that Chaos Invasion buffet? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay, what if you join war against the Jade Custodian? Nah, that won't do it. They're ready to give me give give me money? Oh no no no. I don't think they're ready to give me cash. Let me have a look. No no, I've still got to wait a little bit of time. Uh, no you can't. Okay. No, I don't want to give them a gift. See, what you can do is cancel the tr the uh, non-aggression pact and then re-sign it. But once their relation's already good enough with you. Alright, looks like I have to fight this manually because the order resolve said to get fucked. But it shouldn't be a problem. Did you build this molder building only for pack muscles or some brute horror build hand? Oh, it's to unlock a technology. That's all. Yeah, I don't really need Brute Horrors right now. Or, um, Pack Masters. We're, we're beyond... It's only 10. What, 16? We're not ready for that. We're barely maintaining what we've currently got. So, yeah. Gotta find a way to generate food. Can't find a food farm. Gotta find that pasture. But the thing is, even if you find the pasture, if it's, what, maximum 6 food? It's not like it's a ton. Gates could be useful because the gate could provide food through the edict and they don't have public order. But I just, I don't know if Skaven can hold them properly, that's all. Like I said at the beginning of this, we're going in blind here. Alright, I'm going to come at them from different angles and just go straight for the capture points. I'm going to go for two, two gutter runners per capture point. And a third over here. What, what and if this guy here can be visible, just put him out front. They should put all of their troops essentially here. And this guy will just get their attention. Nice. All of them start moving over here. Can you get food from demons? Uh, I don't see any reason why not. Yeah, I believe you still can get food from demons. Uh, Chase Nelson did a channel of jet. Long time watcher and thought I'd pop my donation cherry for you. Glad to see you return to the horn rat. No, worries, dude, thanks for super chat. Um, glad to have you. This way. <laughs> your uh, donation cherry, I guess. Yuck. <laughs> I am right. Appreciate it. I managed to hit 195 wind reserves and vampire counts. The new trade is nuts. Which new trait? 
uh, law keeper. Yeah, what, 195 wins? That's not... That's like... Not even very much compared to what you can get in Warhammer 2. So, I mean, that's great. That's great. Um, 195 is a lot for Warhammer 3, for sure. But... I don't think the trade is nuts. Cool. They just keep coming in here and dying. Let's go cap this over here. Let's take some damage from those fucking towers. Come on, if I kept this point, we instant win. Although we'll probably end up army lossing them in a moment. There we go. I think that would went pretty well. Um, how do you use the gutter runner stack late game when everything has 100 plus armor and shields? Well, in playing Clan Eshin, all of their gutter runners have armor piercing. So if you're playing as Clan Scry, you probably want to switch them out. But if you're playing Clan Eshin, um... Yeah, Clan Eshin handles them into late game because armor piercing. 195 was a lot in Warhammer 2 Legend. Uh, well, okay. It's okay for Warhammer 2, but you got to keep in mind, I've seen over a thousand win reserves before. Yeah, I I'm just used to seeing more. Like, don't get me wrong, 195 is great for Warhammer 3. Really well done. You know, but... Also, I, I've got my Tomb King campaign where I get all of my lords have 165 wins of magic. Um, so it's not that far off that. Um, okay. Just sack it or walk upon it. We're definitely not pushing the settlement level up. I'd say occupy it. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we sack and occupy it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the reason why we sack and occupy it... I mean, this guy might die over the end of the we know. They might counterattack. I have no idea. Oh, it seems unlikely. There's no... Oh, yeah, there's no way they'll get to us. There's no way. All right, this is pretty safe. But, yeah, we... We get that sweet food generated from uncorrupted territory. Most people didn't exploit Winds of Magic in Warhammer 2, so 200 is ton. Yeah, but he's trying to get... Oh my god. <laughs> you have to compare like with like, okay? Alright, so... You absolutely could get 200 Winds of Magic pretty easily in, in Warhammer 2. Like, that, I would routinely have that much on my armies. It's not a big deal, really. Um, just not even using knowledgeable characters. Just by having magic reserves and followers. Especially with the Empire, right? So what you're doing here is you're comparing, um, not like with like, you're, you're comparing somebody who's trying to generate as much winds of magic with somebody who's not trying to generate a lot of winds of magic. You're not comparing like with like, okay? Ambush is probably better. Okay, that's fine. Man, there's trolls. There's no trolls in the chat. Don't be, don't be silly. Alright. Jade Wind Mountain is, I think, fairly safe. I don't know, though. Yeah, let's get that going up to tier 3. Alright, with that, these all these minor settlements are at tier 3. Oh, and we still got enough money to build this. That's good. Okay. Address me as Nerfing magic reserve skill to plus five is a disgrace. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Death Master Snitch. Honestly, we're lucky we got that at all. Because before we didn't have anything. But yeah, the, it's gonna be a battle to get them to like bring back things to the way they were, even partially to Warhammer 2 levels. I don't know. I don't know what the mindset is. They just are absolutely adamant about stripping every like global bonus or anything that increases your power even by a little bit they just want to strip it from the game um i don't know why 
they're catering to one group of people and one group of people only. And I'm not saying that they should definitely always cater to us, but they should try to cater to everybody that loves Warhammer, loves these games, but they're not doing that. Yeah. They've definitely got a clear favorite, and they're just going for that. Okay. Yeah, food reserves is shit. Probably gonna have another revolt over here, but we'll have walls built that by then, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, we got rid of the undercity. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just occupy it. I think. Oh, he's gonna take that. Don't be scared by my helm. As intimidating as it is, fear the being that wears it. All right, they'll trade. Oh, hang on. What if I sold him? Oh no, no, no! I'm not selling him wage in. It's fucking tier five settlement. <laughs> I cost that cost me a lot of food. No, 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 no. But what about celestial monastery? Let me have a look. Don't be scared by my help. As intimidating as. Isn't catering to different people the whole reason for faction existing? Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. The way I feel about Warhammer 3 is that they clearly don't want players like me to get maximum enjoyment out of this game. They, they actively don't want to. Because I always felt like my playstyle doesn't impact on other people's play. I always found it weird when people got upset with me for cheesing, right? For, you know, getting knowledgeable. Which, by the way, knowledgeable is not optimal. Like, recruiting it constantly, that's not optimal at all. You're sacrificing a lot of money to get a bit of wins of magic, right? It's not optimal to do that. But I liked doing it. Um, I always found it weird that people would get upset by it when you don't have to do it. But when you take it away... Then nobody can do it. Oh god, don't. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's just a bit. It's a bit weird. And there's this really weird mindset as well where people kind of expected me to be grateful for, like, making the game less fun. Legend, they made the game less fun. Aren't you happy about this? I was like, no. Gotta be happy about it. I freaking fought very hard to, for the, them to stop doing it, but they're, they're adamant. I don't know, I think knowledgeable farming can be pretty optimal. No, it really isn't. It really isn't. If you're recruiting and disbanding to get knowledgeable, it's not optimal. Spe especially with uh, heroes and lords. Like, you're wasting a lot of money to do that. If the lord and hero recruiting was free, it's not, it's um, it's fine, but it isn't. Interference will cost you dear. Alright, this guy is not going to come and help us, I think. He's just out of range. They always like to stay one step out so they don't interfere. But Meow Ying's coming down this way. Where Snitch could beat it. We should get a, a decent amount of food from killing them. But we haven't yet built all of our defenses up yet. Like, we, we got to get these areas walled up. 16 units might seem like a lot, but it's 16 units of garbage. you got to get up to here. Oh god, you don't get artillery in these anymore. You used to get artillery. Yeah, they, they did. They, they nerfed our garrisons a fair bit. I thought Women's Throw was going to be Unleashed Power, not Nerf Power. That's what I thought as well. So. Yeah. What, what are you going to do? Alright, I think I need to occupy this. Just tier 1 will do. Destroy. Yeah, we need to fight it manually, because otherwise it'll take loads of damage. Um, thinking about how to go about it, though, we could... Yeah, it should be fine. I do need to fight it manually.
Hatching all these cheese while their core game is deeply flawed seems like a waste of resources. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. They, f I think they focused on the wrong thing. Like, I'm fine with, like, nerfing factions to the point where it's a bit more balanced. Like, for example, the high off entrepreneur cheese. That's fair enough if they wanted to nerf it, but I think they went too far with it as well. Um, but when you've got major, major problems with your sieges and you don't address that, you've got major problems with your narrative campaign, you don't address it, you know. Just focusing on the wrong thing. Because another thing I want to point out as well, one of my favorite factions in Total Warhammer are the Tomb Kings. There is no one that can argue that the Tomb Kings are one of the most powerful factions in the game. Even when you cheese the Tomb Kings, it's like tough to get any real momentum going with them. Oh, hang on. No, it's just stay over here. Because we're just going to bomb them with, with this one. But it's one of my favorite races. Why do I like them so much? They just got a really different playstyle. And they play really well in Warhammer 3. But no one's going to argue that Tomb Kings are a strong faction. They're not. They're super slow to get moving. Hang on, you come back over here. Uh, but they're fun. And you know, they got rid of the Canopic Jarchies. And I didn't even care. Because it was, they're still fun. All the things that made them fun, still fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. <laughs> John Rayner Betton did a 20 NOK super chat. Did they remove the damage on Devolve? Yeah, but that was that was never supposed to be there. But thanks super chat. Yeah. We move here. Yeah. Look, CA got really pissed at me because of that video. Fair enough. I was really trying to piss them off. Um. But there were other things as well. There were other things as well. Which we've shown you in terms of like... Battle bugs and things like that. What am I doing here? Uh, go, go this way. Seems to me that they nerfed all the garrisons. I'm playing as Xiao Ming and my mind settlement garrisons are really weak. Yeah, they did do that. That's prob- Okay, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Do you remember how people are saying, Ugh, I'm so sick of fighting minor city battles, right? By nerfing garrisons, it allows you to order resolve against those garrisons, right? But you're absolutely right. It, it makes holding those settlements kind of a pain. What video? Oh, the video that I showed on the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Devolve stuff. Now, when I, when I showed that Devolve thing, I already, I did know about the lore of Nehekara. So that would have equally caused a whole bunch of problems, probably. Because <laughs> that's, there's no way that can be right. Um, but I thought the Devolve thing was funniest. There's also a particular unit that can cap there's actually there's more than one that can cap town squares that can cap capture points that really shouldn't be allowed to capture points but there's a couple of units that can that i found out um but i didn't i still haven't showcased that no i think some people have found them i've been getting a few messages they haven't found the one specific one that i found which i thought was funny Lord of Assassins. Can I say anything? I didn't say it would nerf it. Strict ready. Well, you can play the game now. You can play the game now, so. Strict ready. We'll see. We'll see. How's this going? Okay, getting good damage there. Cool. While well, we're capping points, they don't realize what's going on. Next spot blazed. over here. Just stopping by to ask if help in attendance still a thing. I don't seem to be getting any, thanks. Oh, um, you're not getting any? 
Because, like, I'm actively working towards it. I haven't I haven't checked to see if you can get it or not. Well, I'll be able to tell you soon, because I'm, I'm, I'm walking towards it. I'm maybe 15 turns away from being able to farm them. Oop, get the guy out of there. Yeah, they die really quick to that shit. But you know what the thing is, right? I think this is the real crux of it all. Is that I think that Warhammer 3, both the base game and Immortal Empires, would have been better if they just left most of the factions alone. Just imported them as is and not worried too much about you know, balancing or, or whatever. I actually think uh, it would do better. But then again, what do I know? What do I know? Future, if you're having fun, blink twice. You see, he doesn't notice it and left the hell out of it. Oh, okay. Alright, we're just. Okay, this guy's taking too much damage. Just pull him back. Remember, we need to try to do this battle without taking too much damage because Meow Ying is close by. Shot coming down. I still want to get friendly fire on that particular shot. It brings some more guys up here. How are we going? Oh shit! Uh, pull them out. Actually, that's that's not really going amazingly well though. Maybe they were uh, resetting power creep because it would get out of hand in the last years. Mm, they, they reset it by quite a lot. Maybe. Um, Putzer did a 5 euro super chat. You really helped me through immense stress from uni. I am really grateful for that. No worries, it's my pleasure. I, I understand how stressful uni can be. That would have been able to help. Just one more to go. Let's try to get in. Is it optimal to have a quarter of the army as gutter runners, quarter gutter runner slingers, and the other two quarter poison bin variants? I have no idea. Probably not. What are they doing? I thought they might come down here. Yeah, they got a bit of a kill zone going here for us. Now, yes. Just keep those casualties kind of spread out. Yes, master, scary. Ready, ready. Blade sharpened. 
Uh, snitch. Go and kill this dude, and that one will just continue doing doing that. What orders? Get to the Alright, we're done here. Cool. Well, that's better than Pyrrhic victory. Uni is university, worst time of my life. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, uni is short for university. It's funny that CA talk about balance when Skavens you have Ikit with Nuke turn one, Snickit with Thanos Snap, and Tretch with Storm Vermin, I guess, perfectly balanced. Yeah, they're never gonna properly balance this stuff. They're never gonna properly balance balance it. There's just too much wacky shit in there. If you take that stuff away, people will riot. Right? Like, I'm already... I, I'm not playing High Elves or Dark Elves. I'm just refused to play them. And honestly, those those nerfs are not that big of a deal. But as I've said before, rather than nerf a faction into Oblivion, what they should have done was buff the other ones to be able to compete a little bit better. Because there were... Like, if you take... Uh, if you take Norska, for example, they got the buff that they needed. Like... They're just really good now. Yeah, keep going. Just leave it at tier one. It's really good now. All right, so they're gone. Now we got to fight Meow Ying. Okay, we can. We could probably catch her if she comes down here. Maybe. Should be able to. Especially if this one is coming through this way. Doesn't matter if Celestial Monastery falls. Doesn't matter one bit. Alright, get over here. Get over here. Yeah. Let's see what she does. Let's see what she does. We should recover. Yep, we'll recover in one turn. In fact, we took no casualties apart from the damage on the Warlock Engineer, which that's okay. Okay, coming up to the fight. Yep, we've got all the reduced upkeep cost stuff. If we're going to be fighting Miao Ying, then having physical resistance, I don't know if that's actually going to be useful. Let me have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does magical damage. So... Speed for infantry units is pretty good. Although I don't care much for concealment bombs. Yeah, let's go with speed for infantry units. That's garbage. Okay, that's fine. Okay, looking at this one here. Mm -hmm. Good campaign movement range. That'll help us catch her. Try to get these walled up. It's a way we can generate more money. At least this region is kind of safe, but getting this all really... Oh, that's that's actually not as expensive as it used to be. Oh, shit. We're going to have a revolt. Okay, I know what to do. I think I know what to do. We need to get... Yes. Sneaky plague. Nice. You just sit there. You don't need to recruit anything. You need to be an ambusher. Now, if the um, if the rebellion is standing right here and we ambush them, it should actually drag the garrison in. It should, but I'm not entirely sure. Which the DLC team worked on Warhammer 3? Dude, the TLC team worked on the, the uh, moving of Warhammer 2 factions to Warhammer 3, and I think they did not a great job for the most part. So, I don't know. I've lost a lot of faith in the DLC team. 
Definitely better than the main team, for sure. But, I don't know, the mindset is very different than what it used to be. Um, don't bother upgrading that. And let's build that one and that one. As much as I need walls over here, we've got to make sure this region is going to secure itself over time. Oh, and we can pop down for a small heist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't you snipe the Lord of Rebellions for plus seven food per turn? Mm, I just don't have the tools I need to do that. Here. That's actually very interesting. Still, seven food per turn is not exactly tons. And sniping lords can be tricky unless you've got the right units for it. But, still interesting thought. Okay, we're fine here. Let's move on. Uh, let me have a look at diplomacy. You dare. Can I get them to join war with Is this what you truly want, them? mortal? My no. gift or my wrath? Darkness. Bring death. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's trade with them. Enter then. Are you after a drink? Good. Did that say you we're making like 400 a turn from that trade agreement? Or was I mistaken? Nope. That's a that's a hefty boost in income. Cool, so we're we're quite friendly with village. You talk to me. He's not gonna give me money, is he? Nah, he's no beastman. That's not too bad. Are we selling off all the spices? Yes, okay, well then upgrade it. Let's move on. Karos today, 25 HRK Super Chat. Whatever team was responsible for making the atrocious new cartoony art style for the campaign map, but also did a terrible job, Warhammer 2 looked much better. Yeah, I'm not really going to argue about that point. I honestly don't have a problem with how it looks. No cooldown on Undercities equals a lot of food. Mm. Mm. Well, it depends. Building Undercities everywhere... You can generate some food, for sure, but you'll end up bankrupting yourself by constantly doing that. So it'll just cost a lot of money. So you just got to bounce it out. See, we have both money and food problems. Alright. So, they're not too far away from Wei Jin. I don't know if this will work, but we're going to just have a look and see. In agreement, I have Works in Warhammer 2 sometimes. <sighs> yeah. It drags the garrison over here. That's alright. Yeah, we need money as well. This is food. Okay, we're we'll starting to get our food back up. Cool. Um, well, it's probably not going to revolt here again for a little while, but uh, that's actually quite useful if the if revolts show up and we just do that. All right. I don't think he's ready to give me more money yet, but let me just have a look. Nah, two more turns, I think. You ready to go to war with? Oh, we went to war with the Blessed Dread. Ugh, that's going to be a problem. God, yeah, God blow up their settlements, but you're going to die. You just made a huge mistake there. Bow before the Kraken, and I may hold a sliver of mercy. Okay, he's still fairly friendly. Does he still Don't consider that settlement unimportant? Hell. As intimidating as it is, fear the being that wears it. Oh, I can't do that. What if I offered to break non-aggression pact with this one? It's not worth anything. Break trade agreement with that one? I don't care. I, I don't want to pay four grand for it, though. It'll secure the province. Yeah. Nah, it's not gonna work. 
Four grand, I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll just, we'll see about getting it later. I don't have any treaties with him. I can always declare war. Alright, where did Miao Ying go? Is it possible that she went into ambush stance? And we'll just need to check to see how strong she is. How strong is this? Alright, how about we send you to go and scout? Many, many kills today. That's My not her. Does not bend. Chief Assassin. She yes. may have moved over here to head towards Pomo. I don't really care if she takes Pomo. Oh, there she is. There she is. Fucking blind. Alright, our chance of ambushing is apparently 100%. Move. Yes. Yes. Nice. Could you name this sneaky character Vectique? No, not right now. Good, we got 20 food out of that. Nice, thanks Miao Ying. And that's our initial starting army. And let's get... Let's just get... Uh, oh, I need money. Oh, that was a fair bit of money. We need to keep moving. Nice. Alright, cool. We got a bit of food out of that. That's nice. Do you want to give me that city now? Nah, it didn't, uh, didn't factor into it at all. Alright, so how many settlements has she got left? Three, but she got, like, no army. So we need to be aggressive if we want to take her out now. If we have a look at victory conditions, all we need to do in terms of destroy factions is get rid of the northern provinces. Okay, we could do the Night Lord say so. Should put the gutter runners in here. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I told ruination. And we'll take out I don't like Eshin Triads. Uh, we need the warp grinders for Siege Attacker. Take out the clan rats. Take out the night run with slings. And take out some of these. It needs to be 19 because we've got to put that other dude back in here as well. Okay. And then this army here can just be disbanded. I don't need that right now. And that'll save us a bunch of money. And food, actually. Save us a bit of food. Then... Got three levels up for that. That's crap. That's good. Ratfu. Nah, nah. Slippery, tricksy, sneaky... Yeah, extra speed for night runners and stuff, that's good. Cool, getting an Eshin stack together. Definitely don't want to get rid of the poison wind mortars, but it's not really thematic for him. Uh, did they reduce spell costs to make up for less magic reserves? In some cases, yeah. By a very small amount. Still doesn't uh, doesn't equate to being equal by a long shot. What do you think about Lord Croak as a wizard? Is he strong? I haven't used him in Wyma 3, but he should still be just as powerful in 3 as 2. Okay, now how long is he going to go away for if we use Night Lord Say So? Two turns, okay. Okay, and this will give us another available scheme. It's got to be done at some point, and since he doesn't have anything else to do right now, now's the perfect time to do it. Yeah, recruit someone that we've already had before. You'll do. So, he'll be back in two turns there. Okay. Okay, Jingpo, we can build this. That's good. Let's do that. So, in four turns, this area is going to be safe. How are we going with them? Let's 
some point their army is just going to pop up over here and bloody attack one of my settlements and I might not be able to handle it. I need to recruit a lord over here and I just need to know what's going on up this way. Oh look, this okay. This guy will do. Don't recruit anything. I just basically use them as a scout, so I look down here. And just check. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, it would be good to upgrade that, but I'm already selling off all my gems, I think. Maybe I've right of replenishment. Well, it's 2,500 gold, takes 30 turns, and like I said, um, Snitch isn't going to be needed this turn or the next turn. Like, it's going to take us two turns to get to Wang Chang. Yeah, it's going to take us some time to get there, so th th we just don't need to do it right now. Alright, should we upgrade this? Give us three extra control. Upgrade that, maybe. Uh, how are we going over here? We'll need some money for this when it builds up. It's relatively cheap. Yeah, there's a good chance Wei Jin will come under siege at some point. Build that. Okay, and let's move on. Yeah, let me just check this stuff. Darkness. The dragon blooded. Is there any difference between mage lords and heroes in terms of casting? Like lords having lesser cooldowns, cost of spells. There are sometimes variations. So, um, let's use an example. Um, Bray Shaman. Bray Shaman Lords. They're better spell casters than the Bray Shaman Heroes because they have... Uh, I think they get some bound abilities and they also get reduced Winds of Magic cost. But if you're going to compare... Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't built that up yet. <laughs> Shit. Uh, War Shrine's trash? No. It's just you got just gotta know how to use them, but they're fine. All right, so over here we've only got eleven. Oh no, Jade Wind Mountain, you son of a bitch! Oh, I've got Regiment of Renown, but that costs money. All right, what's going on over here? Yeah, your entire job is just. There is something on the way. To Jing po. Yeah, there is something on the way. Ah, crap. Alright, I got a choice. I can... Let me see, can I get out of this wall? No, there's no chance of getting out of this wall. I can come down here and save my capital, which is pretty important, or I can take out Miao Ying before she recovers. I can't do both. Good contracting. I can't do both. Oh man, what a, oh man, that's a really tough call. Over here, I'll just recruit some regiment of renown, we should be able to handle it. Yeah, get a Grace Ear of Plague. Yep, you'll do. Oh nice, we got some money for that. And yeah, just, um, I got, oh, there's plenty of Regiment of Renown here. Plenty. Like a Rattling Gun might sort us out. 15 versus 11. Any chance you're gonna come help me? Let me just think about this for a second. Two turns. Yeah, get that defensive alliance. 
I'm pretty sure they're about to die anyway. If they're going to go fight Lock here. They'll probably just get killed. Just give me that money. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we need... Mm -hmm. So that gives us two units in, sorry, 12 units in there. We're going up against, what was it, 17? 15, okay. The units in Jade Wind Mountain are absolute rubbish. We also have this penalty active at the moment. I don't think this guy, no, he's not going to come and help. So, Rattling Guns will be good. The Esh Eshin Triad ones, they're, they're really good. Oh, no. Okay, okay. It doesn't actually cost extra for Regiment of Renown. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Because if we have too much, then they won't come out and fight us. That way we've got four here, 11 there, 15. It's relatively fair fight. Which means they'll probably run away. Then over here... To touch a dragon... Actually, right, if this one force marches to here and this guy comes over here and ambushes them, we'll be able to handle it. That's not that's not going to attack next turn. Okay, that's fine then. So you... Just regular march over to here. And we'll arrive there next turn. Okay, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Decided so to play High Elves, got Avalon up to 500 relations, still won't join Confederation, what's the thinking? Well, the threshold is 150, it doesn't go up any more than that. Yeah. Impressions on Immortal Empires compared to Immortal Empires? Immortal Empires is good, but Mortal Empires is better. Okay, it depends on the criteria that you use to judge it. Obviously, there's some ways which Immortal Empires is better than Mortal Empires, but in overall, just, is the game more fun than Warhammer 2? No, not really. I like the fact it's got a gigantic map. You know, I like there's more races. Some of the races that I hate in Warhammer 2, I really like in Warhammer 3. Um, but overall, just the feel of things, the pacing, um, just the overall gameplay, ugh, it's just not quite there yet. It's close, but it's not quite there yet. Okay. Your ambush or force marched away. He will have to move to initiate to attack. Yeah, 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 but he can... Oh. That's a good point. Not ready. Fall. Die next time, time. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I serve only the dragons. I can't recruit another lord here this turn, though. Because I've already recruited one. Wait. No, 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 that's over here, right, over here. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't do it. We're just gonna have to put up with it. I'll have to just figure something out. Actually, if I kick him out, let me just see. This dude here will have more campaign movement range by a little bit. So I got a better chance of, of catching up to them from there. Let's not forget that IE still a beta. Oh uh, yeah, but that doesn't really mean anything. That doesn't really mean anything. Honestly, the fact that they call it a beta doesn't mean shit to me. Doesn't mean a bloody thing. It's just it's just a marketing way to dodge criticism. That's all it is. Anytime somebody criticizes anything, you just say, Oh, but it's, you can't criticize it, it's just a beta. It's just, it's, yeah. It's clever that they did that. Because, like, I, I'll, let me ask you, what's the difference between the launch of of uh, Mortal Empires and Warhammer 2 and Immortal Empires and Warhammer 3? There's no difference. And what is it that makes this a beta, exactly? It just means it's not finished, right? But Mortal Empires was never finished until recently, and even then, it's still left in a not perfect state. All right, we'll just leave everything as it is. Yeah, don't worry about that. We might have to do the Clan Eshin Clanstone 13 scheme, because this one here can do a bit of damage to them. 
without them realizing how much damage. You gotta, gotta keep in mind as well that every single Total War game that ever comes out is in early access or beta until they stop patching it. So, Warhammer 3 is is very much a beta, right? But Med Warhammer 2 came out of being a beta or came out of early access, you know, on, was it July 2021? 20, because it was still being developed the whole time, you know? And don't forget all the experimental th things that they did during Warhammer 2, like the proving grounds, the economy nerfs that they did, which they immediately reverted, um, the reworks. The game was constantly in early access and will be in er essentially in early access until it's actually finished some four or five years from now. Like I said, the beta is just there to for them to you know soften criticism, you know soften critics. It's clever. It's very clever that they did that, but you know. Uh, okay, I don't see anything else we need to do. And again, don't get me wrong, it's good. It's good. But it'll always be compared to what's come before, in which case it falls a little bit short. It's not like things are either good or trash. There's more nuance than that. You know, there's areas of grey. I mean, even... Oh god, here we go. Hang on, what's gonna happen here? Oh, they're gonna launch the attack on me? Nah. Oh, by doing this, we might have saved Jing Po. There's no way I can ambush it and win. Oh, they bug it off. <laughs> no! Player builds a couple of troops. Not fair fight, I'm out of here. Alright, Pestilence contract against... Man, everyone wants to do it. Oh, this is a good one as well. It's tier 2. Yeah, yeah, it's good. The, the higher it is, the better. Uh, because that way we'll get um, more food and money out of it. That's good. Alright, send in... Uh, I gotta know who's out there. I think these are both wizards. Yeah. Uh, hang on, Compule might be this dude here. No, that's Poo Stitch. Right. All right, let's you know who's leading an army. That's good. It's not better than ME, but it's fresh. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know. Okay, you come over here first. And then we need to switch out. Snitch. But yeah, just 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 reiterate, you know. There's a, you know. There's a scale of things between like, I don't know, I'm not going to give numbers, but between perfect and complete garbage and no total war warhammer game falls under complete garbage. And also, no Total War Warhammer game falls under complete perfect. You know? Even Warhammer 2, which is my favorite Total War game. To touch a dragon ball is yeah, it's likely that that one can still reach... Oh, it's actually damaged. Okay. Master Engineer. Scotty forward! I was just scouting, that's all. When's our next contract? Ten turns? Ugh. Sometimes that's wrong. That is cheap. Scamper, scurry. I think they just force marched away. As soon as they see you with an army, they're like, nah, I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, we gotta get this walls up. You might have to stay here, because they're clearly gunning for us. Alright, we can probably just auto this, because Miao Ying has not recovered. You know? And I really wish people would stop doing things like, if I say, it's not perfect, 
they run off to Reddit and be like, Legend of Total War said it's trash. You know? Stop. People need to stop doing that. Yeah, just... Can you still manage scaven corruption with the new system, or are you always going to 100? You're pretty much always going to go to 100. Yeah, unless if you own the entire province, there's basically no way to feasibly keep it um, at zero. This is not really feasible. Um, because your settlements all cause scaven corruption, just about all your buildings called scaven corruption. There's technology that'll cause scaven corruption. It, it, it will eventually just end up being 100, and there's not much you can do about that. Trying to, like, look at that, that's plus 16. What are we supposed to do? Put friggin', what, five lords in here? Even five lords wouldn't be able to um, keep it under control to, to start bringing it back down. It's not worth it. So you just gotta suck it up, you know? Keep moving on, find new areas, which is what they want you to do. Alright, I think we should still put a lord here, because there's no... There's no um, lord inside the settlement. Because they used to get a warlock engineer, but you don't get one in there anymore. So, let's have a look. What have we got available? Graciers. Warlords. Now we need a spellcaster. Is it C or K? Can't remember. We've just, we've just gotten Vectik the Unstoppable, who was always a sneaky plague gracier. Crunch, scrunch crimes did a two pounds of his yet. Wait, what? Scaven corruption is bad? No, it's not that it's bad. It's not that it's bad. It's just that having low corruption, right, generates food in a province and and control. Whereas having high corruption. It loses public order, and um, you get more menace below. So it's just a, it's just a balancing act. Was it a C? There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Nope. No, 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 no. You need Vermintide, boy. Plague Rash? Yeah. Now, Vectic. Oh, that's only one turn now. Vectic always ran with a weapons team army, which we're not ready to get fully yet. Oh, that's really expensive. Oh, that's really expensive. Mm, I'll have to get it later. I just I can't afford that right now. Thing is, we don't have any bonuses with Clan Scryer. We haven't got anything with them. It does take a while to build all the stuff up. Be pretty funny if they come over here and beat him, and then he dies. The He's never died in any of my campaigns before, Vectique. I've never gotten him killed. Uh, TM Cecilia, sorry, Celtica, did a five dollar super chat. Uh, I'm getting sick of the constant watering down of Total War games. I miss population mattering, tax rates, diversity, and building options. Etc. Yeah, I get you, dude. You gotta fight for it. You gotta fight for it. You know, because if you don't fight for it, it'll go. Do you, do you want to know why they get rid of this stuff? Because it's easier to, to manage. It's easier to bounce stuff when there's not... There's not more mechanics. That's why games like Thrones of Britannia comes out. Because it's freaking easy to develop. I'm not saying developers lazy or anything. Um, but it is... You know, they, they want to try to develop these games as cheap as possible to appeal to the widest audience possible. And sometimes they go too far. Okay, do I still need more of this? No. And so you just gotta push back against them. You dare. You know, you gotta fight for what you want. I don't think a defensive alliance there is a good idea. Ready to defend. Maybe save character for Vectique? Nah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we won't be able to bring him back if he gets killed, though. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, I don't really want to keep that one. Oh, no, keep it there for now. It's generating money. 
Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be a revolt at Pome. I, I could not give a shit about this province. Let it fall. It's tier one. I just I just need to fight stuff. That's all. Are they strong? Nah. And yeah, over here. We've got essentially 17 units versus their 15. I don't think they're gonna launch the attack. They're more likely to come over here and retake Celestial Monastery. I'd say fucking let them. Just let them come over here and take it. Who cares? Does wine give us any real benefit? No, not really. Okay. What are you trying to do? I want you to go to war with the Jade Custodians. They won't do it. However, they do have an ally mission for me. And we can use this to determine where these guys' armies are. So, Sheng Yi is there. Yeah, I'm more likely to kill you. And... F oh, yeah, this guy could swing around and attack us. I'll get one. All right, monstrous plans. That's good. We're almost at monstrous abominations. That should take yeah eight turns. So we're nine turns away before we can get the uh, the thing, if that is even possible. Uh, yeah, keep that there, I guess, and let's move on. Are you close to short victory already? Not really. I have to take a number of settlements, which I'm not expanding super quick. The save character mechanic lets you export characters with their gear and skills. No, not gear. They don't come with their gear. No, you could use that to duplicate items, which is how you would duplicate items in Pokemon. <laughs> uh, when you duplicated Pokemon. Back back in old days. All right, are they going to do it? Yeah, I thought they'd bitch out. Hey, listen, just curious, did you graduate from business or finance? No. In his orc. I can't do that. There's no way. Sorry. Is Doomwheel still bad in general as a mount for Ikaclaw? No, it's not that it's bad for Ikaclaw. It's just that Doomflayer is typically speaking better. Weapons are recruited one turn two. Yeah, I do like that as a change. I do like that. I like my units to be recruited in one turn. Okay, I should have gotten some more money out of them, but I'm glad they're more or less gone. Although that will lower my trade income. Yeah, here we go. Eight turns. Nice. Alright, Nan Lee. I don't know if that dude is still there. Let me just check. Bowels and Luan. Yeah, it looks like he's still there. Good. So there's a revolt here. These fuckers are going to come back. And that's fine. We've got 14 units in here. Uh, it's maybe too late now, but I should have recruited a, a sneaky lord or something and tried to ambush them to do that again. Um, they, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll just see. This might not work. Um, Grace here. There's a cunning dude here. Because, yeah, if I ambush him, it drags the garrison in before these guys got the full strength. We'll just, we'll see. It might not work. We'll see. To touch a dragonborn is blasphemy. Cool. Well, look what's going on over here. Bend. I think it's time for them to give me money. No, I still won't do it. Once I weaken them, they'll do it. Yep, it's time for money. <laughs> I love doing that. I have seen your your name listed in the Liber Bubonicus. Yes, yes. <laughs> Me promise not to eat much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we're a little while away from Confederation. Ruthless plan for extra food income. Yeah, I should have done that first. You're absolutely right. The research rate by waiting for one turn can that can wait. Thanks for that. That was a good idea. All right, can we order this? We got higher replenishment rates, and I don't think this is. I think this is most of their army. I think I think we'll be okay. Nah, don't worry about the minor cities. 
Probably level one. You can get Hell Pit Attendants still, but only Lords and Warlock Engineers can equip them. That's not a problem, because that's usually... Like, I put them on my Lords and then just disband the Lord, so it's fine. As long as it's not only equipable by, like, one type of hero. Alright, one more turn and then that's sorted. Uh, and then we can bring him over to here to go and pick up Rattling Guns. So we've got money, that's good. Uh, Lockyer, how you doing? You ready to give me that settlement? City of the Shugengan? Hmm. What do you think of the buffs the Skaven units? What buffs specifically? You're gonna have, uh, I'm just not sure what you're talking about. Alright, are we selling all of those tusks? No, so don't bother upgrading it. Give me one reason. Yeah, she's finished. We got her. Grass is grass. Lord of the Assassins. Ooh, Sapper. That's oh, Ballistic Extractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good because that that applies to them. Yep. Good. All right, we shouldn't have any trouble taking out Nangal. That should be easy. And by occupying this settlement here, we are yeah, get rid of this. Uh, we are getting extra food generated. Only two. Should get more than that. Um, Vectik just needs to sit here for a little bit until the walls are built. He does need another. Plague Claw Catapult. Typically speaking, we go with four. It's going to take him a while to get his Doom Stack. Yeah, maybe construct a few things first. Hopefully we'll get a Clan Scryer mission to reduce those recruit costs. Because yeah, if we have a look at it... Uh, the current benefits are... Oh wait, no, that's a Pestilence unit. So we've actually reduced the recruitment cost for Pestilence units by 100%. Which basically halves the penalty. So they're only 100% more expensive. When we get to here, they become 20% cheaper. So I, I need a little bit more points with Pestilence to recruit those units. But then there's the weapons teams. They're going to be really bloody expensive. Really bloody expensive. At least I only need to recruit them once. Would Death Runners be better to run this campaign? Um, it, it depends. I usually go with Gutter Runners, but Death Runners can work as well. Vectig was unstoppable in Wormer 2 because of tons of Winds and Magic Reserve. Do you think he'll do fine in Wormer 3? I have no idea. But yeah, you're right. We usually had a lot of Winds and Magic Reserve. Um... How's he going here? I it's it's increasing. So that's something. I don't. Oh, we don't have enough money to push this to tier. F Sorry, not money. Food to push that to tier five either. Uh, hang on. I might be able to do an Eshin action. Yeah, food rate. It's not much, but, you know, food, five extra food is better than nothing. Might as well do it now so it starts cooling down. Yeah. I can push it to tier four, but that's about it. I won't be able to get any further than that. Death master. And sacking it constantly is going to take forever. I don't... Mm, I guess it'd be okay. Hmm. Still trying to figure things out. Okay. Alright, that'll just have to do it for the turn. She's just stay right there. Anyone that comes over here and attacks it, he should be able to handle. Next turn he can move out. Yeah, that would be really good. Alright, let's start looking towards that. And let's move on. No. 
Night Lord. Don't forget about Rebellion. This over here. Yeah, I, I can't do anything about it this turn. Okay, music died. Yeah, sometimes the music just dies. I don't know why. Ambush the Rebellion. I can't this turn. Alright, cool. The Dark Elves just look like they're taking Zanshi. Yeah, okay, that means I can disband that army. That saves me a lot of cash. I might sell him Celestial Monastery. Or maybe I won't. It is about to revolt, though. I could just turn off the taxes. It's providing me with some food. I'll think about it. Speak then, yes. I am listening. Skaven are listening. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, I mean, I could, I could definitely use to sell that off, but you should... Give me that non-aggression pact as well. That it do. Aren't you going to recruit extra units? I was, but they're very expensive. They're very expensive. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the beastman just took that ammo out. <laughs> He's going to die next turn. He's going to die next turn. Because look, this army's what's right the there. W what's this dude going to do? You're out of here. Come on, man. Give me one last payment before you go. Can't do that. No, he doesn't care. Doesn't care. Nah, he's just gone. Alright, we got we're only generating one food per turn at the moment. Passively. Well maybe two now that that's been done. Okay, now continue with that. Cause yeah, I'd love to put this up to tier five. Oh, hang on. Could this get me a lot of food? We need to ambush it, which will be could take a number of tries, we'll see. But yeah, it's just a matter of whether or not the garrison comes in and helps. If it doesn't, then... Oh, nice. Good. So that's how we deal with revolts. Just go out there and ambush them with the Lord, and they just take it out and get free food. Kind of. Alright, give me that food. Alright, I still need to generate 20 food, though. Thanks for your assistance there, boy. You may go. Till it revolts again. Now it's off topic, but can you show your graphic settings? People are constantly asked that, and it kind of derails the stream a little bit. Don't use my computer as a benchmark. My computer's kind of old now, so... I, I don't really want to constantly have to do that. Okay. Mm. Marching, marching. Sneak, shift. Alright, well with this army here gone, that'll save me one additional food as well. Do not waste your breath, villain. This is good, there's no... Um, oh yeah, if I turn off taxes, that gives me eight turns of food. <laughs> Unless I sort that out a little bit better. What is your dark purpose? And, you know, oh, it's going downhill a little bit with him, but if I sold him a uh, Celestial Monastery, yeah, that can get our deals going, but that'll cost me two food per turn. But I could use this to get deals with him. Oh, oh, oh. And then I could also get the City of the Shugen Gan. <gasps> it works. I could do that. And I could get some money. Secure my province so that he can secure his. And we get a trade agreement with him. And then I can put down the edict here. Deal. Yes, immediately. Okay, that was good. That was good. 
trade one shit city for another shit city. But, oh, he didn't even bother developing this up. But at least we can pop this down now and generate two food. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. But yeah, these cities fucking suck. Um, I'll, I'll figure out developing them later. Uh, thoughts on Bellicor being able to cast Pit of Shades for six wins of magic, a stronger Slam Storm? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's that's really, really powerful. For sure. Yeah, sh uh, Pit of Shades is a really good spell. Alright, this is walled up now. Seems kind of unlikely that they would launch the attack. Um, so, what we'll do here is if I put Vectic... Okay, here's what I think we should do. I don't think they're going to besiege Jingpo. Just in case they do. Come over here. Right. And if he besieges it, we'll come over here and attack him. And we should be able to beat him. Her. Sorry. Okay, and then over here. I don't think I'll be able to order resolve it. But manually resolve, we just go sneak in. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, medium casualties. This takes too long to recover. Fight it manually. Any advice for Scryer sandwiched by Beastman and Aranessa? Kill Aranessa, leave the Beastman alone. You can use... Um, if you can make Morgra like you, you can use him. Every time you sign any kind of agreement with him, he can, he'll pay you two grand. So if you drag him into a war... He'll pay you two grand to do that. If you join one of his wars, he'll pay you two grand to do that. Get a non-aggression pact with him, he'll pay you two grand to do it. Ten turns later, cancel the non-aggression pact. And then re-establish it, he'll pay you two grand. Every ten turns, he'll pay you two grand. So you can use um, the Beastman as a way to make loads of money when playing a Skaven. So yeah, go after Aranessa instead. Oh, there's a gigantic blind spot here. <laughs> oh, okay. Good old CA. Great design. New Torox is bad. Oh, is it? Well, you can always play him in Weimar too. When I, when I first played him in the uh, early access build, the fairly first early access build, he was really good. Um... I managed to conquer all of Nagaroth in uh, three turns. Like, I had an endless turn three, basically. Um, and that was also with the um, the Devolve uh, being crazy. So I just, I'd rock up to Nagarond, just overcast, um, overcast, uh, what's it called? Devolve. Kill off the garrison, win, take no damage. Oh shit. I think they'll just forget about me. Yeah, I could also use Pit of Shades. Uh, not Pit of Shades, up. Uh, <laughs> Menace below, just to keep them tied down. They'll just forget we exist in a moment. That was awesome stream. No, 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 this was in my own time. The uh, the endless campaign on, that I did with um, early access Torox, that was maybe turn 15, where we got the um, endless rampage. Yeah, it never ended. I've had the Beastman pay me almost 6k for a non aggression agreement. Okay, so that will happen if they have a lot of money saved up. But. Since they don't have passive income, right, you've got to actually catch them with that kind of treasury because they'll normally spend it just as quickly as they get it. So you must have caught them right after they won a battle. Now, typically speaking, Morgor will win a few battles against, um, like, the Bretonians. So if you catch him on a good time, you can maybe get that amount of money. But he won't passively make that kind of cash. 
Wait, give us your opinion, new Torox. Oh, I haven't played the new Torox yet. I'd have to have a look at it. El Matsai did a photo of Super Chat. Legend, can you cheat Scave and Econ by learning many Skrulks? Unique Warlords? I got plus 100. Sorry, you can cheat Scave and Econ by learning many Skrulks, Unique Warlords. I got plus 150 income from salvage buildings already. That's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Good thinking, dude. Thanks for Super Chat. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's... That's cheese, dude. No, 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 no. You can't be doing that. That's too much fun. Is Grunbrindle done? Uh, I don't know. I need a bit of a break from it. Like, it's dwarfs. I'm not, not, just not that into dwarfs, really. It's... I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I really should have done a, a no-defeat campaign so soon after doing the other one. Because the problem with a no-defeat campaign is that I get really... Uh, cautious, like overly cautious. I stop taking risks in campaigns, and then it sort of drags on. I just don't think it's very entertaining. Wouldn't it be hilarious to take Nangal by stalking? Yeah, I just did that. I think that's why you said it. Yeah. Do you hate the game now? Yes. This is this game is zero out of ten. Absolute bottom. This is the worst game ever made. Then they clip that and they take it to Reddit. Yeah, it didn't be negative. No, it's. I don't hate the game. Will be patched next week if you're over it. Yeah. You mean if I cover it? Yeah. What's up with forts now? I can't attack armies outside without attacking the fort itself. And the AI recruits armies there now. Yeah, yeah. You have to attack the fort directly. You can't just walk past it. Okay, well... Oh, sorry, excuse me. We don't have enough food to push it to tier 5. Death Master if we set up an undercity here, um, it's only going to be for a couple of turns. And it'll only make us like one food. If I keep sacking it, it's probably not going to be worth much money. Uh, worth much more food. Um, I don't know. How much do you reckon eating Miao Ying would be worth? <laughs> Imrik has jumped into the cat chat. Did you someone say eating out Ma Miao Ying? What do we need here? That's shit. Okay, um, Deathmaster Sigil is good. Gutterwise is. Oh, it's only for Death Runners and Ancient Triad units. Speed. Uh, Braveheart did a two little super chat saying thank you for streaming. Alright, no, Zoom, my pleasure. Uh, okay, why don't we get... Yeah, extra ammo for that. Shadow Walker. I don't want to be sitting around here for ages, but then there's the possibility that I'll be able to beat this one and get that food that we need. The ten turns before. Hmm. These are gonna die. How am I gonna get that food? Passively, we're only gaining maybe two food per turn at the moment. This will generate a little bit. Yeah, there's a big difference between tier. Um. Okay, I'm going to force march. Back to here. That way you get some replenishment. I don't think anyone's going to attack me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out some way to get that food. We're, we're pretty close to it, but I just have limited options right now. Alright. Three out of four of these settlements are walled up. So that's good. And growth is coming in quick. This won't take too long to get to tier five. But, you know, getting it to tier five saves us 12 grand. Which is pretty good. Alright, let's have a look at our tradable resources. Because i got a good amount of money now. Okay, 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 we're selling everything. Then, upgrade our resource producing so that we can sell more. Yeah, alright, upgrade that. Ming Zhao actually kind of looks like it's safe now. Um, keep him Ming Zhao, Ming Zhu, whatever, get rid of it. No, keep that for now. 
And what should we put in here? Helps with control. Yeah, I don't have that in the other province. And we shouldn't have that in major settlements. Yes. Yes. Oh, hang on. Yes. And yes. Okay. Cool. Oh, I still got more money. Um, let's have a look at pack masters. Let's have a look what's here. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Monsters at my command. Cool. That'll help it grow a little bit faster, and we can attach it into this army if we want to make the attack next turn, which could help. And let's upgrade that. And let's move on to the next turn. Any more diplomacy? Let's have a look. Ready. Not trading with them, but I could. All right, let's do it. I'll yep, yep. Uh, okay, they're at war with puppets of misrule, here. which will probably will piss off the village a little bit, but we can sell off goods, so fuck village. Who cares? Yeah, he's fine with it. He doesn't really care. In shop. Child right, cool. of the Nine. How is new bad? I have no idea. I haven't played him, but I apparently got nerfed. What's the best starting rules for Miao Ying campaign? Uh, Dr Dragon Blooded Shugen Gan Lords. Those are the better ones. The magistrates are trash. Absolute trash. Yeah. Bye bye, Beastmen. They're finished. There's. <laughs> oh, good for money while it lasted. There, there's no way he'll survive. He was just too close to them. <laughs> Sad cow noises. So the forts are a feature and a bug then? Yeah, you have to attack the forts head on. You can't just walk past them anymore. Because one of the biggest criticisms of, well, a criticism of Realm of Chaos was you could besiege with one unit and then just walk your entire army through. You can't do that anymore. Uh-oh, Spaghetti-o. Uh, <laughs> they don't realize. They can back each other up. This one here just died. I can attack that, ambush it, and the garrison will come out and help. You just died to Vectic the Unstoppable. You just don't realize it yet. Meh. Well, you know, we got a good amount of money from them, and they didn't cause me too many problems, because I did end up getting the city of Shugen again again away. Um, okay, now. You just done fucked up, boy. Foul pets serve me. Pets bring flesh meat. Feed clan clan. Oh no! Oh no! Retreat now! Now! The garrison doesn't come out and help. What's our chance of success? Ninety percent. Shit biscuits. Right, because they didn't come at it from over there. Because the reinforcing spot has. Oh god, that's so annoying. Um. Okay. I am no slave. Vecti can't beat all that on his own. <laughs> That's way too much. Hmm. If I can find a way to win that. Interference will cost you dearly. I'm told ruination. We don't have to win. Hang on, let me let me have a look here. Uh, what if... Hala fucking Lulia! You, now you're dead.
Ah, oh, it's this fucking map again. Hi, Lord and Jingpo. No, it, I needed the garrison to come out and help. It's alright. Everything should be okay now because we do have a decent amount of Winds of Magic. We have Warp Bomb. We have six Manus Belows. We've got Eshin Clanstone. And we have the motherfucking these things here. There's still a possibility we'll lose, but uh, we'll just see how we go. Let's see how we go. What? What? Oh yeah! Vectic the unstoppable coming at your life. <laughs> Here he is, boys. He's back. Can't walk on anything yet, they're not low enough health. <laughs> yes, just in time there as it was being disintegrated. <laughs> Oh yeah. Vectic knows how to party. <laughs> Vectic gets the best kills. Gets the best wins. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens with Bektik. Le Legend never used this unit pink in the army, no, only for emergencies. It's usually just for emergencies, yeah? This was an emergency. And look what it did. It way outperformed the, uh, the, um, Plague Claw Catapult. Best regiment out in the game? Probably, yeah. You just made me buy Shadow and Blade DLC? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, Quantum Shuffle, the 10 pound super share. Do you think that creating Undercities with Warlock Engineers, having no cooldown, is an intended change that's gonna stay? Makes getting food rolling so much easier, Skaven. Love the content. You reckon it does? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's intended change. I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe I should make some more under cities. Thanks for the chat. We didn't quite get enough food. Oh, we haven't quite finished yet.
Keep Regiment down on him. Yeah, for the time being, since they're coming up this way. Don't Ooh, you need more movement, Vectic. Move tails. Three levels up. Here you go. Yeah, you need to get that ambush success up. Plague and ruin. Close victory. Vectig does not get close victories. You should try Empire. They are really tough now. Basically, every change directly or indirectly nerf them. Okay, so... I have no problem with tough campaigns. I do not think that Immortal Empires is tough for any faction, really. Um, but you're absolutely right that I think every basically every change nerfed the Empire. I don't think in a fun way. I think it's in a very frustrating way because you get hamstrung. I think that they didn't do a good job with the Empire. Don't you find the game AI extremely more passive on Legendary than Legendary? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely passive. Stay run, yes, yes. Oh, they're gonna try... Oh yeah, they'll just try and run away, won't they? I guess again, boy. I'm here. Volkmar's campaign is quite fun. The book buffs are powerful. Yeah, yeah, Volkmar would be fine because he doesn't have to deal with the Imperial Authority mechanic. The Imperial Th Authority mechanic is the one that fucked. Yeah, it's, it's terrible in Warhammer 3. Yeah, so Volkmar and... Uh, Marcus Wolfhart should be fine. But Reichland and Golden Order... Not so good. Favorite faction mechanic change? Um, Norska. Most faction mechanic changes between two and three are downgrades. High elf stuff, garbage. Dark elf stuff, garbage. Imperial authority, garbage. Norska's good. Wood elves are okay. Uh, the stuff with the dwarfs is good. They, they actually played pretty well. I, I liked playing as Grumbrindle. That was fine. Ghost victory conditions have him killing the Empire. Guess I'm gonna have to travel. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and there's the food that we needed to get that to tier 5. Nice. Good job, Bektik. Any chance you can get to Jingpo back? Don't disappoint me. That other army did force march away, didn't it? Should be safe there. I don't think they're going to send lots of forces, actually. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, hang on. These over here would be good. Cool. Alright, and this is where 
Meow Ying dies for good. Death Master Snitch. What the f holy <laughs> Look at that food. So she's worth a lot of food. <laughs> I almost don't want to get rid of her. I mean, I only see her once every five turns. Uh, Cypher9 did a 10 year super chat. Man, I have no idea what you meant by passive AI. I'm playing as Eltharion on Ulth 1, left Badlands. I've been declared warren by Ikit, Morgo, and now even Bellacor, all sending armies at me. I think it varies from campaign to campaign, but thanks for the chat. Uh, alright, well, I'll take that. So, she's destroyed. Almost didn't want to get rid of her after that. Trickster's Helm. God damn, that's the other good blue armor. So good. Good, good, good. Good, so these ones over here. They have no armies. Should I be taking these settlements? I don't know. Chief assassin, I can't yes. think about it. Uh, this is not the best army for dealing with that. I don't know if I can just That's go and cap the town square back. with that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So what's next? Nangao needs that and pottery. Gotta sell some goods. He's actually got trade agreements. And we need this and this and the others can wait and get that food going a revolt here wouldn't be the worst thing ever at all yeah try to get a revolt going here so I can eat it mm. Mm, yeah just get rid of that farm greases he has the name shockingly obese yeah maybe maybe Why should the Krakens? The Kraken Lord cometh. Your obedience is required. All right, can't get these helmets back. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, how are we going for victory conditions? Not that the reward is amazing. Recruit rank plus three. But yeah, we need fifteen more settlements. Rest, sleep now. Mm, I guess I could potentially come over here. Got enough campaign movement range. <laughs> I'll go and rule and dwell that once these have been dealt with. All right, let's have a look at what we can deal. You dare. Aboard the tap. Natural authority. Could you raid the gate settlements? Those may be useful to farm food off them. They recruit from the gates, so I wouldn't do that. No, that'd be a bad idea. They'll just kill you. Jade Wind Mountain. Yep. Should be more or less safe, though. Okay, Gunpowder Road, yeah, just leave that. Imperial Road, just leave that. Any revolts that could occur could be good for generating food. Four turns, this one here is not going to happen anytime soon, and this one, not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. So yeah, with this one here, that will... Okay, it is actually generating me food, so that'll... But eventually it'll just be generating two, plus one with this. Okay, so it will generate food. Alright, cool. Um, I don't have anything else to do here. Let's just move on. Can you send an agent through a sea lane and put underseas in Austria? Oh, I guess you could. It's not a terrible idea, actually. What specifically do you not like about Dark Elf update? I watched your video, but wasn't sure what your main gripe. Okay, so the Dark Elf Slave um, mechanic, while it is turning out to be a bit of a hot topic, the um, the old system at least required some inputs. Okay, um, most people complained because you know they had to put brain cells together, and it was just too hard for them. Um, but at least you had to put some input. The new system requires absolutely no input, and so it's really quite brainless, which is why I have a problem with it. Now, I'm somebody that will put in the time and effort to maximize something like the slave um, thing in um, 
Uh, that could help a bit. In Warhammer 2, but this new system just... It's just... There's just nothing to it. it there's just nothing to it. Uh, Maxime Bokwea did a five years. Appreciate to answer the last donation. I'm playing as Krokgar and three armies of Skavens just ran away from their capital in front of my only army. Okay, dude. Thanks for the chat. Cool. That's complex. Yeah, it's just really dumbed down. It's really watered down. Really, really watered down. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. And this is going to take another two turns until it revolts. I bring pain. No army here. Destroy. Yeah, that's the big thing with this. I just don't know if I can just go over there, sneak in, and capture the town square. I'm fairly sure I can. But I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Old slaves, you can get absurd money if you put effort into it. You are brainless. Yep, that's right. So, I really think what they should have done was, rather than scrap the old system, they should have maybe tweaked it a little bit to make it less powerful. Um, but this new system is so brainless. It's so dumb. Like, this is what you could do. You could actually remove the slave mechanic entirely and just give them an economic buff on their buildings, and it would be basically identical. And just put the diktats on a cooldown. Don't even worry about them costing slaves. Because the new slave system, I never run out of slaves. I'm always at my maximum slaves. So why even have the slaves there? I'm spending them every which way I can. I never run out. I build all the slave buildings. Cool. Yeah. Make lots of money. But yeah, it's just, it's just a really dumb system. But there's no micromanagement to it at all. It doesn't require input from the player. You just you just build the buildings, you get slaves when you fight battles, and then that that's just it. It's a dumb. It's a big dumb dumb. Okay, it does have victory tickets, so as long as we can get there, should be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh they do have these guys over here. Legend, enjoyed the show interview you did recently. Props to the sci-fi nod. Uh, check the Amazon series, The Expanse. I don't have Amazon, sorry. But, thanks. But yeah, the the uh, interview with um, Cinema Joe, he's, he was really cool. I really enjoyed that interview. I think the Warriors of Cascus would be good use for slaves and more highly used souls. Um, I mean, I think I could come up with a better slave system on the spot than what they currently got for, um, for that. I don't know. Maybe we should have, like, a mortuary cult type thing where you can spend slaves for various benefits. Like, global benefits. Just as a resource, it's just not very interesting. I had to stop playing Kalidi yesterday because of the ammunition bug. It was. <laughs> I feel you. Have you considered playing the Mission Impossible theme for battles like this? Sure. Have you considered that it would get my channel copyright claimed and striked and all that kind of shit?
Oh shit, the video from today, I was just having a look at it. I thought it was quite bugged out, like I don't think notifications went out. But it's actually doing really well. Really well. So that's cool, I'm happy with that. Anyway. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, we're done. Just hum it yourself. Man, you can get a copyright claim for humming shit these days. You gotta be careful. God, how is the AI this awful? It's tragic. <laughs> Did you try the Dark Elf Black Arch stacking? I heard a guy raided Altor for 450,000. Um, no, I didn't do that because that's cheese. No, I, I did play a, um, I did play a Lockyer campaign, but what I, I had a ton of Black Arcs, but they were all, like, all over the world, uh, conquering so many settlements. Like, I conquered Ulth one with Black Arcs. So, well, yeah, you could put them all in one spot and make 450 grand. Um, mine were everywhere. Just making ridiculous amounts of money, but across loads of different settlements. So it just depends on what you want to do. But yeah, you could do that, for sure. Uh, sisters don't get Keth and Howard anymore as a summon, or the eagle, the dragon is equipped. I know. I know. Yeah. Alright, did I get some food for that? Not really. Interesting. I get to hold on to it. Like this. What is this worth? Death Master Snitch. Huh. Hmm. Okay. And if I pop down this, we would actually cause no Skaven corruption. Interesting. There's no public order, no taxes. It generates two food currently, but if I can get it down further, it would generate no food. No, other way around. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. Upgrading this has no economic value. Yeah, I wouldn't have wasted food on this at all. But yeah, we're making two food from that, but the... the hmm... Interesting, interesting, interesting. The problem with this, though, is eventually the um, the scaving corruption osmosis will kick in, and it'll just fucking go up to 100. So, just pop down food generated. That way, this province here just passively makes one food per turn. Cool, whatever. Okay, revolt. Ah, oh, god damn it. I needed to happen this turn, but that's okay. Wesmen... Uh, 1010 did a photo of Did you know that you can capture victory points with landed flying lords? Total cheese. I know about some of those things. Um, I know about some lords that can actually capture points while flying. That's actually something that I was talking about, um, before that I uh, didn't mind. Um, but yeah, yeah, I do know about some of those things. Thanks, Super Chat. Blades. Snake Gate. Yeah. Name, name it to. And sneak gate, huh? It's actually an anagram of snake. How about that? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so Vectik over here. If he recruits one piece of artillery, it'll be cheaper for the other ones. Alright, let's have a look in diplomacy, see if we can get some cash. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, whatever. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Nope. Okay, yeah, where's Ben? You're supposed to. Shh. See, he's not supposed to know about that. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, though. Uh, okay, all well, this seems fine. And Lockyer is not going to do very well, easy. If we become defensive allies, he won't be threatened by me. Because, yeah, he might get threatened by me soon. Alright, if we come over to here. Yeah, those weapons teams. Okay, let's just have a quick look and see how expensive the weapons teams would get. I can't afford that. 
Oh my god, I can't afford that right now. Two and a half grand for a single bloody rattling gun. Oh, we've got to get a clan scryer mission. Got to get a clan scryer mission. That's too expensive. Do they have any armies left? Yeah, there's still an army out there. All right. Well, all other empires are lesser. Hmm. Why did the music stop? Okay, this will be good. This will give us public order and growth, and food, and it will reduce recruitment costs for a few turns. Yeah, reducing recruitment cost by 15% becomes fucking irrelevant with that Shh, fucking expense. God damn, I need, I really need a scryer mission. Because, yeah, even just having, reducing it cost by 50% will make a big difference there, I think. It's not like we don't get a lot of money, and it's, and it's not like a weapons team army won't make that money back with interest. But still, it is very expensive for the stage of the campaign. Right, what other heroes do we have here? Anything good? Nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting there. And Packmaster. Where do we get these Packmasters from? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know where the Packmasters are. Uh, it's Chieftains I was thinking of. Hey, where are the... Oh, okay, Sorcerers. Okay. Yeah, you still got to get to tier 5 to upgrade it. Um, I'm really not sure what to do with Vectique. How about you come over here a little bit? And yeah, I'll just sneak Vectique over here. We should be able to go and hit that, no problem. And just like sack it. We, we're not in friendly territory though, but that's... Yeah, no, that's okay. Taitsu. No, don't occupy it. Oh, actually, occupying it will give us some passive food. Um, Don't disappoint me, me. Nah, yeah, stay in that. St oh shit! Oh, yeah, whatever. Death runner doomstack. Hmm. I don't know about death runners. I prefer gutter runners. Gutter runners are awesome. All right. So with him, slippery could be good for extra speed, and you are very close to slippery. Concealment bombs. I don't understand. All oh, right, because you get unspottable with that. I uh, usually don't get it, but I'll get it. Let's... Okay, and let's have a look here. Still got seven grand. Nangal, I'm sure we'll sell off that pottery. And yeah, we need to get this upgraded. And that's needed for a technology to do that anyway. Okay, and let's move on. Yeah. Morgor AI in my Ica campaign is 85% missile resistance. That's normal. I think Morgor has something like 75% missile resistance and spell resistance as, like, base. Yeah, Morgor is not supposed to be able to be shot or casted spells on. In order to kill Morgor, you need to actually physically go in and cut his head off. Which is why he was always such a pain in the ass to deal with, because... You know, missile units are so good, and you can't use them against him. But what you would do is, if you fought against him, is just kill his army and wait for him to rout. Because he was just so hard to kill. But yeah, if you've got a lord that... Um, well, at least that was in Warhammer 2, where you couldn't really use magic attacks, because he's magic resistant. But uh, physical attacks would smash him. So over here, this is going to revolt. And... Oh, the garrison's already fully recovered. Okay, so if we get a sneaky Grey Seer of Plague, which is another Vectique... There's only one Vecti. Um, we can get him to uh, ambush it and sort that out that way. Um, Alright, coming over here. Ooh, hello. Hello there, little beastman friend. Hello, beastman friend. Every time you sign a deal, you get two grand. 
Here you go, little beastman friend. Be my friend, beastman friend. You want to go to war with Imperial Wardens? Oh, damn it. Nothing. Can't threaten them to do that. Shit. Hang on, let me just see here. Yeah, money means nothing to them. Why does the music turn off? I don't get it. Alright, should be fairly easy. We just gotta go and launch the attack. Um, but I'm gonna call it a day here, because I've been doing streaming uh, like too long. Like eight hour streams, that's too much. So seven hours we'll have to cut it for today. But I'm really enjoying this campaign. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, we'll definitely be continuing this tomorrow. Um, Obey Mimi! But yeah, let's go chuck a host over to somebody, and if you don't get scry missions, maybe give Plague Mark or Storm Vermin Army a try. Mm, no, I don't, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll, I'm willing to just pay for them. Uh, okay, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and we'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, let's just firstly see who's streaming, and I'll of course use the raid system. It didn't work yesterday, but maybe that was just yesterday. Alright, um... Who should we chuck a host over to? Let's chuck it over to Dame Offensive today. She's doing a Belagar campaign. Okay, let's chuck it over to Dame Offensive. So, uh, just give me one second here. It only takes a moment. But yeah, appreciate all the support today, guys. I'm really enjoying this campaign. I hope you guys are as well. It took a little bit to sort of get around their slight change, especially the food nerf. But, you know, we're, we're working through it. We're still, I think we're still doing okay. So we're going to redirect this to... Uh, God, I need to link... Game offensive. Alright, cool. That should be set up. Once again, appreciate you guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. But at some point, I'm bound to take a rest. It's just a matter of when I'm actually exhausted, which hasn't happened yet. Anyway, appreciate you guys. And I'll see you soon. Later, fuckers. Bye. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's it's just not saving the uh, the raid. The raid feature is so friggin' diff- Oh, hang on. No, look, it, it it won't save the raid feature. I'm trying to get it to do it, but it just won't do it. It just will not save the goddamn raid feature. It just keeps saying, sorry, we could not update your video. Because, like, I can't end it until it's actually been linked properly. And what happened yesterday is it didn't get linked properly. Yeah, look, it, it just won't do it. Hang on, just let me give it a couple of tries. It might just... No, it's still... It just will not redirect. I don't know why. I updated Chrome. I don't know why this isn't working. Hang on. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Try again. <laughs> I get this is annoying. <laughs> Stop my phone, it's not freaking working. It won't do it. It just will not. It will not save her stream. I'll just have to put the link in the in the stream. Ask Mercy how to do it tomorrow. I know how to do it. It's just like we did it with uh, Radiant Ash and it worked. But for some reason, whenever I put anyone's link in the uh, in to to send it to them, it just immediately forgets. I don't know why it's doing that. I, I may have to run some sort of update or something. But anyway, go and check out um, Dame Offensive. Here's a link. But unfortunately, I just can't use the raid feature. Like, I know how to use it. We've used it successfully, but it's just, it refuses to save it. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you, see you later.